Yes, sir. I'm gonna do what it do. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Put some emphasis on that one. Put that emphasis on that back to the greatest podcast on earth. I missed you guys last yep. week. Sorry, sorry. Apology kisses all around, right? Um, but we're here now. So, and, you know, we're, we're here. with a lot of yeah, stuff to talk about. A lot, dude. Like that. Listen, 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 chat. We got, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, all right? Um, not only did Creams miss a very interesting chapter last week oh God, um, on the JJK and, might I say, Blue Luck front as well, but... Um, I mean, we, we, we both in the, t in the time being have, um, finished our respective Vagabond reads. Mm -hmm. Um, if you guys aren't keeping up with me on Twitter, then y'all aren't going to know how I feel about Vagabond. And I'm very, very interested to talk about that and just ramble for a little bit here. Um, but needless to say, I think we have a lot of things to talk about. Kagurabachi did great. Blue Lock obviously did Blue Lock things. No Sakamoto days, unfortunately. Um, but JJK, obviously going to JJK. Got a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot, a lot of stuff to talk about. Um... You know, some I'm, I'm sure some jokes that aren't really jokes are going to be flying. I'm just locked in. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, streaming a little bit <laughs> later than we usually do. But, um, you know, changing up the vibe a little bit. Changing up the ambiance for our return. You know what I mean? No, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Hope you guys are doing good, though. <laughs> I, I also hope you guys are doing good for whatever it's worth. Uh, I know we got some super Nothing. chats in here before stream started. I'll get to those in a second. Um, I just do, I just do want to give you guys some quick personal updates. Um, one, uh, in addition to finishing up Vagabond, I've officially caught up to Sakamoto Days. Woo! You bro caught up on the week when there's no new chapter. Let's yes, go. Yes, Let's sir. go. Let's go. Made the most of it, bro. I'm all caught up. 160 chapters. I'm, I'm locked the fuck in. I'm excited, man. I right, am bro, so I fucking excited. For you. Hmm? Who's your goat? Who's your goat? There is a Nagumo. Right Nagumo. What the fuck you mean? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I like to hear, man. Bro. Of course, Nagumo's your goat, bro. Nagum Listen, goat, you're, you're bro. A, you're a you're a horrible person sometimes, bro. But you know, just this one, you're all right, <laughs> bro. You're I all right, bro. his fight with Gaku like had me actually on the edge of my seat, bro. I I was like all hunched over in my uh in, in the plane just like just like what the fuck what the fuck and the shades and lights were off because it was like they're supposed to uh, help you uh, go to sleep to fix your uh, jet lag all right and i was just i was trying because everybody on the plane was asleep i was trying to like not freak out uh, so loud but i was like that's my fucking go right there it's my fucking go yes sir <laughs> bro that week to week experience it was only like two to three chapters shit mm -hmm. was nuts bro the switcher rooney mm -hmm. the switcher rooney was crazy yeah not sir. it not bro they saved gaku i was like no nagumo you were so fucking ah uh, yes sir yes sir but yeah good 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 mm -hmm. we, we got it we got a new sakamoto days fan chat um you know you love to see it. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, hope your trip was good, bro. Hope your trip mm -hmm. was nice. You got you got you a little bit relaxed. You know what I mean? Sir, got you sir. away from it all. All the mm -hmm. melanin in the JJK oh, chapter. Okay. I know you're rolling. I know all you're right, rolling. All right, all right. For sure. Dude, for sure. How the fuck? I, tell me how I'm I'm on vacation, right? Just in a totally totally other country. I open up Twitter with again keep in mind like like a multi-hour time zone difference i'm like oh yeah all my ops are asleep right i'm rubbing my hands together and i'm like this is this is my time to shine i just say hi basically in the group chat and it's like well look who showed up if it isn't kkk creams and then i see a fucking ed you sent me dude you didn't you just posted it you just posted it i it was it, it took like so little instigating it was just like jjk of creams wrote gojo and it's him in a fucking white hood I didn't How? do that though. That was that was a fan, bro. And you know what's funny too? You say like I thought all my ops were asleep, as if I'm not fucking Batman, bro. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> what do you oh like, god. bro? Listen, I'm gonna tell you this, bro. Where there's where there's crime, where there is specifically hate crime, I'm showing up and I'm shutting it down, bro. <laughs> I'm showing up and I'm shutting it down. Bro said, bro. not in my city. <laughs> not no, nah, nah, bro. Not on my planet. Bro. Nah, we not letting it slide, bro. We not letting it slide. Bro, I think I got like 300 likes on that shit. You too, did. Bro. I was cup. so mad, bro. You're cooked, dude, bro. I got Your like public perception dude, 10,000 views on my tweet, 11 likes. I was fucking smoked. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. I never even claimed to like ghetto. And then it just, it's just, why would you lie? You know I have the screenshots, bro. You know I have the receipts. Why would you lie like that? 
That's so insane, bro. It's so insane to just. I, I like took that, a gamble. Bro. I took a gamble, bro. I, I it, it did not pay nah, off. bro. The gamble will never win when I'm around, bro. You not Hikari. <laughs> and honestly, you better be happy about that. But anyways, bro, what are you talking um, about? Ninety nine percent of gamblers uh, quit right before they make it big. That is objectively <laughs> true. Like if you if you just kept gambling. <laughs> You would eventually win. This is a joke. Eventually, chat? anybody, like, uh, anybody yeah. listening, this is a it, joke. It's a joke. We're not. In, we're not. We're not encouraging gambling addictions, chat. Of course not. Of course not. Never. 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 Oh my god. Um. Dude. But yeah, it, it's good to be back, man. It's mm. good to be back. The last stream I think we did was a membership one, and that was fun. But talking about chapters is always good. Talking about chapters is always good. I don't even really know where to start i mean i guess we can start uh with super chats and then we can maybe jump into kagurabachi because that one was a really fun chapter but mm. see miller thank oh, you for the two yep can't stay but we deserve a vagabond only stream listen i we can't might promise be... a vagabond only yeah. stream but you may be getting a long vagabond segment brother yeah uh, you may be getting a long vagabond segment like i said i got some i got some i got, got some for you off my yep. chest bro i got some I got a song in my heart that that needs to be sung, bro. So Vagabond and, only, maybe not. Long section for it. I got you, yeah. bro. I got you. I got that. And you've been holding on to this for like an extra week longer than I have. I, I so you really hey, ready bro. to burst? Man. I've been. This shit been. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, 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 soon it's gonna be time to lock into the vagabond agenda. It's gonna be, and we'll, and I'll try to, I'll try to start off a little bit more spoiler friendly, just because I know some. Some people are getting into it. Demon Akatsu is still reading. I don't know if mm. uh, Lethality is still reading. I know Liv is going to be getting into it soon. Mm. And anybody else that may be influenced, we'll start spoiler free. Then we'll, we'll we'll get into specifics. Blah blah blah. Um, but yeah, mm. Vagamon's going to be fun this week. Uh, yes, sir. Gold changed his name from Ivan, Ivan to Stop Wearing YouTubers. Yo, can um, I just say, bro? Cream, gold coming his racism this week. <laughs> God. Anyway, can I just say, Gold, bro? Your usernames tell a story. Like <laughs> they do. They tell a long story too, bro. Uh, they tell um, a long story bro, bro loki they tell an honored one's enlightening story he goes from like in his depression arc to t to changing it to now being gold like bro what's what's going on <laughs> you 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 reach enlightenment or something like <laughs> hey man hey man he has no enemies and he doesn't want people to be worried about him that's real that's real um uh lobby Warsa, uh, thank you for the five the gojo racism jokes were funny for 2.5 seconds until the whites <laughs> until the whites took it seriously and ruined it like they do with everything there's some, Damn, bro, you got some hate in your yeah, heart. Yeah, there, there, there's some layers in I'm that gonna, one. I'm gonna be honest. I have a take on the Gojo thing. Some people might not like, but we'll get into it later. We'll get into it later. Um, <laughs> M3D, thank you for being a member for four months. Gojo being racist. You to steal and curse techniques from African children. <laughs> bro, added the truth. You added the children part, you bro. Added. We don't know that yet. <laughs> Drafting Miguel into forced labor. Jujutsu Society really fighting apartheid allegations. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Creams, are you a higher up, bro? What are we doing here, man? Fuck, bro. I mean, that's crazy. What's that's going crazy. on, man? You, you guys. Hey, man. Uh, hey, man. Uh, sleeping danger. Thank you for the 35. Can't say for the stream. Just wanted to say, I see why Gojo is oh my God. favorite character in BR. Can't wait for Novara next chapter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's time to pray, chat. Bro, it's I saw... time to pray and have Gege put some shit together. Bro, I'd I love to see it. I saw somebody say uh, Gege uses Gojo as a stand-in for himself, and he wanted to apologize for, like, uh, any racism he's done before with Miguel. And I'm just like, he sees Gojo as his self-insert? Question mark? Like, I mean, is that, is that I where... Mean, yeah, he said, he, he said that. I mean, he said that he sees a lot of Gojo in himself. Oh, no yeah. wonder he hates him, bro. If I were a character yeah, like he, myself, Russell too. He's got self-hate. <laughs> yeah. Said, God. Yeah, no. That's I crazy. mean, my self-hate is different because, like, obviously no no racism. So, like, that's that's really where that main uh, difference is. Don't make, don't, make me, don't make me post the fried chicken screenshot, bro. You don't want that. <laughs> oh you don't want another oh 200 God. on your head, bro. Oh, my God. You don't want another 200 on your don't, head. Don't man. Let's fucking, not do it. Let's don't, not even don't go refer there. to it by the number. What are you doing, dog? Let, let's, 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 not, let's, not, let's not do that, man. Anyway, Let's not do that, man. Google me. Um, Thank you for the five. Wow, surprised to see Creams here for JJK. I thought the mel... Fucking hell. I thought the amount of melanin would cause him to stay at his rally with his white hood. It almost did. I actually had to drag him out of the rally after I, you know, took care of every single one of his allies. Got him. <laughs> They're all in hell. Don't don't you guys worry. Just down there with Ghetto, right? But handled him, brought him over here so we could torture him and talk about, you know, black excellence. As, as we all know, he hates 
Um, but <sighs> let's see. Uh, Mozan, I think, with a five. Hey, Creams, have you watched Dune 2? And if you have, can we get a one-minute review? No. Uh, no, not yet. But I am going to watch Dune 1 and then hit up Dune 2 while it's still in theaters here. I got to lock into Please the agenda. Bjor has Please watched Dune 2, so he'll give you the Please one minute right now. Listen, bro. Dune 2 is like is like what i imagine star wars is but like if it wasn't for dorks and nerds wait that's crazy there are probably star wars fans in here let me let me rewind that dune 2 is a really good sci-fi space movie man i don't really know how to put it because i'm not really i'm not i'm not a big movie person in all honesty i don't have like a lot to compare it to or use as reference but i will say paul excellent protagonist man <laughs> oh my god i'm moved bro like listen i know not the greatest guy <laughs> not the greatest guy right but i'm not gonna lie there were a couple of speeches there where i was like listen bro may thy knife chip and shatter like i'm with you like <laughs> let's go let's go let's go fucking handle him bro and and bro the dude two edits the dude, dude, I sent you one. I saw one. Yeah, dude, said, I, I, bro, listen, I, I didn't want to tell you this. Mm? That edit you sent me, mm? it wasn't even, it wouldn't crack the top 20 I've seen, Ooh. bro. I could send you some edits, bro. Bro, I, I was like. Some fucking edits, bro. bro uh, bookmark them. I'm, I'm, I want to see them when I, when I watch the movies. Because, like, I'm yeah, I'm ready to sir. lock in, bro. Oh, like, that. Bro, oh, yeah. bro, can I just say, Timothy Chalamet kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of oh, fucking dude. ate, bro. Yeah, no, nah, bro. No, nah, bro. I, I simply was not familiar with Tim, Timothy Chalamet's game, bro. Like I dead ass, I, I was I was looking. I was like, bro, listen, you, you doing doing one? That's cool or whatever. It's a cool little. It's a it's a it's a calm little seven out of ten, right? Hmm? Doing two. <laughs> hmm? My name is Paul Muadib Atreidi. Yeah, nah, bro. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Low key, low key, low key, low key, lowest of low keys, right? Bro said that's I see why you got the job. To make, it's dangerous to make a morally dubious character that cool because now I'm conflicted. Now I'm conflicted. I know the themes. I know the messaging. However, have you considered that he's the Duke of Arrakis? <laughs> have you considered <laughs> Have you considered that he's cool as fuck, chat? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. But Dune 2, very, very good. For me, at least, lives up to all the hype. Does it, some people, does it retroactively make Dune 1 better? Like a, It retroactively makes Dune 1 better. Okay. It does. It does. It, it, it's what... How should I put this? It's like it, it it justifies Dune one a lot to me, mm. right? It feels like it. I get how should I put this, right? It almost feels like you know how Across the Spider Verse got a lot of complaints about feeling like an an incomplete movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like Dune one maybe could get some of those allegations mm -hmm. with Dune two being what everybody hopes Beyond the Spider Verse is, mm -hmm. right? Which is just like a fucking weighty, powerful follow up to a movie that set up a lot of really cool ideas and mm. concepts, right? Mm. Cause damn, is that a good movie? Yeah, Dune 2, Dune, Duke of a, yeah, nah, bro, I'm locked in, I'm locked in. I actually think I'm gonna rewatch Dune 2. Yeah, I'm gonna rewatch Dune 2, bro. <laughs> bro, yeah, sir. Dude, yeah, nah, yeah, bro, Timothy I... Chalamet, ooh, there were some speeches in there, Chad. <laughs> there were some, listen, Chad, I'm not gonna lie to you. There were some, there were some speeches. I might, I might have to practice some speeches of my own. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I might have to practice some speeches on my own because that shit was crazy. But yes, Dune 2, very good movie, very enjoyable. Uh, 10 out of 10 for me personally. 10 oh, 10 out of 10, 10, 10 is, oh, oh shit, bro. 10 so, out of 10 for me personally. 10 out of oh, 10 for me personally. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, so we're gonna need an ambulance for you for the third movie. Yeah, hey, yes, sir, bro. That shit, listen, it, it, if, it's on the, if it's on the same type of timing that the second Dune is, bro, let's just say I'm locked in. <laughs> let's just say I'm locked in. I'm curious, um, w uh, how locked in would you need to be to, like, whip open the books? The problem is that, like, I'm pretty locked in. The problem that I've that I've run into, or at least I've heard a lot, is that, like, while the movies are a good adaptation, it is, like, a, it is, there is a pretty significant difference. And I'm not gonna lie, as crazy, I never thought I would hear, hear myself say this, but I'm locked into Tim Timothy Chalamet's, uh, fucking fucking paul bro like he's really mm. he really sold me i'm gonna be honest he really fucking sold me he stole the show bro he just i that screen presence brother mm. that screen presence brother that shit mm, yeah 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 i fuck mm. with it bro i fuck with it and I'm a, I'm a reader i'm a certified reader right but 
I feel like if I do read the books, it's gonna be after I watch what the Dune movies have to offer me. Is that mm. does that make sense? Okay. Like, I'll, I'll compare it, but I'm interested in having the movie experience as a movie experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your okay. mother's warned you of my coming. Fear the moment. Yeah. Fuck. That's, that's that good shit, bro. That's that good shit, bro. That's that. That's that. that mm, mm. And I say that's that good shit as if he's not whatever, bro. It, it's that. It, Ronan is ready to overthrow shit. an empire for the Duke of Arrakis. Listen, <laughs> low key, low key, low key. Like, like I said, lowest of low keys, right? If Paul said, "Listen, bro, it's time for the revolution. Take up arms." <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> let's go. Let's do it. Let's fucking do. Lisa Al Qaeda. Like, what, who am I? Who am I to deny your existence, bro? Like, what? Hello? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Um, yeah, we're locked in. This is a this is a this is a Dune positive uh, stream, at least on my part. That's all. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. Um, but yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Dark Hall, thank you for being a member for six months. How was the rally, Creams? All right, Twin, thank you for the <laughs> five. Funny how Creams was nowhere to be seen when a black man. Oh my God. Yeah, bro. I mean, this this is this is. I'll, I'll read it. What up, twin? Thank you for the five. Funny how Creams is nowhere to be seen when the black man appears in the manga. Noticing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, SM, thank you for the two. Sir, BR, yes, when are you starting the uh, Ao Ao Shi read? Uh, yeah, thank you for the two. Dude, listen. I don't I don't think y'all understand how theoretically locked in I am to Ao Ao Shi. Make some shit shake, chat. Mm -hmm. Like It's in your hands, make it, literally. Like. Make it happen. Bribe motherfuckers. Like, I, listen, I don't know what y'all gotta do. I don't know what y'all gotta do. Lobby for it. Like, on my own, I may still read it on my own, right? Like, I'm not mm -hmm. saying the only way for me to read it is through a book club. However, what I am saying... That's is a that surefire way to do it, yeah. It's sh it's, if you want to make sure I have to read it, lobby, bro. Like, rally together. Bro, on Say, some, uh, on some oh, Amazon oh, shit, like... Oh, motherfucker, some favors, yeah. bro. Like, I, vote, vote for Ao Aoshi this time, and I'll vote for your manga next time. Like... Chat, y'all gotta understand, y'all are a collective. Y'all are a group. Mm -hmm. Guys, y'all can really bring your heads together and make shit happen. Guys, this is a fake democracy, all right? You guys, like, you know, have all the power. We're just your unelected officials, all right? We, you know, we gotta listen to you, all right? That's what this. That's what this podcast yeah, is. Yeah, dude. That, that's like, like, like y'all, y'all can handle it, bro. I Research, believe in you. Do, do your googles on some politics strategies, bro. I promise you, how <laughs> she getting voted for quick, bro. Slip, slip, a, slip a membership in someone's pocket in exchange for an Al Aoshi, an Al Aoshi vote, bro. Watch how quickly we mm. read that shit. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, um, yeah. Mateus Alves, uh, thank you for the five. Sukuna is the true hero, has non-binary and gender fluid friends, and just off the strongest racist of modern era. You just hey, bro. First of all, I mean, the... for I just want to say, bro, putting all that on Arame as like, I, I don't know, Su Sukuna is no prejudice. Like, I, I, I think that's hilarious. Number two. We just, like, <sighs> this fucking Gojo slanders. I, I'm, 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 like, weighing the pros and cons of it's worth, like, defending, bro. The, like, I'm, the I'm... Jokes, the jokes are funny, right? But we're gonna have a serious... Okay. Because I'm, I'm, like, serious discourse. We're gonna, like, the jokes are cool. I'm gonna keep making them, right? Like, fuck, whatever. But I'm, we are going to have a serious dialogue, and I'm very curious to see where you stand. I'm very curious to see where chat, mm. chat stands, and I'm very curious to see how, where that all goes. Mm. Um, but... We'll lock in for yeah. it. Uh, uh, Shadow Star, thank you for being a member for two months. I'm gonna need that black flash that Sukuna landed and hit Yuji instead. Make it do so I can get my weekly laugh. Damn you! So you Sukuna Ro, 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 Sukuna Junior? Yeah, like, like what, what the Ro, fuck? Ro the, what did Yuji do to you? Yeah, no, that's crazy, bro. Landed on Yuji. Make it, make it too is actually diabolical work, bro. Listen, I'll say this right now. I'll say this. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk my shit. This Sukuna ain't landing a black flash on Big Yuji, bro. He ain't. He ain't like nah, nah. That ain't happening, bro. Nah, he the only person Sukuna could have landed that attack on is Larue. I'm Miguel's dodging that shit. Yuji's dodging that yeah, shit. Mach bro, that M shit. Miguel was moving kind of crazy. Like Miguel, Miguel, Miguel bobbing a wee bit. <laughs> bro, hit that, bro, hit that Ollie shuffle real quick. Yeah, that shit was nasty. That shit was nasty. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, he ain't, he ain't landing on. He ain't landing on like Yuji Itadori. Mm -hmm. You see how he? You see how he got brought to his knees with one attack? Yeah, Sukuna. Yeah. Sukuna was getting tired. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> the may have changed that, but uh, you King, know. Uh, NJ Hurt, think of it the two King Canute or the Duke of Arrakis. I'll tell you this right now, bro. <laughs> I ain't never heard Canute. I never heard Canute say something like that, bro. I never heard Canute say something like that, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. Lisan Al Gaib. Is that is that clear? Lisan Al Gaib. Yeah, nah, bro. Yeah, nah. We're locked in, bro. <clears throat> Fight Canute's whole army myself. <laughs> like, <we're, laughs> like if, 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 we're, if we really gotta get serious about it, bro, I got him. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Yeah, nah, bro. I got that. I got that for sure, for sure. Joe Casserole, thank um, you for being a member for seven months. Would y'all ever consider non-manga books for book club? Even if not, I heavily recommend the three body problem. So, sort. Uh, I don't even know how to answer it. Technically, we, we already did this, right? Because like I read yeah. all uh, the first ten Percy Jackson books and like the three Kane Chronicles books, but I, like I just did that, right? It yeah. happened to take up the the slots for for uh, book clubs for some weeks. That's why Vinland Saga was um, delayed a little bit. But it, um, that was just, I guess, executive power there, yeah, right? if you want to call we, it that. We yeah. kind of just made a decision. Like, I wouldn't be against just saying, pause book club for yeah, this week. It's not like a rule. Book I really, well, we should really fucking read, mm -hmm. right? Let's get into it. Like, I'm not against it. I'm going to be real with you. I'm not even against, like, making the book club less of a book club and more of just, like, a, like oh, shit, let's watch a show. We, yeah. That's kind of what we, we did. did with Berkey, we did with Berkey, yeah. We, yeah, we did it. We did initially, right? And yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed. But the thing is, is like because we talk about anime and manga primarily, people are going to want that from us the most. But if I, you know, if we, if we say, what is the show you want to see see us do this with, right? And you know, neither of us have seen it. Overwhelming support. It could mm -hmm. be a book. It could be a manga. It could be whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not against it. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't mind. It would also um, help theoretically yeah. for sure. It would also help like open up our options a little bit as we um, run out of more and more. Uh, popular series that neither of us have read yeah uh, yeah because yeah I've, re I've read i've read my fair share of manga so like there mm -hmm. are definitely going to be ones where i've also noticed we that we won't be able to read together for sure and i and i don't and i say this with love chat i have noticed you guys are kind of sane merchants just just to call a spade a spade here uh so like the d um don what was it called don no um shit what was it called dora hidoro <laughs> then vinland oh. then vagabond it's like a crazy run right after each other um I mean, it, we it, had monster pretty early on yeah too. monster too right so there, there is like a there is like a sense of like <laughs> you you guys you could also include slam dunk in here honestly if, if you if you just want to make it a genre thing but like i i have noticed that trend uh and we could only read so much of inoue's work before he just runs he, out of work. He, he, got, he got one more, bro. He got yeah. one more manga. Yeah. He got real, bro. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie. I might I might need to look at Inoue detox, but like yeah. not because he's bad, bro. Yeah. No, it's it, it's yeah. just the detox. Like like maybe another series or two before we, we, we do, uh, include real on there. Basically, yeah. what I'm trying to say is like, I think it, opening up the options a little bit more just, uh you know, gets us out of our comfort zone. Yeah. And I'd be down. I'd yeah. be down for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Um. But yeah. yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let me. I forgot. Uh, uh, just some nerd. Oh no, I got it. Uh, just some nerd. Thank you yeah. for being a member for four months. I need Eugene so you can land Black Flash on each other. Like you need face distortion from the both of them. Listen, bro. I said this once. I said it twice. I said it three times, and I'll say it one more. Right? I need a Black Flash clash. Giga, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck how unrealistic it is. Give it to me. I need you know, it, bro. I have a feeling that like the actual. Uh, practical results of that would just be both of them resetting to, to their uh, full health or something unless you want to argue mean, that, that like sick, maybe maybe you could argue like the benefits they get are different because because like that seems to be the implication from, from this chapter it's like well gojo got it when got this buff when he hit a black flash a second time but sukin is gonna get this one instead yeah, we'll see. Yeah. It might depend on like the amount of damage and whatever. Cause I, I would say, I would say Gojo was much less fucked up, right? That's it, true. Like more recent brain damage, but Sukun has got three of his arms fucked, a, an unhealed heart, and then just general battle damage and yeah. soul damage. But bro is, bro He's is really looking gone, a yeah. little scruffy. Bro's looking a little yeah. scruffy. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, bro. And, um, and when, yeah. when Megumi finishes like the grievance, uh, grievance, uh, the grieving process yes, speed run, sir. bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lock in with me, mm -hmm. chat. Lock in with me, chat. See the vision. See the vision. Mm -hmm. But yeah, 
Um, let's, let's see, see, let's see. Some more notes and thank you for the two. B, are you still reading Donadon? Very fun read. Donadon's cool, but I do like binging it more than I like the weekly experience, so I've put it down. Um, along with Undead Unluck, I, I basically feel the same way about that. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, for sure, for sure. Um, um Honey Mustard, thank you for, for the 500 yen. I think that's the first time somebody's, uh, given us a super chat in yen. That's pretty cool. Um, been watching y'all since, like, episode 6 came out. Damn. Hope y'all had a great Easter if you celebrate. Um... Yeah, happy Easter, everybody. Yeah, happy Sorry Easter. For, uh, uh, yeah, um, last name that earlier, but yeah, yeah appreciate you guys it. are all. Hope you guys are all having a good Easter if you guys celebrate. Mm -hmm. Appreciate um, you. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching us for so long. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Crazy. Like That's I, I, I apologize years? for that shit being so ass yeah. initially, bro. Like my bad, my my fault, bro. I almost <laughs> I almost feel like we did you. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Episode 6? Yeah, that's... Oh, we weren't on bro, shit, Hold bro. on. It's episode 96 it. right now. You locked into 90 episodes. Bro, that was... Oh, my God. Episode 6 was the, ble the, the Bleach Suck episode, bro. Uh, oh. oh, my God, bro. Yeah, yikes, bro. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All okay. right. Fair enough, bro. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting yeah. horror flashbacks. Let me let me let me get out of there. Um, Scott Free, thank uh, you for Scott the five. Scott Free, thank you for the five. Sounds like sounds to me like Miguel could have killed Gojo and JJK Zero if he wanted to. Let's relax. No curse technique with Black Rope created the situation. The bigoted one said he'd lose in. <laughs> Fair enough, bro. Miguel was just Miguel was just holding back, bro. Miguel Can was I... just holding back. I agree. I agree. Uh, well, well I, I'm gonna put a, to I'm, I'm gonna put a pin in that uh, when we get to the JJK discussion because I actually do have like a strong opinion about that. Okay, that's uh, gonna be interesting. Okay, so I guess do you want to yeah, shit, bro? Let's um, I can jump into I can jump into Kagurabachi if you want to take if you want to take five. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna make a drink because like I, I'm gonna be talking for a bit with a second yeah, day's catch up and everything. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah. Um, real quick before I get into it, uh. Lamillion, thank you for being a member for eight months. Don't let Gojo's bigotry distract you from the fact that a punch from someone physically stronger than him did not even phase a severely weakened Sukuna. Wait, what? Wait, don't let the... The fact that a punch from someone physically stronger than him... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You gotta keep in mind... What, what essentially happened is that, like, Sukuna got hit by, like, a cursed technique-less Gojo, right? Which was, like, strong or whatever... But like the only the only time Gojo's strength is really notable, like his strength and physical stats, is like when he's using blue to amp it. In terms of just like basic cursed energy manipulation, no, no curse technique. I mean, he's strong. Like he's stronger than the disaster curses physically, right? Jogo mentions in Shibuya that he's basically only using cursed energy manipulation. But like, you know, that ain't that ain't hurting Sukuna when Sukuna was eating blue enhanced punches. But I I do I do think that that is definitely impressive for sure for sure but kagurabachi this chapter was really good man this was like genuinely good fucking eats um there's another chapter where like i feel like there, there was some action for sure but it was a lot it was a lot slower um we get we get a lot more information a lot more information on the the event bro we get a lot more information on the auction knowing how the security set up knowing that chihiro's got a bounty on his head you know what I mean? My uh, my 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 goat for real, really really making waves, really making waves, bro. And then I'm not gonna lie, chat. Don't get me wrong. The the what what is it? What do the new translations call it? Um, Kuregumo or Cloud Gouger? Um, for all those more familiar with the other name, that reveal was very fucking sick in this chapter. But I'm not gonna lie, Mister Inazuma, bro. That might have been my favorite part of the chapter. Team, this little guy. This little fella might have just been my favorite part of the entire fucking chapter. This shit was clean. This shit was clean. And I'm by clean, I just mean it was very, like, genuine, I feel like. I say clean, but clean is more like what Chihiro pulled up with. Clean is the energy he showed up to the scene with. I really like the, the, the authenticity of this very short story of, you know, let me not disrespect the goat, Mr. Inazuma pulling up on just a bunch of fucking thugs and then pulling out the knife and stabbing one in the arm. Like, bro, listen, listen, listen. Out of his league, sure, right? Sure. But kids got fucking heart. Kids got fucking heart. And this was a genuinely, like, this was really cool. And I think the way Chihiro entered was not only badass but like i love the way that jiro seems like such so good with 
children. You know what I mean? Like, he's such, like, a compassionate guy. Char instantly gets attached to him. Mr. Inazuma seems to... It seems like he'll be pretty quickly attached to him. You know what I mean? Um, just, like, real genuine shit, bro. <laughs> I love this little interaction where he's like, well done, Inazuma. And he's like, it's Mr. Inazuma. Mr. Inazuma, well done. Like, I like I like that correction. Jiro didn't have to really... He didn't have to bend the knee on that. He could have just, you know, just gone on about his day. He said what he said. Blah, blah, blah. I like it. He just... Jiro's such, like, a... He's so badass, but, like, he has these moments of, like, real compassion... Um, that just make him so much more uh, likable. Like, he has this deadpan expression a lot, and I think a lot of people complained about that, particularly initially in its run. Like, Jiro was a very, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, very expressionless, very seemingly emotionless main character. But I'm not going to lie, he's anything but that. It seems like, even in this chapter, where he's more confident than not, um, he seems to have... Like, when he's talking to Shiba, for example, right? He's like, we see that panel where he quickly doubts himself, but realizes that he has to resolve himself to really fight. I think he's likely thinking back to Sojo versus the Kamunabi, right? And 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 how much destruction they caused before he unleashes uh, Kuragumo. And I think that was really cool. Like, I genuinely, genuinely like this chapter. Um, I like that reveal was crispy as hell. Kuragumo, May. Yeah, no, that was... That was delectable, chat. That was that was that was good eats. That was good eats. We we mm, that was that was a very 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 fun, um, very fun um reveal. That that page, Hokazono knows how to set some shit up, man. That was crazy. That was crazy. The only lighting in the scene coming from the actual the lightning nuts. But yeah, um, I think Paper Note brings up a good point of like it feels like it. Mr. Nizum is his own protagonist. I saw someone on Twitter saying that, like, because first of all, right, one thing that was really cool is, like, the the um, story that his sister was telling him, right, that lightning doesn't strike good people. It only, it only strikes bad people. And then for Chihiro to come in with, I mean, the, the physical embodiment of the sky and lightning, basically, and striking down his enemies, like, that shit was... Listen, Okazono, I see you. <laughs> I see you cooking. I see you cooking. I, 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 and I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing, man. I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, uh, that was good eats. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Jiro's most deaf about business, but when it comes to kids, he will play that big brother part, would show him how his dad's childlike nature imprinted on him. Yeah, man. It's just really, it's really nice um it, it's it's like it's one of those things that just makes it very easy to be attached to a character right like badass traits cool right that's definitely like a nice hook but being just like a genuinely good guy that has his own flaws and own worries and things like that seeing that play out like this on screen it's just really refreshing like kagurabachi i keep saying this um but kagurabachi is very 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 good especially relative to where it's at um chapter wise i'm not gonna lie just like just mm. i mean this was this was this was like nine ten out of ten chapter ter uh quality for me right this was like genuinely just some really good shit man very good shit hokizono cooked and these these next few chapters the <laughs> raku zaichi about to get it's about to get crazy bro. it's about to get electric it's about to get electric, but I'm locked in, man. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Um, you will have to see it, man. Kagarabachi was yeah. uh, was next on my thing, but um, I reached my hundred chapter download limit with Sakamoto Diz. I get you. I get you. Hey, bro, Which, hey, by bro. the way, yeah. very irritating. Just mm, no. That you can only do that. Yeah. yeah. Just there's no reason. Yeah, it's it like, seems arbitrary, it, bro. Like, well, we, yeah, yeah. I don't know. The chapter is like, changing. Maybe they think Maybe they think you're, like, a bot or something. Maybe. Like, you, you, like you're a pirate. I could see that. Yeah, but, like, the scans are better. Like... <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> shut, shut up, bro. They, they don't give a fuck with that. Um, I'll let you handle the um, Super Chats and memberships, and mm. then if I'm not back by then, uh, you can start on Sakamoto Days. I'll be right back, though. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you read this one, but Lamillion, thank you for being a member for... No, I think I... No. Be right I read that, that one. one. Yeah. Uh, hello, thank you for becoming a member. Um, Dion the Digger, um, thank you for becoming a member. 
Um, Dane Simonson, thank you for being a member for two months. Yo, best podcast, be, podcast, best podcast on earth, best chat. Keep it up, guys. Get hype when I see when I see it's Thursday or Sunday. Uh, also, Dune books depth and characters are better. You know, first of all, thank you so much. Um, I feel the same way about Thursdays and Sundays, so you know, that makes that makes two of us. Uh, I have told BR this with Dune. Um, and I'll tell you guys. There is a part of me that's always hesitated, like watching the movies, because I know it's going to become a full blown obsession for me, right? Like I'm no, I know I'm going to lock in. I'm going to read like all the fucking books, and I'm, I'm going to become a big old, big old Dune eater. All right. That being said, I feel the call. You know, the 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 call of temptation. The sirens are fucking wailing. Like I, it's it's definitely a song that I, that I'm hearing, and and the, and and it it is working. Like the music is reaching me. So I'm I'm, I'm unfortunately just going to have to lock in. And just, just whatever the cards will fall where, where they may. Um, Sugar Shogun, thank you for being a member for two months. Not gonna lie, if we get your Euro uh, wield and N- ten cloud uh, grouger, I might just explode with hype. Man, if I read Kagurabachi, that would be. I agree with you, bro. You know what? I agree with you. I agree with you. Fraud creams back at it again. Let's see. Um. I think uh, okay that's all the super chats cool 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 uh how you guys how you guys doing let me just catch up on chat generally did br pat his belly what's this what's, what's, what the fuck were you guys talking about when i was gone uh i think we have blue lock next and then sakamoto days and then vagabond and then jjk Oh, we're really we're in a real like fucking cozy ass stream here, chat. He's gonna lock in. Oh, Landa, you picked up the books again. Look at you, uh, double in back, going back to beat the boss. I'd love to see it. Hmm, the movie changes mid for the better. Like I get it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Later, sleeping danger. Um, especially in this character. I read the Vagabond final exhibition thing, and I'm still crying about it. Yeah, Vagabond is is going to be a fun one. Um, I recently found... This isn't really, like, a whole discussion about Vagabond, but it is... Oh, God, Mikey. You know what, you know what Mikey? I'm going to shoot you some bail here. Mikey reminded me that we do have the uh, uh, Naruto book club thing at 5K subs. So for all of you who don't know who are listening, um, uh, we made this uh, binding vow with Mikey uh, where uh, I would finally read Naruto for the first time. Like properly in all of its, so other people would call it glory. Glory. Um, and uh, uh, if we reach five k, that's 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 the thing. That's yeah. That's the vow. Also, an extra condition that only I knew about until now is that if he doesn't like it, I'm leaving the pod. Oh, <clears throat> so nothing too crazy, chat. Nothing. Anyway, chat. Uh, we I did like we did speak briefly about like what that Naruto read through would look like, and I just want to say, you guys. You're making the jokes, man. We know that. Like, let's I, look, man. It up. I know you're making the jokes. Bro. I am okay. Hold on. Let me explain here. I'm gonna try my best to avoid making them. Right. I don't want to take the lazy way out. Right. But if it is so obvious, right, or like so intense or integral to the story that it it, it would almost feel weird not to. But I'm not gonna bring it up. Like, like to 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 like I want to do the serious discussion with it. Right. Mm, okay. We'll see. Yeah, like I can't imagine there's like a crazy amount of overlap though, like between like the the shown in the aspect and and the jokes. Like, I I like, I just I just can't imagine that. Okay. Um. What what up to where did you did you did you get all the yeah um, I read all the super chats. chats. Um. You might okay. you should read the one from Sugar Shogun because yeah, it's yeah, like a yeah, Kagurabashi. Yeah. yeah. Chiro dueling Enten and Cloud Gouger. Oh my god, dude, that one would go crazy. I don't. I don't know what an analogy that would make sense for you would be like, but it would be nuts. It would be fucking bonkers if we saw that, man. I would I would love to see that. But until then, you know, I'm cool. The weapon switch is nuts. The weapon switch is nuts. I like that. I like that for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, let's see. Shadowstar, thank you for the five. Got a JJK UG domain theory for y'all. The domain would take the form of his late grandpa's hospital room <laughs> with several chairs surrounding them. Um, sure hit would be, thank you for the 10, Shadowstar, any pain that Yuji has felt prior to opening uh, and after would be given to the target, if that's just Yuji Itadori, 
if it's just Yuji Itadori, if it's just Pain, Yuji Itadori won't stop. Um, name pending. This is a I mean, hilariously dark theory. Just, just, just to get that out there, right? Like just to start, I don't, I, I don't mind it. It seems pretty fun, uh, and a way to turn uh, Yuji's pain resistance into a, a weakness for other people. Really cool. How is a bot, bro? <laughs> like it just. However. Yeah, there's just my big limitation with UG domain theories is always like, does it reflect who he is, his character, his journey, and it's why, for example, I hate the boxing ring domain so much, um, because it just it's just kind of nonsense to uh, to UG's whole thing, uh, especially now where he's able to attack the soul and he's assimilating more techniques. Like, like the, the whole thing with Yuji is that he's not... Remo removing Cursed Energy is not the path to strength for him in the same way it would be for, like, Maki and Toji. So I don't see how a domain that basically forces that would be, I don't know, like, reflective of his character. But that's just a personal opinion. With this, I see uh, there's more to it here. There's, like, I, I'm, I'm kind of locking into the vision a little bit more. But I, I think it's still, like... Like, basically, keep keep convincing me, you know? Like, like keep selling keep selling bro fair enough fair enough what about you um yeah i mean it's a cool idea i don't know i don't know i honestly am pretty like agnostic on what yuji's domain would look like if if he ever gets one i mean i imagine he will mm -hmm. it just it just seems like the natural progression for main character sorcerer has curse energy blah blah mm -hmm. blah it's kind of how i see it but um how should i how should i put this um yeah i i honestly just don't know Gigi kind of it, it it genuinely depends on how much more he's going to acquire, um, yeah. Like as, as the story goes on, so that'll be that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting for sure. Um, yeah. So see. that being said, um, I guess I I guess Sakamoto days. Now that I'm f fully caught up, um, you wanna you wanna take the reins questions wise, or do you want me to just riff? No. Yeah, no, bro. Just go. On. Like you, you're the one. You know, you read it. You read through it recently. You got, you got more of it on your mind. I didn't even get to read a chapter this week, bro. Yeah. So take, take the reins. Uh, I last left off with Sakamoto days in 2021 ish, uh, and I've, you know, I've seen glances here and there, but I haven't been reading it since chapter 72. All right, that's where I last left off. So I had over 80 chapters to catch up with, and I was so happy I did, dude. The entire first leg of my flight was just reading Sakamoto Days. Um, the uh, flashback arc was so fucking cool um, with uh, Sakamoto, uh, Nagumo, and... Oh my god, what's her name? Oh, fuck, it's it's still March. Oh, fuck. What's her name, bro? Hmm? Whose name, brother? Who do you mean? A, a cow? A, a, a Kodo? What's it? Rion? Yes, Rion. Thank you interesting oh, bro hell. we'll see listen bro maybe you can redeem yourself if you uh no you can't bro I'm anyway not gonna so awesome. she was she was pretty cool um it was nice to see bro is it crazy to oh, just bro is it just is it crazy to just say like these fuckers have superpowers like can i just speak about them as if they have superpowers because i don't i don't want to call what they do like skills it's skills bro i don't have powers God. There's only a couple of people that got powers, but like Shin's got powers, you know what I mean? Shin's okay, but she, okay, R Rio and, and her niece literally have the ability to like see pathways to victory. So yeah, bro, that's you perception. Know, that's uh, that's analysis, bro. Come on now. Oh my god. Anyway, so I thought it was pretty cool to see what her uh, Nagumo and Sekimoto do differently. You know, their different strengths and all that. The comparison of like, um, yeah, if it was just like an empty room, I'd kick his ass. But if if there was like miscellaneous items and regular room, I I'd never win. Um, I just thought that shit was fucking hilarious, because it's like... <laughs> it's such a very specific circumstance that, that you say, like, you'd, you'd, uh, you'd win, and it's like... I, I don't know. That, that moment stood out to me. I, I, I gave it a good hearty chuckle when I read it. Uh, okay. not the thing I wanted to focus on, but just wanted to shout it out in some way here and there. Um, the Assassin, the JCC headquarters has just been really lively. Like, you really got a sense for, like... The scope of it the world only a thousand students in that entire campus is like understandable but like still kind of crazy um the database arc um the the siege um the the teacher who's like i, f I keep forgetting their names bro like i i, I fuck, 
what, what was her name? The the the, um, the instructor lady um, who was like an Aikido master that died. Mm, uh, yeah, she, another she, woman you're forgetting. Oh my god, she was really fucking cool. Um, um hmm. God, bro. Uh, what's his name? The the runt, the the kid, the grandson. God, what the fuck are their names, bro? I'm I'm fighting for my life out here. Can Amane, you, you mean? Yeah, you know you know okay, the guy. Like, it's like the JCC is like a place full of like kids, bro. I'm like yeah, what, the 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 grandson of of the, 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 the yeah. four with yeah. the four staff. Right? Yeah, yeah. Him, he Don't said the runt. <laughs> you are not souping up, bro. Brat and runt do not need to be in your vocabulary. Uh, so he, um, I like I don't know. He kind of grew on me. Him and um the um, uh, the gas the 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 mask kid's brother, um, who is like inventing stuff. I thought he was fucking cool, and he was like, "Hey, bro, like I'm inventing this invisibility cloak so we can you know either kill our families or just run away and open up a crepe shop together." I'm like, dude, W brotherhood. You know, who wouldn't want to open up a crepe shop with their brother? That sounds that sounds lovely. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm, my for sure. I just want to say overall, man. I, I it boosted like the lore, the um additional character uh, uh moments and Shin's fucking dude. Shin had me locked the fuck in during his fight. Yes, sir, yes, oh my sir. god, where he was like, stop. No, no. Oh my god, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Listen, listen. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, bro. Inimaki might be out of a job. Well, he, he might been out of a job. No, he's right? been out he of might it. be out of a job times two. I'm Fuck, gonna say bro. this, bro. No powers. He performing like. Listen, bro. <laughs> the powers. Came, the powers came at the end. I'll. I'll. I'll give y'all that. But Shin was. Shin was working, bro. Mm -hmm. Shin was. He. He really had to. He really had to fucking fight for that W. He really that did. One, that bro. one. That one. Yes, sir, bro. Dude. Shin's another one of my goats. It's like Nagumo Shin. You know what I mean? Yes. One A, one B type shit for me. Yes. I really. I. Got Shin, it, Shin's like. I'm. I'm. I'm sticking in his corner for sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, same uh, yeah. here, bro. Sh Shin had me like fucking fully strapped in. I I, I just I just love it. Um, Sakamoto is, uh, how do I explain this? He is just peak character from the inception. So for me, it was like it's just oh yeah, you're just adding on to to more to more coolness, right? He's just so consistently fucking awesome that it like okay, hold on, I took some screenshots. Uh, while I was reading, right? I, I was like gonna tweet about them, but then I forgot that I took them until right now. So this is gonna be this is gonna be like the unofficial like live tweet reenactment of me reading uh Sakamoto days. But uh when he just lit like you know when that bridge collapsed and he needed to save those two those two people in the car and his solution was just to kinda like pick up the car <laughs> with with the yeah. with the steel wires. Yeah. So fucking raw. The way he was like, wait, I can't keep wasting time here, and just shattered the guy who was like uh, yeah. uh, stalking good deeds. Oh my god. Bro, 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 bro. How did you feel about that goddamn sniper battle, bro? That was so fucking cool. I was so mad we didn't get to see a character design reveal. I was like, I was like, I don't know about you, bro, but I was thinking like, pretty woman, pretty woman, like, like you know, like there was like a, I, I don't know, call it like a trope. My, my sixth sense was like, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a woman, it's gonna be a woman, it's gonna be a woman, and then we didn't get like the payoff, and I was like, hmm, the mystery uh, 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 continues, it persists, question mark. But that shit was so cool. That shit was so fucking cool, dude. Oh my god, especially, especially I'm because. Horny during a sniper battle, bro. Oh my god, I wasn't gotta, fucking gotta fix you. just. Oh my god. Pretty Any... woman, pretty woman, pretty woman. We gotta fix you, brother. Shut up. We gotta get you out of there. We gotta get you out of there. Anyway, um, I will say, um, I I don't even. The only character that I think I strongly dislike is the film guy. Um, I just you you and Nop are aligned on that. I, I uh, Kanaguri. He, yeah, he's just kind of annoying. Like like just just to be blunt, he is just kind of annoying. Like he, being as skilled as he as he is, where he's like relative to Sakamoto, even in his like like thin form or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. it's already like a tough pill to swallow, um, because he's he he doesn't self identify as an assassin, uh, mm -hmm. so it's either like okay, this guy's either like the fucking gohan or, or whatever of this series and he's just like squandering his potential or he's just, I, I i don't even he's he's in the line wrong line where I, I don't even know what to say bro um i mean he was in the order you know what i mean it's not like he it's not like he was he was nobody like yeah he wasn't wrecking it, it was not like he wasn't recognized as like a top tier assassin you know what I mean? yeah like i get it i do um however it, it was still just like 
difficult, like, nevertheless. Um, going back to Sakamoto Glaze real quick, the God of Death panel fucking moved me. Like, the God of Killing. Oh, my God, dude. Like, the light, the wings. Ah, oh, ah, oh, coolness. Um, fuck. Okay. I, I feel like such an asshole for this. I know. Oh, you know the woman who that? uses the, the chainsaw, like the buzzsaw? What's her name? The buzzsaw? Like, oh, Osaragi? Osaragi, oh bro. God, dude, it, dude, I was like, there's no way you're talking about a fucking order member. Okay, first of all, three strikes, you're fucking out, oh buddy. Oh my god, I knew you're it, bro. Cooked. She's so cool! She's so cool Listen, and she's so fucking she's adorable. Clearly not, she's clearly not cool enough, bro. You didn't like her enough. Bro, I don't, I don't know what the, what the blonde-haired guy's name is. You don't the hammer? know Shishiba. Shishiba, oh yes. Oh my god, you're a lost fucking cause, dude. Oh my god. You're telling me you weren't locked in for Shishiba versus Yotamura, bro? Bro, I write... No. Satoru, you weren't locked in for Shishiba versus I Yotamura. was locked in. Yeah. Oh my god, bro. bro. I just didn't... Clicking the hammer to get the sparks? Yeah, that shit was cool. Nah, that's creativity you never even heard of. Bro. Oh my god, I'm who, literally glazing the with you, dog. dog. Who the, who'd the girl with the saw? Put some respect on their fucking name. Nah, bro. I'm I read all of this in one sitting. I just, I just recognized the nah, fucking shapes bro. of their names and kept it pushing. Oh my god! 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 Okay, listen, chat. He'll learn. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> ah, okay. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I'm not gonna vouch for you. I'm just gonna. I, I don't know what to do. I don't, bro, I don't. I, I read no, it, but forgetting Osaragi. Bro, I don't know. Oh, it just—it's how I read it. Sometimes I just expedite the process by remembering the shapes of the names if I'm just too lazy to remember them or sound them out. Expedite the process. I'm gonna kill you with hammers, I think, in honor of Shishiba. Anyway, um, Shishiba. Uh... Is that it, bro? Oh no. Oh Soragi. No, oh Soragi. No, no. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. Oh my god. god. You looked at chat, bro. I know you looked at chat. Don't fucking <laughs> lie. You didn't remember it. You looked at chat. You know what's You're fuck a fucking you're a bastard. I know you looked at chat, bro. <laughs> I specifically screenshotted a panel where her name was in it because I knew some shit like this was gonna forget was gonna oh, happen. I just you couldn't remember. Gaku. You remember Gaku It's four Nagumo. letters! You can't, you can't Nagumo's four letters, bro? I said fuck Gaku. You remember Nagumo, bro. It's like, don't pretend you can't remember names. You decided you didn't want to remember this woman's name. Oh my god. Dude. That's crazy, brother. That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyway. Oh my god. Anyway. How do you feel about Kendaka? Red haired speedster, bruh. Thank you. He was In really cool. Part. He was really fucking cool. Um, it, it was a funny ass portrayal of super speed. Um,. And the fact that he was just blitzing them like that, uh, and... Those Sakam shoes were nuts. Yeah, those, those shoes, shoes were, nuts. were nuts, dude. Like, they gave him a crazy buff. And for him to have saved, um... Oh, dear God. X? Suzuki? I, God, I forgot. He has, like, ten names, dog. Uzuki? Uzuki, Uzuki yeah. It's, it, it's, yeah. It's Slur X. Slur yeah. might be the one you're most familiar oh with. God. But Uzuki. Yeah, Uzuki. Oh, yeah. yeah, when he saved him, I thought that shit was really cool. Um, Actually, speaking of Uzuki real quick, I guess, like, I'll just get into him. Um, So, heavy spoilers for Sakamoto Days, but uh, the twist. The twist with, with him is multiple personalities. That shit kind of rocked me. I, uh, they didn't pay it off right away, which was, um, so, like, it, it's still speculation on my part. I would argue it's still not paid yeah. off, like, to be honest. Yeah, like, the, the only guess, I, okay, my personal guess is just, like, a, a hair dye and, like, a transformative, you know, uh, disguise type thing, like the shit Nagumo does, or, like, maybe a more permanent version of that. Alternatively, he's just insane. Um... And they fought, and he was just like, damn, W personality. I'm going to take that for myself. Um, okay. Okay. Noted. 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 So... Noted. Okay, how do you feel? Okay, how do you feel about Takamura, man? Come on, bro. Dude. Come on, man. He makes such a fucking impact. Bro fucking cut a bus in half over a fly. Takamura, old man. I guess, I mean, maybe you didn't see new... new new content for him maybe i guess he hasn't really shown back up oh the, the old blind swordsman 
Yeah. Oh, didn't know they gave him a name. But yeah, no, he was really cool. Um, but gonna kill you. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. D okay, that was my first read through, not this one. So like. I'll reader, I'll reader, I'll reader. So it's been two years. All right, give me, give me some fucking slack here. I'm gonna beat you over the. Okay, whatever. Um, yes, 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 yes. They they gave that guy a name. <laughs> yeah. The strongest order member. Yeah, they gave that guy a name. Oh, wait, that's him. Oh shit. You love yeah. to see it. Um, okay. So, um, honestly, loving the entire thing with the Order, with um, uh, the side characters, their little missions. Uh, the guy with the with the jaw um, and the spiky hair with no talent, um, his, his death was sad. His death was really fucking sad. Um, so sad you remembered his name. Yep. Uh, obviously, right? I'll never forget my goat right there. Whatever his you name was. Who? Yeah. Um, who? What's his name? <laughs> I just said it, bro. What's his name? It's three letters. Come on. Shorter than Gaku. Alrighty. Fair enough, What's... bro. You'll never forget his name. What's Kyo. his name? I said his Kyo, face. Bro. Kyo, yes. Kyo really... Not Kyo. Hyo. Hyo. Kyo, yes. H-Y-O. Yes. You know, he really oh, moved me. I, I was proud of him for, for the performance he had. Um, he really moved me. Oh, yeah. my God. You know, he was magnificent. <laughs> I'm going to put you in a chokehold. <laughs> <laughs> he was mad. You were magnificent, <laughs> yo. I'll forget you in ten seconds. Like, bro, <laughs> fuck you, man. Nah, bro. Anyway, okay. Any Alrighty, bro. What like, would you give Sakamoto Days out of ten? Nine point five, bro. Remember. Nine point. Nine, what'd you say? Nine point five. Nine point five. Yeah. Interesting. You're yeah. an interesting guy, bro. It was great. I was just like, bla like, okay. I'll put it to you like this, right? I was blasting through it because I was having so much fun. I just like, I, bro. I wasn't gonna be like, ah, yes. Eight letters in in a row. I'm gonna skip this one. I want to keep reading. I just remembered that, that it starts with like a with like an H and ends with an O or some shit like that. And I just keep oh, it pushing. We okay. Listen, sidebar real quick, bro. Mm -hmm. I got I gotta take you away from chat for a second, bro. Come over here. What? Step into my office, bro. Oh my god. Right? We have a podcast where our whole bread and butter is discussing anime and manga. Keep in mind, right? I read this. You skipped fucking words. You not me, words, bro. just the names, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two, all right, all right. I'm a, also, I'm a, I'm a, I forget names all the time too. I'm giving yeah. you a hard time. I know, but also right? keep in mind, all right? Just, just to shoot, just to give myself a little defense here. I, I was like speed, like not speed reading, but like I was blasting through eighty chapters on a plane in the dark. Like I was just, you know, very important context there. I, I was locked into the story, like really heavy. And I just, I was just like, I like, how do I say this? Their character designs are so unique. Like I know who's on screen, right? Uh, and I know the shape of the word. So if they get referred to like in the third person, I just kind of, I just know the word with the character that I associate, right? But it's not like, like how you say, I'm not there like, oh, I wonder how you I'm say this name. remembering the character's names. Of course, bro. Of course, of course, of course. Anyway. Who's the strongest sorcerer in JJK per chance? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's going on it's right? gojo by the way it, um okay cool it's goat joe right? it's a, but yeah um goat joe is crazy bro he's racist <laughs> but anyways <laughs> still calling him your goat is actually yeah. nuts bro anyway um dude sakamoto days was just fucking amazing and i'm i'm both sad and really happy that i held off um reading it for as long as i did uh because mm. the, the binge was just insane like like i even in this, um, was it like 15 chapters since the, the, the museum raid sequence has started? Yeah. I could yeah. only imagine like how week to week this shit would be so like thrilling, but like yeah, agonizing to wait. Fighting. Yeah. Yep. Cause, yeah. cause I bro. Mean, it's good. It's a, it, it is a good, it, like, I will say this about Sakamoto Day chapters. They're very satisfying to read on a weekly basis. Like mm -hmm. some, like every manga is better on a binge or at least mm -hmm. more enjoyable. Right. Mm -hmm. But there are some manga that in my opinion just don't work on a week-to-week -week experience like i don't really fuck with don on a week-to-week -week experience even though i fuck with it in general right mm -hmm. sakamoto days is kind of the best of both worlds at least to me i think enough happens and it's like it is um substantive enough to sustain me for the course of like that week you know what i mean mm -hmm. yum good <laughs> right mm -hmm. um, yes i, like, I it, i've uh, put off starvation for another week exactly right some some manga aren't like that some manga and that's not necessarily to say that they're bad because of it 
but they just don't make the great greatest weekly experiences. But I do think Sakamoto Days does make for uh, sometimes agoning, but like agonizing is how I should have said that. But like very good experience. Yeah, like like gripping. Naguma versus Gaku was like. Oh, yeah, that was, that was great, bro. bro. That was something for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. God, man, sure. I I can only imagine how fucking tense it was to like wait for that chapter to drop. Fucking hell. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, needless to say, uh, amazing read, exhilarating. I'm, I'm glad you know uh, to be locked in from here on out uh, with the chapter discussions. Mm. So that's gonna be great. Uh, and I'll also reinforce the characters' names in my head, so I'll remember them. That's... We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, guess that character. It's like, okay, Greens, who is the main character of Sakamoto Days? We'll give you 30 <laughs> seconds to respond. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'd be insane. All right, we have a lot I to catch up on real quick. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to run through this real quick. So Killian Poulton, thank you for being a member for one month. Long live the fighters. That shit went hard. Um, that shit went hard. Yes, sir. Paul Moody betrayed. He's go, go, go. Aaron Yeager, thank you for being a member for one month. Thoughts on UG Soul Swap Curse Technique? I'm doubtful. I mean, We're waiting. it's tough. It's tough because, like, Kusakabe ain't saying fucking Osu or Yes Sir. Yeah. I'm gonna be dead ass. He ain't saying that shit. Um, but, it definitely, it's the way UG speaks, but it's also, like, ambiguous enough to say, I don't fucking know. Yeah. I, whatever it is, I would love to see it. And if it is its own unique ability, I am very curious about why Yuji hasn't used it, or at least, like, monologued about it, you know what I mean? About why he can't use it. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Like, right now, we're still kind of working under, like, assumption territory. Um, for sure. You know, we are assuming he has it, but he, he there there's some condition he hasn't met yet for fully uh, utilizing it. Yeah, so. it just seems like, to me, he's, like, not even in... T if there is an ability to utilize, right, that he isn't intending to... Like, does that make sense? Like... He seems content with it, not with the ability not coming out. Like when Maki comes back, he's not like, finally, you know what I mean? I have enough people to help me set up the conditions. Mm -hmm. It's more like we can just punch him to death. And it's like, that's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure he's fine with that. But like, I guess I'm curious, like, if you do have this complex ability, what have you been doing to set it up? We'll see. I'm not necessarily impatient about that. I really don't give a fuck right now. Mm -hmm. But we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see where that lies. We'll see where that lies. Um, let's mm -hmm. see. Uh, June, thank you for being a member for six months with the Sukuna emote. Uh, thanks yeah. to, of course, the Kogane, live herself. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's see, let's see. W uh, emoji live. Stealing yep, yep, yep. Lime 34, thank you for the two. Go reread, please, Screams. I'm, bro, you don't need to tell me twice. Of course I'm gonna fucking reread second month days. Um, Please. Our, our miles 53, thank you for the five. Screams not knowing my goat Shishiba's name ruined my Easter. Look at you, bro, you're ruining the holidays. <laughs> You're ruining bro, the fucking holidays Shishiba, for him, man. Listen, bro. Shishiba's our Shishiba's goat. Our, he's he's so fucking nah, cool. He's not he's, he's not our goat, bro. You don't, you can't claim him. You didn't know his name. Oh my God, off, I forgot bro. his name. All right, but I remembered <laughs> his presence, bro. I remember the the impact he left behind. I, re I remembered his presence. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to suplex you like through a continent, bro. Like I, you gotta go. You gotta. I remembered his. Oh my. Some of the shit you said makes me so fucking mad sometimes, bro. Like. <laughs> I remembered his Ooh, man, he's with the fucking elbow. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. And I'm going to be able to act on this shit too soon. Oh, yeah, fuck. You're, uh, yeah, you're finished, Hey, bro. bro remember what yeah, Thorfinn yeah. said? Remember what Thorfinn yeah. said? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm uh, early Thorfinn. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, bro. You got to die. I got to get you for that. But yeah, Um. okay. We caught up. Yeah. We caught up. We caught up. Um. Um. I, I do want to say, but... I think my favorite part of the depiction of villainy in the in the uh, in Sakamoto days just being like their involvement with civilians is just like a really simple way to simple but effective way to just make me think oh yeah no these guys are fucking dicks like they're already evil right or whatever but i just thought mm -hmm. it was like a you know when what's her name with the electromagnetism ricocheted the bullet into into the civilian i was like damn mm -hmm. you you really like you really scum for real what is her name you think just out of curiosity hey bro i don't remember i don't remember i don't remember the evil names you remembered Gaku, actually. <laughs> so you do. What was, um, did she... She did have a name. Yes, she did. She does have a name, yep. Chat, what was her name? Dude, chat, don't say it or I'll fucking ban you. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no, I'm joking. I won't ban you, but I'll probably just delete your message. Um, No, bro, but, uh, but I'm curious. You know what I mean? Like, what's her name? If you had to guess. Mm -hmm. Come on. Matt. 
No, 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 no. No, Fuck, no, no, okay. no, wrong. Wrong, bro. Don't wait for chat to send it to you either, bro. Hurry up. Ah, uh, fuck. Hurry up, quickly. Magnet quickly, quickly, quickly. Woman. No, 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 you fucking dork. Kuma no me, bro. Oh You're my god, dude. Kuma no me. Kuma no me. God. They, they named the women in this manga. Ew. <laughs> Ew, bro. What the fuck? Ew. Oh my god, that's gross. I just... I Bro, she has electromagnetism powers. How how am I, how am I? Okay. She was in the manga like, like a chapter ago, bro. I don't like in the most recent. She has a new that, fucking bro. cybernetic arm, and you expect me to remember her name? Like, what's going on here? Well, you but dude, you're, look. You're about to make me act out of turn, bro. Oh Please god. don't make me do this. Oh my god. Okay. Please don't make me do this. Please don't make me do this, bro. I, I bro. <laughs> she has an. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually losing my mind, bro. Did you... <laughs> Holy shit. I, is this is it? No, okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bring yourself back to the center. Okay, let's talk about my hero because I forgot that it dropped the chapter. This week. Did you happen to read the My Hero Academia chapter? It was actually fucking excellent. Did anybody... Uh, no, nobody, I nobody. Um, I didn't get a chance don't, to. Don't piss me off, bro. And don't. <laughs> I'm gonna be, uh, I'm the gonna, chapters no, 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 dropped no, no. while I was still flying, no, 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 and then no, no, no. I shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You had hours. You've been home for hours. You know you've been. Home I was for hours. sleeping. I oh my God. shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. I'm gonna talk about my hero for a second. All right, let me let me find my sender again. Jesus Christ. Okay. The my hero chapter that dropped today was actually go really spectacular. It. And like I know my hero yawn. Who be talking about my hero? Right, me. This shit was really, really, really fucking good. I don't know how many of y'all are tapped in for my hero because I know in a lot of people's eyes it's fallen off. Shigaraki versus Deku has genuinely been some of the best content that the story has ever had. And this chapter is also really fucking good, man. Deku, the, the whole Deku, like, mind space it. Dude, kid fucking Deku jumping in front of Shigaraki to stop his destructive impulses and hatred disintegrating. Oh my, poor Koshi, you were fucking in your duffy. You were in your bag. You were in your bag. I know you were in your bag, bro. I know you were, this shit was hard. This shit was, this was a fucking excellent chapter. No matter what, the villains need a, the villains need a hero of their own. I'll always be a hero to the villains. Chat, y'all not listening. I'll, oh, y'all not listening. Y'all not listening. Y'all, y'all are like creams. Y'all read it, but y'all oh didn't comprehend it. Y'all read it, but y'all didn't comprehend it. Even if all of my hatred went away and I turned into an empty show, I'd still need to become a hero to those guys, the villains. Land, I don't want to hear your opinion on my hero. You are a bleach hater. Land, I don't want to hear your opinion on my hero. You are a bleach hater. Land, I don't want to hear your opinion on my hero. You are a bleach hater. Hater, please <clears throat> step to the side for a second. Step to the side for a second, all right? Horikoshi reached deep into his duffel bag. Oh, that's kind of a bar. Out. The villains need a hero of their own is kind of a bar. Shut up! You aren't looking like me, bro. You didn't even... Mm, I'm gonna... Listen. You know, Mikey... Get, fuck, get this guy out of here, bro. <laughs> Mikey, up on the pod, bro. Mikey, up on the pod. We got some shit to talk about, brother. Nah, that shit did that. That was crazy. That was tough. That was tough. Also, all for one, conversing with Shigaraki's dad and then showing up in this like mental world. Fucking At hell. first, I was kind of, I was kind of not locked in. I was kind of not like, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Who wants all for one? But I like the idea of like Shigaraki's fate, not necessarily being directly tied to you know big bag planning guy, because I think the reason it worked on his dad like the reason the whole manipulation worked is because of like this trauma that um shigaraki's dad faced from um from shimura nana, nana disappearing yeah. yeah yeah exactly and i like the idea that all of this is like just as just as all of these things it's from these systemic problems it's from these problems that come from like manipulation and trauma being passed down over and over and over until it finally boils over into something that is uncontrollable mm -hmm. or at least seems so and I'm gonna say this, I'm locked in. I see people complaining about this talk no jutsu shit. One, grow up. Two, 
that's good that's that's good eats bro finger looking good type shit i'm oh horikoshi horikoshi yeah 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 i'm picking up what you're putting down yeah yeah i'm not gonna yeah, lie to you man yeah let me lock in let me lock in let me lock in nah the bro horikoshi horikoshi fucking cooked man yes sir yes sir bro i i'm i'm genuinely i'm genuinely pr I'm proud as if he's not a a grown-ass professional mangaka <laughs> whatever i'm just i'm proud no, i'm proud, I'm of, proud of you horikoshi yeah no i'm proud yes, I, I said before i'm proud of him he's pleased me this is good dude you're talking real cr no you know what bro i don't need to talk anymore it's just about to be action you only <laughs> count your fucking day it's actually crazy because i don't have to speak anymore retribution will be mine listen bro. oh yeah no bro no no no. keep talking no no make make, make me mad bro no no let's do it let's ramp it up bro no 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 horikoshi did what now he, co he cooked bro nine, nine oh, out of ten chapters okay mm, mm. okay okay Cool, 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 cool. You know what? I have the perfect way for you to get me more mad. Let's talk about the blue lock chapters that we missed, right? <laughs> Fuck. Ah, ah, ah. Kunigami haters down one million. Uh... You're in the mud. You're in the dirt. Like a worm. Dude. Scrawling. Crawling face first in the dirt. Yes, sir. My goats. My goats are winning. Chat, 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 chat. This is a strategy. You may you, you may never heard of it's called hedging your bets right watch this kunigami beats shido in this little jousting session i win shido beats kunigami i win why because they're both my goats i'm locked in regardless this is what we call hedging your bets chat and right now listen this was chapter 255 week old or maybe a week and a couple of days old right but we didn't get to talk about this this <laughs> that kunigami chapter delectable dude i need shido delectable to, like, chat. delectable yeah, listen, me too. Shido cooks. I'm happy too. I'll do a backflip, bro. But guess what? Creams, you, as always, are in the fucking mud where you belong, brother. God, bro. Hooked. Dude, Hooked. All, all Shido had to do was just keep this loser in his place. And he couldn't even do that. I'm so mad. Obviously, he, he, ain't, he ain't losing much, bro. He ain't losing much, bro. He ain't losing much, bro. Dude, I just... Nah, nah, nah. Bro, nah, like, nah. All, all I need is Shido to come back with, with the line like... Uh, e even even after all your training, you know, you're still just like a fallen hero or some shit like that, or you're still so boring, or, or you know, this sport mm, isn't for yeah, you. I bet. Fuck. Yeah, bro. And then he gonna get shut down by Kunigami. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God, yes, sir. Bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kunigami. And then, and then in this most recent chapter, right. We got we got really what I would like to classify as a Huey masterclass. Um, Charles is, is very funny or very fun to see on screen. We saw Huey absolutely shut Charles down. That was cool. That was nice. Um, I don't really have too many impactful things to say because they're both like nine under ten chapters. Like they're just both really hype and good to me. Um, but I really just wanted to you know make sure rub it in your face. Kunigami up, you down. Uh, you know, it's up for you. You know what I mean? You're about to get cooked. <sighs> When, do you even have any goats in this match, bro? Or are you just are you just fucking holding L's this entire game? Oh, you know what? You I like mean. that idea, bro. Fuck you mean, bro. I... Sagi's right there. Rin's right there. Shido's right there. Yeah, you pretending like you're a, a certified Shido Glazer is crazy. But Rin, I can accept. Every... Sagi's everybody's goat, bro. Like, like yeah, he saw goat. But, like, I'm talking about, like, extracurriculars, bro. I'm talking about, like, personal picks. Rin? Okay, I can accept that, bro. Yeah. Rin, I mean, Rin ain't been getting fed recently, but, you yeah, know, I'll let you, I'll let you Yeah, no, that, uh, bro. I'm kind of waiting for Rin to, like, come back swinging with it. Um, but so yeah. far, I think I'm just waiting for all these fuckers to, like, really how you say go Super Saiyan? <laughs> it's the only fucking phrase that came to mind. Um, listen, man. Shido needs to get his get back, really put Kunigami in his place. That's the main thing I'm hoping for. Um, mm -hmm. Rin needs to do the same with Asagi. Asagi's got to respond. But I think, I, I told you before at the start of this match, man, I want PXG to win. Just, like, not because I want Bastard Munchen to, to lose because I hate them. It's it's just, like, I think losing would be to their benefit. Um, just characterization slash plot-wise. I know your game. 
I know your game, little guy. But I get you. Dark Claw, thank you for gifting the five memberships. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Shido, I know he lying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you, <laughs> you never fucking like Shido. You just want him to beat Kunigami. He's not your goat, bruh. Like, don't even... God. Whatever. Phonies and fakers, all of them, bro. It, 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 it's tough out here, bro. It's tough out here, but... Let Rin ruin Kaiser. Yeah, that's your that's your king, right, Liv? Oh, you missed a part, bro. She denounced Baro finally. To oh, w. finally! Wow. Wait, yeah, Liv. She actually she actually on stream. Mikey actually made an edit of her denouncing, um, uh, Baro on stream. You know what I mean? Calling in her words, Rin's the true king. You, you know how Baro's whole thing is being the king. Yeah, hey, I mean, hey, not apparently not. I mean, it, it, I mean, Liv, it's cool that you wanted to switch up. I kind of wish you added some Kunigami slander in there, but otherwise, you know, uh, crazy it's developments. Hey, WWW, you, lo you love to see the borrow hate. You love to see the borrow hate. It is what it is. It is what it is. You're not an Esau goat supremacist. Adding supremacist onto this makes it kind of nuts. Um, oh, but yeah. Esau, yeah. Go, Esau go up. Esau go up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Liv did what? Yeah, she denounced y'all's goat. <laughs> she denounced y'all's goat. Let's he's in the fucking steak. mud. Yes, sir. He's cooked. Cooked. Boiled. Broiled. Mm -hmm. Baked. Whatever you want to fucking call it. Shit, throw him in the microwave. It does. It don't even matter. He's finished. He's out of here. Yeah, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Blue Lock's been fun. Blue Lock's been fun. Um, Blue Lock's always fun. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, as for, like, predictions with this... With this thing moving forward i told you mine for like i guess what i want to happen um mm. i'm curious if anything's changed for you kunigami show out that's all i need kunigami show out all right show out bro shows glazing all right um okay let's see i think that just leaves wait what would you give this chapter and then v vagabond right. probably nine out of ten then vagabond then jjk yeah nine yep. out of ten also, Johnny, thank you for the 10. Thank Whoa, you, thank you. Jonathan, We're fucking all... star, dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The man, the myth, the legend. What up? What up? We're all waiting for the honored ones to give an honest review of one of the best shown in out right now, Ruri Dragon. Also kind of happy to see All for One again for some weird reason. Interesting. Being locked in for All for One. Oh, I haven't heard that yeah. in, in, That's in, a while. in the My Hero fan base for sure. But yeah. fair enough, bro. Fair enough. As for Ruri Dragon... Uh, I can't speak too much on. It. I think I think that's Cream's core. Yeah. I can't speak too much on it. Uh, I'm not locked in. I haven't so picked I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. Yeah, I haven't. Or if you're gonna talk about it for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I haven't picked up Rory Dragon since the uh, the hiatus uh, on chapter six, but I I hear that it's um what she the authors got like four or five more to go uh, until they switch over to Jump Plus, right, Johnny? But either way, I'm gonna I'm preparing myself for a big old big old slice of life binge. Rory Dragon really hit its fucking, I don't know, bro. It resonated with me when it was when it was dropping weekly uh, at first, and I, I was so happy to hear that it came back, man. I, I, it's like, damn, bro. You want to experience like heartfelt, you know, ooey gooey feelings? Um, Rory Dragon just kind of has that shit on on lock, and I, I just, mm, I can't, I, I, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. You know, I've been. I feel like my heart's been made out of stone this whole time. So to the fact that, like, we're so, like, uh, I have access to, like, remedy that issue is, like, pretty, pretty encouraging. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm pleased with this result. Also, favorite transformations from both of you. Thank you for the two, Johnny. Uh, also, Legality, I'm so sorry I missed your chat because I looked up from the bottom. Up. I'm going to, I'm going to answer Johnny and then, and then, and then uh make make up for that in one second um johnny my favorite transformation probably probably super saiyan 2 just to kind of bite bite off you a little bit because we're the same guy uh <laughs> but on the real it's either um it's either super saiyan 2 or ultra instinct i don't know why man that first ultra instinct omen just hit kind of different the music the way he was bobbing and weaving the when he grabbed um, um, Top and um, what's his name, the the rabbit guy that looks like Beerus and uh, Champa, like with one with one hand each. I don't know some shit with like Ultra Instinct was fucking moving me. That shit was different. Also, per like this is like an this is like a villain transformation, but I thought Perfect Cell was really cool too. Um, 
let's see. And Lethality, thank you for being a member for three months. We're all waiting for Johnny Star to come back as an Honored Ones guest. Yeah, yeah, Johnny put put the feeler out there. Can't wait for, for him to come on uh, at some point. <clears throat> at some point. Um, whenever he's he's most available. Um, Johnny. I, you know what, bro? Johnny, while you're here, bro, let's talk about your video, man. Uh, many of you may have, uh, for those of you who have seen it and for those of you who have had the misfortune of not seeing it yet, uh, fret no longer because your lives are about to be changed. Uh, Johnny Cream Star, basically the same guy, um, just uploaded a new video called um, The Anatomy of Transformations. At least I think that's the, the title right now, if he hasn't changed it again. Um, but he, it, you know, just to kind of, kind of, you know, self dick eat for a second here, your boy did help out as a co writer. Uh, and uh, uh, Johnny took care of literally, you know, 99% of everything else. So, you know, we, we basically both did about the same amount of work on that. Um, but I can say, like, to, to his credit, you know, um, he, he did cook. He, he, he did cook. Um, it has been vetted by me. Um, I was there to make sure he did. Um, otherwise, you know, there would have been grave consequences, naturally. I'd never forgive something like that. Uh, and Johnny knew not to, not to get on my bad side. Um, so he, 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 uh, he cooked. And I think at the end of the day, um, I'm to thank for that. So you're welcome, chat. Um, go watch his video and just say, here from creams, LOL, 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 W, 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 <laughs> bro, stop, 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 please. Hand on your shoulder. Don't do this. Bro, I was having a, I don't know, man. I was just having a blast with these. Yeah, um, bro. I haven't even looked at you. I was like deliberately just vamping um, while I uh, why I said this, and then I was gonna look at chat just to see what was happening. Um, okay, yeah. let's let's see. Uh, Lethality, thank you for being a member for three months. We're all waiting for Johnny Star to come back as an honored one guest. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah, gonna make it happen. So I mean, Creams is Creams is really. Oh, you already read. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Creams uh, is the one that's really holding things back. Oh my god, bro. End, He's been on the he, podcast before. He, he, He's not he banned said, he or said, anything. He, he said we don't need any more diversity on the pot. He said I already meet the requirements for that. I don't. I don't know. It's kind, <laughs> oh of, kind of strange. Oh my god. Uh, uh, anyway, yes, Liv. Liv was also part of that uh, video as the therapist. Um, she did sa satisfactory work as well. She and Johnny really, really pulled through, and I, and I was glad that they were able to like really lock in for that. I was worried, um, but you know they, they both they both impressed me. Hmm. Fair. Um. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Did you read God. the Johnny Transformations one already? Yeah, I, I answered mine. Uh, I think if you just want to give yours. I said Super Saiyan uh, 2 and then Ultra Instinct. Just in Dragon Ball or in general? In general. Like, uh, I think Ultra Instinct has a slight edge for me. Because I came, I, I came in... Two Dragon Ball ones is low-key goblin, bro. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know, man. Like, because I, I think about, like, the uh, special features of them all. And uh, mm -hmm. Super Saiyan and um, Super Saiyan Two and fucking what's it called? Actually, Super Saiyan in general and uh, Ultra Instinct are the only ones that are like. There, there is like a lore utility. I, I don't know. The, 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 it, they they just hit kind of different. Like each of those transformations are probably collectively a close second. Right? They have a lot of meaning in them and all that. Um, the only things that I think hold it, hold it back is a. And this isn't even like a fucking this isn't a problem by itself it's just in the context of this specific fucking conversation ichigo is a slash slash mer merchant so it's just gets like a tensho but a different color and like with more power what, uh, what is what are dragon ball characters to you <laughs> yes i know but like I, that's why i say ultra instinct more than super saiyan because like it had like an like a additional thing to it um I but so. i mean mugetsu would definitely be my favorite one in bleach um interesting we get to lover huh yeah it's raw it's raw i think i think i would go i think super saiyan 2 is a fair pick but i ultra instinct wouldn't even wait hold on um, specifically think. omen the first one dude that shit was so cool omen was hard but let me think it's not it's not second for me even in dragon ball um i would say i would say i liked it, it's gotta be bonkai like ichigo's first mm, bonkai that was cool over, that was fucking that cool. was Bro, that first Bonkai had me. Listen, 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 bro. Super Saiyan 2 is unmatched, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's that's just different, bro. That's just. Gohan? Yeah, that's different, right? Mm -hmm. But I will say, excluding that, 
Ichigo's transformations, kind of like you said, are fucking. The mask is also crazy. Yeah. I love when Ichigo would mask. Yeah, like, up, like actually, like, you know what? Crazy. I don't know if you want to count this as an official one, but that form he took with Ukiora, his inner heart, his inner hollow, that shit was so cool. The Basto Lorde? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah, I, I don't want to yeah, yeah, yeah. count it because he couldn't control it, and he doesn't really go into it like on purpose in that in that way ever again. But uh, it was just like an honorable mention, I guess. Gotcha, gotcha. Um. Yeah, that's a little hard. Yeah, like for sure, for sure. So, but, but also but, a lot of these, I don't know, man. A lot of series don't really do transformations; they do power ups. Um, it like yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, you got like Black Clover. Over, yeah, right? I was thinking, I was thinking about Asta, but I don't know. The, the Devil Union is cool, but like favorite, like yeah, you know what I mean? Not a, I, mean I wouldn't even. Never mind. Uh, what about what about One Piece, bro? What about Gear Five and shit? You're not a you're not a Gear Five fanatic. Uh, I. You know what? Gear Five was really cool, but I don't know. I, I call it, you know, personal feelings. Uh, the, the the bias leans more towards um, uh, Omen, because you know what it was. That was my first like live Dragon Ball transformation, so it has like a special spot in my heart. Got you. Bro, Jello fucking slaps. But anyway, mm. sorry. Um, off tangent, but yeah, I think I think those would probably be contention for favorite transformations. That being said, is it time for Vagabond? It might be time for Vagabond. Um, all right, brother. all right, bro. The streets have been waiting. You've been waiting. Just, just come on. It changed your life. Just, just go off. The floor is yours. I want to hear every, every detail. So, without exaggeration, I think it's, I think it's pretty fair to say that that vagabond might just be at least top three best things I've ever consumed in my fucking life. Damn. Right? Like, just full stop. Like, like I said, I'm saying at least just because. I'm not trying to make hard statements yet, but the only thing I think that is even making me hesitate is like Percy Jackson, right? And y'all know me. <laughs> y'all know y'all know how y'all know what Percy Jackson means to me, right? Percy Jackson has legacy points, right? <laughs> Percy Jackson has nostalgia, it has the history, it has the it has the heart, the soul, right? But I'm gonna say this. Here's the way I'd put it, right? A lot of those series, a lot of the things that have, like, been really special to me in terms of, like, anime and manga, I realize retroactively are that. Or I, I realize through, like, talking about them a lot and, like, analyzing the series, right? I learned to like Blue Lock a lot more by analyzing it. I learned to like JJK a lot more by analyzing it. Percy Jackson has only grown in my eyes as time has gone on. Haikyuu is kind of a similar deal. Naruto is kind of a similar deal. Tokyo Ghoul, Bleach, blah, blah, blah. All of these things I've either talked about or let kind of like, uh, Code Geass is another example of like, it's my opinion on it has solidified a lot. And it's kind of like, in some ways, I think exaggerated a lot of its greatness, which I'm fine with. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm more than okay with like being happier about the way I feel like about a series because of nostalgia. I've never understood why people want to take those glasses off. I like them. I like mm -hmm. this vision, right? W but nostalgia. Vagabond? Oh my God, bro. I was like in the midst of reading Vagabond. I was literally realizing, oh my God, this is fucking ridiculous. This is, this is actually like stupidly good. I don't know if I've ever realized in the moment of reading something, wow, I might be reading my top one of the medium. Damn. And by might, I mean I am, right? Like let's call a spade a spade, right? The, like I said, the only thing in contention is Percy. Percy's not a manga, right? Mm -hmm. So in the medium, yeah, Vagabond, you got me. Damn, <laughs> you got me. You how's, got me. Uh, how's Tokyo Ghoul taking the news? You got me, Vagabond. You got me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was worried, bro. The follow up to Vinland Saga is gonna be tough. Vinland Saga was so fucking mm -hmm. great. It was such a such a good and heartfelt story. Vagabond said, mm -mm 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 -mm. "I got you. Trust me, I got you, bro." If I could put this higher than a 10 out of 10, I would, because this is like, this is different than your normal 10 out of 10, bro. This isn't, this isn't your average Super Saiyan, you know what I mean? Like, mm. this shit is, this shit is different. This is like, and I can't say this yet because it has, not enough time has passed, but like, I, I was reading this and I was like, oh, this is probably going to go on to be like, one of the most impactful stories on my entire existence. That's interesting. Like, you know how wild it is? to in the midst of reading something like that realize you're reading something like that i don't know man it was like it was a it was a it was a truly strange experience because like initially i'm gonna be real right mm -hmm. vagabond kind of had not a slow start 
but it had the kind of start that made me think, ah, this is going to be good. I'm going to enjoy it. But it is not going to be, it's not going to be the peak of the medium, right? Mm -hmm. I, I have a friend, Radman. He's been pushing the Vagabond agenda for a long time. You know, shout out the OG. Yeah, right? he's, he's, been, he's been supportive. He's uh, he, yeah. he been there. Now, <laughs> I, I've been doing it better, but shout out the OG. You know what I mean? He push, he pushing, he been pushing the agenda for a minute. He been pushing the agenda for a minute, right? I gotta, I gotta give him respect. I gotta give him his respect, right? I gotta give him his respect. Dot, dot, dot. I was worried because he was like, okay, everybody that reads Vagabond for the most part is gonna think it's like a flat eight out of ten, bare minimum, right? It's very hard to read Vagabond and not think the oh, characters what? are well crafted, the story is interesting. Um, like even at a basic level, like mm. even if you don't personally resonate with it, you're gonna think it's pretty good. You know, maybe seven to ten if you're pretty critical, blah blah blah. And I was thinking, like, for the first fifty, sixty chapters, I was like, damn, bro, this really is only gonna be an eight out of ten. That fucking sucks. Cause I was liking it. Musashi, cool guy. Cool guy, mm, right? Okay. I was I was I was I was fucking with the story, I was fucking with the art, I was liking everything, but I was only liking it, right? I was only enjoying it in the way I've enjoyed tons of other anime and manga, mm -hmm. right? Probably dozens of other anime and manga I've enjoyed. Dozens is crazy. Nah, dozens isn't crazy. Like eight out of tens or above, right? I've probably read like a couple dozen of those, right? Mm -hmm. So I was I was reading this and I was like, this is an interesting story. The art is particularly good. And I'm I'm enjoying what I'm seeing, but I'm not resonating, right? I'm not feeling vagabond right now. And it was mm -hmm. when I realized that I was really feeling vagabond is when Musashi versus Ishin part two happened, bro. Musashi versus Ishin part two. Spear. Really? Spear guy. Spear yeah, guy. yeah, no, I, I remembered. Um, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it, it's just that. Hold really? on, I can, I, bro. So I've, I've been saving a lot of fucking panels, mm -hmm. right? I saved, I saved like damn near my entire Vagabond experience, bro. Mm -hmm. I remember, I, it was like when he, okay, here, I'm, I'm gonna send it to you. You don't have to put it on stream or anything, right? But like, mm -hmm. I feel overwhelmed by this great man's presence. And I was like, damn, bro, did you just say what was in my head? And who told you to do that, right? Who said you could speak? Now, keep in mind, it wasn't it wasn't what it is now, but it mm. was when that, it was like the sitting up in my chair a little bit, right? It was like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, <laughs> hold on, you were teasing me, right? You were joking. You were, you were, you were, you were playing games, right? But as we started getting in there, I started resonating with Musashi a little bit more. I started feeling like a, a lot more of his struggles, or like mm -hmm. uh, it's this panel um, chat. a lot more, a lot more of the things about him. Like I think one of the things that kind of emotionally got me quickly was when he's like immediately after his loss to Ishin and he runs right, and he's like, mm -hmm. "I'm so small," you know, or like, "Or I'm nothing. I'm so small." I was like, "Damn, brother." <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Is that emotion I feel uh, beating in my chest right now? Nah, mm -mm. silence it, right? And it started, it slowly started, it slowly started peeking its head out. And from there, bro, it just started fucking snowballing, man. The, mm -hmm. when, when I hear, motherfucker, invincible is merely a word, mm -hmm. I almost fell to my fucking knees, bro. I almost fell to my fucking knees, bro. I said, oh, 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 this, this, like, I, and this is going to be, a, no, it's Easter. I'm not going to say that. That's crazy, right? That's insane. That's blasphemous, right? I'm going to say this, right? <laughs> God, dude. I'm going to say this, right? I want to be respectful. I want to say this. I, like, peak isn't the word because what Vagabond felt like reading it wasn't necessarily, like, overwhelming excitement or, like, hype, right? Blue Lock gives me overwhelming excitement and hype, right? Sakamoto Days gives me overwhelming excitement and hype. Vagabond felt, like, profound, mm. right? It felt like, like, it's kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? Or what's the phrase I'm looking for? It, it seems a little pretentious, but, like, it, it resonated deeply, if that makes sense, right? Mm. Like, it felt like it meant more. And then, bro, we get into the Kojiro backstory. And then shit gets turned up again. Mm. That... Mm -hmm. mm, bro listen and even still even still i felt like vagabond was was good it was great but it just kept what was so trippy about vagabond is that it just kept getting like infinitely fucking better mm. and i think when he fights seijiro is like that knob it's, it's another one of those tipping points right 
it's another one of those tipping points where like he he does like he starts drooling right i remember i posted that panel he started yeah. drooling and then just fucking like blitzes him on some crazy shit and i remember mm -hmm. that being like wow that was nuts bro i thank you for i'm just scrolling through these saved panels bro and this shit is really is really crazy to me think on the think only about your art page yeah Fundam bro i saw you rewired bro like i i think i think i could actually feel the wrinkles in my brain like changing but like a fucking like a map unfolding shit was insane like i, I sound kind of like crazy i sound like i'm a little bit off my rocker and i'm not i'm not i'm not mad if you get that from the way i'm explaining my experience with vagabond right but it was like it was a deeply personal experience i feel like because musashi's um what's what i'm looking for musashi's um like his ambition his like his single-minded dedication to the way of the blade and like a lot of the ways he would boisterously hide his insecurities deeper worries fears or like inadequacies mm. through like rage like i'm not a very particularly like angry person but like the rage was it was <clears throat> it was not replaced but it was it like the it, it became an analogy for like like maybe like like blustering confidence right or like the a facade of like arrogance that sometimes like can be put on or something like mm -hmm. that right in the in the face of like fear or um or just like not knowing what the outcome is going to be right just like worry and anxiety and i felt like looking at musashi was very much like a very realistic depiction of growth because it was somewhat frustrating right it felt like two steps forward he realizes something then one step back he reverts back to his baser instincts his urges right his desire to like be strong and kill even though the answer seemingly is always dangling in front of him right it always it always feels like he's either achieved some sense of enlightenment but reverts back or he's on the precipice of it but he decides not to take that final step and it's somewhat frustrating but it feels so real because i can i can't count how many times i've like realized something that i'm like oh damn this is like deeply profound mm -hmm. right um deeply like it resonates because and then i'll just and i'll just like leave it alone like i'll just won't do it i won't pursue it right because i already have a habit i have a like an instinct blah 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 and i go back to it mm -hmm. um and I don't know, man. I it's really hard to like put into words on the spot, even though I've been fucking thinking and agonizing about Vagabond for weeks now. Mm -hmm. But like, it's just like, what is it to look in the mirror and you reflect back an interesting version of yourself, and you see them make multiple mistakes. You see them grow in ways that you wouldn't have grown. You see them grow in ways that you have grown and regressed. And then you see them go past that and become something greater. It was like, it was like, oh, wow, <laughs> this is, this is fucking bonkers, man. There's so many fucking panels too, like Kojiro and, and Musashi's relationship in general. Um, like when Musashi's, I want to go see my friend. Why was that so fucking, yeah, uh, man, there was, there was so much shit about Vagabond where I'm sitting here and I'm just like, wow man this is like inui you didn't uh, was what the fuck was slam like i respect <laughs> that, right? as someone who genuinely thinks that last arc of slam dunk is on some other shit what the fuck was slam dunk dude what what the fuck what what were you were you not were you doing it with your left hand bro? were you drawing with your feet were you like was that like were you because this is <laughs> this is some other shit man this is like this is so different bro i i don't know man i could go on for hours and hours and hours about vagabond but like i guess a good way to explain it like i would i would stop some vagabond reading sessions right mm -hmm. and you know i was like joking with like you my joking is crazy i was being dead serious but like you know the 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 the, the or <sighs> exercises we were talking about right yeah i would i would and i'm being so dead serious when i say this i would read vagabond I would step away from my computer and I would just like sit in the dark and just like, just exist, bro. Like I was like, no, 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 no. <clears throat> I can't read Vagabond and then go do something. I need to, 
I need to absorb this with my being, bro. And I know it sounds dumb or over the top and blah, 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 whatever. I get it, right? Talk about liking it in cool fights or whatever, right? But, like, I genuinely... Like, Vagabond was a very meditative experience. I was like, mm. damn, bro, am I... Am I a better person? No, do I have the tools to be a better person? The Vinland Saga Vagabond one two punch is crazy, by the way. Yeah. Like, in terms of like the back I'm to like, back. Why do I feel like self development, bro. Like, what the fuck are we doing here, man? Yeah, nah, bro. Mikey, exactly. I was literally getting my aura, up, bro. I was doing my aura exercise. Hey, listen, y'all are just lucky there was no rain, right? I, could, <laughs> I really would have cooked y'all. I really would have cooked y'all nighttime rain after a vagabond read y'all would have been finished y'all lucky there was no rain mm -mm -mm. and mm -mm. that's mm -mm. i'm mm. yeah if you don't mind it, let me rephrase this i'm asking on behalf of chat not myself mm -hmm. um if you don't mind sharing what exactly specifically about vagabond or musashi uh, just resonated with you the way it did like if you have a theory or if you know like do you know so like yeah I mean, I think it's like, um, I mean, I, I'm sure I've talked to you about it, or maybe you you would hazard your own guess, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, I look at I look at Musashi and I see like, like a very dedicated person, et cetera, et cetera, right? And a person that like pretty much harshly like judges themselves based on their ability or inability to achieve what it is like, what identity he aligns himself with, right? Being a swordsman in an attempt to be the strongest right being invincible under the sun is his way of life right it is, mm. it is everything that he that he pursues and like you know i'm not out here killing people right <laughs> but like i like to think that in my own pursuits of like success and hard work and blah 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 whatever 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 right i am very like focused and pretty serious about what it is and i think like looking at musashi unfold and like unpackage a lot of those preconceived notions about like what strength is and how you achieve it and like what your relation to like these like vague concepts that we kind of place a lot of emphasis on right like invincible is just a word it's like dude it's 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 a concept right it's it, it's not it's not a sword it's not a person it's not the ground it's not a tree it's not a bird right it isn't something that you can see or touch or observe right it is something that you believe it's something that you like you create within your mind and then you hold yourself to this standard and the way at least i looked at it throughout a lot of my um reading is that like changing your relationship to those concepts and like how you align your identity with them is extremely important because i think as like there's this there's this part where um like musashi's like talking to his like his his, his inner ghost like you know the the old man mm -hmm. in his ear right yeah like you become the flexible little flame, the more yeah. flexible you are the greater depth you achieve flexibility is confidence trying too hard makes one rigid right and i was like i was reading that and i was like huh how under that under that premise right how flexible am I? And a lot of, and and it was one of those things where like a lot of the, the answers were ones I did not like. Is like, dude, you are, you are a fucking stone, brother. <laughs> you need to hit the yoga mats, right? Your 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 confidence, your your belief, is one rooted in ignorance or one that doesn't exist at all and comes solely from like, this like this like, proverbial puffing up of the chest right it's it's saying oh i'll cut everybody down right I'll, i'm the strongest right I'll, I'll i'll fight everybody in the yoshioka clan right but real confidence and flexibility is doing it right musashi was talking big shit before that year time skip sedra could have cut him down at any point in time right it was anger it was rage it was confusion it was ignorance speaking on like things that he couldn't possibly comprehend and that isn't confidence right that isn't like awareness that isn't that isn't like resolve to do anything that's you being a child and not understanding because the moment ishin was going to kill him 
mm -hmm. right? The moment his resolve was really going to be tested, he didn't stand there and die like he like he had told Takwan to do, right? He wasn't cool. It was it was all fun and games until death was staring you actually in the face, right? Until it was very possible that in that moment, right then and there, you would lose your life. Yeah, you were hot shit. What happened? You know what I mean? What happened to all that blustering confidence? It just disappears at a moment of like, like when 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 shit hit the fan, right? Mm -hmm. And that's one of many things. I just feel like. I feel like the initial starting point of Musashi felt very relatable and some of the um some of the like conflicts that he dealt with like for example whether or not he would or what the way of the sword versus like Otsu Oh my god like, dude that's going to be a all fun of that. and and all of that and it was like it was it was it was very very interesting because I I mean I I I mean I guess I don't. I don't really care about y'all knowing this in general, right? I've been. I've been drawing recently. I'm sure I've said this a couple of times, right? And like, I really like drawing. I really like fucking drawing. I really like art. I'm a big like, art's cool, you know. Hot take, right? YouTube's cool, also hot take. And I felt like looking at Musashi be so, like, unequivocally focused on the sword and nothing else, and discarding Otsu and stuff like that, kind of made me like examine my own relationship with youtube and art and like other things in my life that i think are important mm -hmm. and how i want to prioritize them and like what i think is important and blah 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 and it was just it was just like was sorry not to mm -hmm. cut you off um no you're good you're yeah. good i was gonna ask is musashi um vagabond to you like is that what is that it, was he your anchor so to speak uh, did other 100%. characters resonate um, to? I mean, yeah. like, you said like, Ishin, I, right? Was like, like you, you Ishin, know, Ishin was Ishin was a. Tw Here's the thing, right? Ramen said this. We were we were talking in DMs, right? And Ramen said a thing that I I think I generally agree with, right? Mm -hmm. These characters are good characters and they're fleshed out characters, right? But mm -hmm. a lot of the times, they are tools to show different aspects of Musashi. Musashi that yeah. being said, there are plenty of characters that resonate. I think. Okay, resonating not necessarily being relating but resonating as in being like deeply personal or human characters like like you bro Matahachi. yeah right, that was weird i'm sorry you know um, it's it, i mean look bro you, it, it's not like inaccurate <laughs> it, listen, you know, bro, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna do like that though yeah like I, like, I, like inaccurate or not right if you're gonna identify with it you're gonna identify with it right yeah. but i don't want to i'm not i, I that appreciate was, that, that i appreciate that it. Let like me, let me let me pull let me pull yeah that. like I'll, I'll, Monohachi, we'll get to it later Chip. we'll get to it, we'll get for, to sure, it later. for sure but Matahachi is a very is a very very good example of like a character that i can relate to on some level but he's not deeply personal to me in my opinion right mm -hmm. You know, may maybe other people would make observations or like, yeah, bro, you just like Mata for real. I probably have to kill them and myself, but like, <laughs> you know, what it is, what it is, right? Like, I think, I think the lying to yourself about like who you are mm -hmm. is like, oh shit, I've probably done that like numerous times, and not even like being aware of that. Like, I probably look like such a fool to some like to the outside perspective because of like these simple ideas that I'm not grasping or whatever. Um, and like, I think. I think Kojiro was like a he's such Kojiro's, a beautiful pure yeah, character man. He really it's is. It's like what it is is just Also Kojiro, by the way, bro, the Rizzler. Yeah, what up? The fucking Riz god. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry, it's just the like Ridley bear, bro. Yeah, yeah like um, bro, the way he was moving just casually is like just just like imagine somebody just takes your hand and you're just boning like like 20 minutes later. Like that's so fucking crazy, dude. Insane, yes. I will say this though about Kojiro, it's like he feels like, and it's gonna be crazy. Like I said, you know, I guess buck, buckle up for the for the the continuation of the vagabond glazing <laughs> session, right? We promised them so, a long one, yeah. You know? Yeah, Kojiro feels like like a character. Okay, how should I put this? Okay, so this crazy analogy, you know, Inside Out. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. You know, like, all those emotions, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Kojiro is, like, more joy and happiness than, like, joy and happiness. You know what I mean? It feels yeah. like He's... there's this embodiment of this free spirit that just... Yes, dude, yes, literally free wants. spirit. Yeah. Like... Oh, my God, dude. dude. One, the parallel with um, uh, Musashi getting called, like, a demon child, like, a beast, all this shit. Mm -hmm. It's funny, because Kojiro is described in a similar way but on, like, the other end of the spectrum, right? So they're like, 
ah, uh, he's like a god, or he's like an angel, or he's like, you know, a beautiful uh, uh, lion or something. Like, like it's um, he's being compared in a very similar way to Masashi, but in like a way of admiration, right? Yeah. In in a way to describe like if Masashi is described like an like a like an animal, right? Kojiro is described like an animal, like circa made yeah, by in, God or something. An animal like a bird. Yeah. Right. Like graceful, or, or, beautiful. Or, or, yeah. Yeah, and it's like and it's interesting because they're doing the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. They're killing people, they're slaughtering people, they're 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 cutting people down. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it, Kojiro is communicating with people through the sword, and Musashi is dude blocking them out right he's ignoring them he's rejecting you them forgot all himself. your you forgot all your anger the second you started swinging your sword i was like what the fuck dude oh my god. oh my god dude 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 listen 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 what an amazing sight it's shapeless and yet huge he compares him to waves bro. Mm -hmm. he compares him to the ocean itself we embrace each other through our swords and that is different. Musashi only starts to take on that appearance later in his journey, I feel. And even then, there is a there is a naturalistic, free, untethered like energy that Kojiro has to him that is like that is Musashi has to work to find, right? Kojiro nat is naturally flowing water and what Musashi is trying to become is that. Right? It ah Oh my god, dude. Like Oh my fucking god. This shit is so good. good. Like, it's, I'm actually sitting here like, dude. Oh my god, man. What? <laughs> and it's just like... Not, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, stop you from experiencing this dog, you know, like work. Th you uh, could, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful know, man. sight, man. There, there's, there's, there's just so much. And then when Kojiro and Musashi are like, they do they hold the sticks and they're like playing and it's like mm -hmm. god bro, what do you this see that so, i don't see god this is so fucking peak bro shit so like yeah too bad he didn't draw though i think i know who would have won oh no 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 mm -hmm. no no bro 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 there's i'm just i'm just looking at these pages and i'm like there's so much oh well, i should talk about this and 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 i'm like oh my god bro oh my god oh my god oh my god i i i, I okay i you know you know what's bro, a good you, you take 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 the baton bro yeah you, you you speak a little bit do your thing let me listen i just thought of a cool way to uh kind of do the transition between you and me uh i guess yeah, yeah. if you had to sum it up like what, what did you say you learned from vagabond like what was the impression it left you like what did it what did you walk away from it you know last chapter rice bro what i learned from vagabond do Not... you have a book do you have an empty <laughs> book please okay <sighs> jesus christ i will i will say this whether or not this is what vagabond is saying i can't say right mm -hmm. i need to reread this shit put it under a microscope right God, I'm I'm actually trying to think about articulating what I picked up from Vagabond in like a very coherent thought, and I'm like, oh my god, bro, this looks, <laughs> this is so fucking daunting. Mm -hmm. It's like, hmm. the things that don't really exist, right? The things that you can't hold or see or feel, mm -hmm. success, failure happiness sadness right even in a looser sense like yourself not the physical you right but the you that you think you are like dreams like ronin mm -hmm. like live landa lethality demon akatsu whoever right the the you that you like that you create it doesn't it it exists in so much as you make it exist and you're free to manipulate and change that and pursue it in a way that works better for you i guess like how did musashi put it right water conforms to its vehicle mm -hmm. right it flows it flows where it flows but water is always water right 
um oh, fuck, dude i know i'm butchering it because i don't have the panel right in front of me but like um i i, I don't know man and, and... i don't know i could spend i could spend a lifetime fucking pontificating about vagabond and still not come up with a good answer but hmm. that's kind of that sort of like vibe is what vagabond feels like to me like a I, I guess be free, uh, improve yourself. Um, it's, I guess, yeah, I'm trying, I'm, I'm like, still, yeah, I'm yeah, simplifying. I, yeah. 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 I guess that would be the, that would be, that would be it simplified. So like, we're not here all day. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's, I'm like fucking coherent. Yeah. Um, that's, that's, that's lovely. Um, I, God, man hard to follow that one up i'm not gonna lie to you um <laughs> oh man god Va vagabond for me it wasn't like an entirely different experience um like it was still okay it was still a really good reading experience um but it wasn't as profound as it was for you obviously um mm -hmm. and i was trying to figure out why because i like dude i was seeing you radman mikey um lethality like everybody was just like going crazy on vagabond I was like reading it and I was like really, really enjoying it, but I wasn't, I didn't, it didn't have that effect on me. Like, you, you know, that effect, you know, capital T. Yeah. And I was mm -hmm. like trying to piece together why, right? I was like, I noticed it around chapter, God, I think when Mikey hit around chapter 40 or something. Mm -hmm. Um, And I, and I, I hadn't finished yet, right? But it was like in the back of my mind as I kept going, I was like, what is it that I'm not getting, right? And my working theory, and this kind of brings us back to the uh, Matahashi thing, is Musashi was never, like, not never, but, like, he's not the protagonist for me. Like, I didn't resonate with him uh, in that way. Like, I, I, it was like I was following his journey as if I was reading a story about a, a different character or, like, a, another individual, right? I couldn't self-insert because I just, his problems you are... his story unfold. yeah. I guess you could uh -huh. say his problems, his struggle are like, they're not foreign to me, but they're like, I'm, I'm, I'm essentially waiting for him to grow up. Mm -hmm. Um, but the uh, the process of it is like, it's almost vexing in a way because I'm like, uh, you either want to be a samurai, you you want to embody the way of the sword, you want to do all of these things, but at the same time you're hovering over an old man in his bed and you're about to kill him to claim his title as, as the strongest, whatever the hell that means, right? He gives you a reality check. You run away. You're more willing to fight all these guys than to face, you know, that difficult conversation with yourself. You know, that's... There's something relatable about that generally, like in a... You're willing to take on more to avoid something uncomfortable, right? But it's the... It's the lack of specificity with the metaphor that to me just just didn't apply, right? It was it was just like a no motherfucker. He just he just mm. first of all like why are you like this? Why didn't you just see him and just you know dip like like what did you think was gonna happen, right? Um, and then after Maybe that's the oh sorry 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 I don't want to yeah no no that, that's that. that's the like that's the thing right like that's what he's doing like that's yeah. the journey is him coming to terms with with that. Right? I think like, that's what makes it so contradictory, right? Mm -hmm. Because like, if being invincible was being the strongest, guess, there would be no old be man. No merit in cutting yeah, down an old man. Being he wouldn't old man. Is, He's like, yeah, he yeah. wouldn't be like this he, in the first place. Being invincible is like to Musashi almost. It's a, it's. It gives them purpose, mm -hmm. but right? it's it's almost like he's lying to himself about it. No, uh, and and he'll he'll claim the title no matter what, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't. There is no, there's no honor, not because he doesn't care about honor, but because like the desire for being invincible, I think is like, he's just, it's a very, he's rushing very it, shallow yeah. covering of like insecurities and like anger and fear and all of this. A lot, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, so it's, it, I was of two minds where I was reading it, um, it, like, you know, you literally engage and then the metaphor and, and all that you engage with. Um, mm -hmm. So on like the, I guess, literal level, it was like, understanding and comprehending what was going on but not really resonating with how it was being done um mm -hmm. let me rephrase right not to say oh man you know four out of ten what the fuck he didn't react like this it was just like a it didn't hit for me in that way right it was just like a very frustrating experience like i felt like 
I, you know, in horror movies, that guy that's like, don't go in there. Yeah. It, it was sort of similar in that, like, mm-hmm. bro, he, he just gave you the answer. Please, please just like, just, he just, he just told you he, he is an old man. Like he is literally on his fucking sick bed. Like, like he is a billion years old. Like, you know, like, like the answer is just so there that just waiting for him to catch up was like almost, um, almost frustrating in a way that was like is 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 this it is, is he close to, is he close to just piecing it together because every time he'd have an internal monologue where he'd reflect on what what um you know the, the the invincible is just the word thing every time i'm like is this it is this is he is he getting it um and then for him to be like nah i'm gonna keep fighting it was just mm, there was like something about it that just like fucked with me yeah uh it it, it was almost I think it is frustrating. Yeah, like, like I, mean, I mean, like I agree. It's frustrating. It's a very frustrating. Yeah, like I, I, I kept going because I'm. I was hoping that maybe he would just, he would just figure it out, right? Like I was just waiting for him to get the point, um. But I didn't. It, how does this? I wasn't on the same journey with him to get the point. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. it was like. <sighs> this is gonna sound crazy, right? But I was waiting for him to have like. Uh, a Thorfinn moment almost like 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 his Askeladd dies um type thing because it felt like a very un like such an easy thing just to be like hey man this like killing everybody with a sword in an era where like guns are starting to become more popular like like there, there was almost like a a you shouldn't be killing people and be like the way of the sword is gonna like leave you in the dust with time like this is so impermanent and it's like staring at your like staring you in your face right like the uh the quote the, the quote was like the, the the age of the sword is over or some shit in there mm-hmm. it, it was there a few times but it was it was just one of those like literal the universe itself almost seems to be screaming at him that like this this path that he's on where he he thinks he's like almost like the protagonist of sorts um just i had hope right like that's what kept me going i had, I had hope that he would like get it at some point and he did right um he did to okay this kind of sound vagabond was an 8 out of 10 for for me i was ready to drop it to like um it, sorry an 8.5 i was ready to drop it to an 8 um before the far mark it wasn't until the far mark that i gave it like a solid 9 which has spoilers for my final score right but i needed bro i needed that fucking far mark so bad because when i saw him finally say what was the line um your goal is to like protect life or something i was like there it is bro Oh, fuck, did he lock in? Did he lock in? Is this it? Is this fucking it? Dude, I was so happy. Because just to watch him, I guess, go beyond the sword was was all I was fucking waiting for. I just needed him to put down the stupid-ass fucking... Like, like I, look, no, no offense to, to samurai fans out there, but for me, like, this this obsession with, with swords was, like, so... Not even unrelatable but it was not swords like in the literal sense although yes partially um mm-hmm. but like him having the single-minded obsession was it was like it was almost such such a mean way to phrase it but it was my my reaction was on some like how vile right like to see him have this conflict with himself where he's like god should i go with otsu or, or uh, maintain the way of the sword and i was like hot woman i place to live consistently like it, it's such a it is such a non-starter of a struggle that that it's almost it, it was almost foreign to me where i was like i get it right i get like this is everything to him this is everything he's ever known this is his his art or whatever but at the same time he's seen that he that this shit doesn't last forever he like multiple times he's seen that there are limits to it and there are diminishing returns especially after you kill 70 people in a row and there's almost like this this fucking urge to scream like there's more out there stop bro like it's there's more there's more beyond the blade (sighs) it's so interesting to me though is that like i don't think that's true for musashi like i think there is more beyond the blade but i don't think he's the type of person that can figure it out without it in his hands if that makes sense Mm. right like in the sense that, like, yes, I think him being with Otsu would be great for him, right? 
but I think that it's like he has become a significantly stronger person and I don't mean physically mm. right and he hasn't done anything but slay people and swing his sword and farm right another right. battle that In he's a, having with the not earth with humans yeah. but with the earth itself but right? it was, i think that's Musashi why is only grown through through the blade or through through battle yeah and, and that's and, what makes it so tough for me to like it's like i i know it, it's like i said yeah. it, it's almost like an inherent contradiction when i'm reading because it's mm -hmm. it's half like a vibe thing um and half like a what, what do you call it like i understand but it doesn't resonate thing um I get you. until the far mark and this is gonna sound like a crazy thing because I, I know for a lot of people their favorite misashi moments are like mid battle right but for me it became when he was like begging to keep the village alive I don't know, just like swallowing his pride and doing. That. I was like, dude, finally, is this, bro? You can just just be fucking normal. Like, like these people are important to you. You know, uh, you've been so strong all your life. You can't even perceive the weak. Just all of that just fucking hit me like a truck. I, I was waiting, man. I, I just, it was so cathartic to hear that. Like, for him to finally, it felt like I was watching him reach enlightenment. You know. It felt like, yeah. it felt like, for the first time, realization hit. It didn't need to be with a blade, and he was able to just exist outside of the sword for like five fucking minutes, and in that moment, just just you know, look outside of himself, um, uh, for for an answer. I don't know. I just, I I really fucking loved that scene, man. It it was so cool, and the the. <laughs> Was it the, the paddy fields finally sprouting and everything? Oh, fuck, that was so cool. And when he was when he ran into the samurai that were, like, tailing him, and he said the line, he was like, how disgusting, you remind me of my old side. I was like, dude, that's that's how I felt about you. Oh, my God. Dude, I was so fucking, I, I was, I was, like, proud of him. I was like, you, fu and now he, like, whenever I see him with his sword, it, it's almost like he knows what to do with it now, right? Not like I needed him to put it down, but I just needed him to, like, it's, it's almost like he was holding it so close to his face he couldn't see like where he was holding it in like he couldn't see past yeah, the sword I mean, and 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 for me that was like my biggest obstacle it was like hey bro it's just a piece of metal like like it's invincible is only a word and i think for him to finally get that perspective outside of himself was all i was fucking waiting for because everything before yeah. was just i mean he was he was he was missing he was missing the trees for the leaves and he was missing the forest, forest for, the, for trees, the trees man. yeah like he so, was yes i mean i agree and i think i think i mean who am i to tell you where you should derive enjoyment from if you got enjoyment from it bro yeah but like yeah shit. no th that's 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 just what i mean like it, it was just like a different thing that i was experiencing i guess like, like it, it it almost felt like i was reading a, an entirely different manga not not in the farm arc um uh, i mean like compared to everybody else um, yeah. because there, there was like an apprehension on my end where I was like, why is this not relatable to me? Right? Like on paper, I've been in similar positions, right? I was able to associate all these stages he was in all these like inner monologues and, 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 um, uh, little self-development steps that he was in like multiple times, bro. Like you, you, you know me, I'm, I'm an introspective fuck. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was, I was like really trying to piece together what my limitation was and i don't know i i my best guess is that it was a uh it felt like it like a struggle that like i came out the other side of already and i was just waiting for it was almost like yeah bro i, I know what this is like um when you get the answer it's gonna be really cool you know not, not in like on some arrogant shit but like this wasn't the problem you know that i was facing right uh especially like when i was in the context of me reading it really recently it maybe if it was me you know three four years ago it might have hit the same way but i think the fact that the farm arc and specifically uh matahashi resonated with me the way the way they did was because matahashi felt like a more pressing 
reflection of who I who I am at this moment in time. Just to see, you know, all these, you know, terrible aspects and like doubts and fears and fucking everything that I hate about myself be manifested into this one character who's p pretty much suffering from the same thing, but like doesn't know how to address it, doesn't stop to think that like maybe this isn't the way forward, doesn't, I don't know, no shame. I, I told you um, in Lethality before, man, it it's like seeing all the worst parts of myself made manifest and mm -hmm. having having it be like a what if like i would still be a matahashi if i didn't try to improve i i would still be like him if i you know if i was still you know not to say too personal but if i was still like too much of a coward to acknowledge like what it is i wanted and to understand like when something was just not for me and i was wasting my time like knowing when to call it and just accept who you are and improve that yeah, i don't know that that was that that was that just felt more more personal yeah. i get you man i get you there are certain things that like apply to musashi though that just for me right mm -hmm. i'm just like it's it it's like kind of like almost scary mm -hmm. you know what i mean like startling in terms of its in terms of its relevancy to me um yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. No, that's that's how it um, felt with with Matahashi, man. Like, like it's just seeing yourself kind of laid out like that is it, just very alarming. And I was so happy when he he was finally ready to you stop using Ko, uh, Kojiro's name <laughs> and give him the uh, the scroll. He mm -hmm. took off his dead childhood friend, which, by the way, Kojiro flashback was was so cool, but so sad uh, in retrospect yeah, for that moment. Um. But I don't know. I, I went after his uncle died, and then his mother. It, it was mm. like, yeah, just, just damn, bro. Just, it was, just be okay being yourself. You know, you you are the type of guy to go off with with a with a pretty uh, pretty woman, um, while your friend is getting you know um is fighting for his life against like a a gang of people with nothing but a sword. Right, you are the type of guy to uh, be a coward. Uh, uh, in a fight, you you are the type of guy to try to you know be a showman. I don't know. Like, I think him tr clinging on to this vision of of um of himself and like like that he made when he was a kid with Matahashi is like, it is almost as silly to me as like what what Matahashi was doing with this whole like becoming invincible thing. It's just, I understand who you are. Like trying to run away from it, trying to say no, I'm not a coward. Actually, instead of I am a coward, let me see how I can change that. Is I don't know. Like that's that's just what I was waiting for with him. And 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 when he finally had that like awakening, you know, that coming to Jesus moment, it, it felt so cathartic. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I think I think I think where we kind of potentially disagree is that like. Musashi and Matahachi have had their like coming to Jesus moment, like in in totality at least. Yeah, no, no that... they're on the other end yeah. of it, both of them. That's that's what I'm saying. Like when yeah. when they both had it is like they're they're both excellent moments for me. Yeah, I guess yeah. Hmm. <sighs> this is uh, oh, man, when Musashi's like he's thinking back on his fight and he's like you know don't don't ask like um well it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong what matters most is whether it's fun and then we saw she's like it's so fun i could hardly stand it and i was like oh damn <laughs> wow that was uh a personal shot foul on the play all right <laughs> uh nobody said you can do that i Oh man, dude, I'm. Yeah, I. Vagabond, 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 vagabond. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. oh, dude. Satisfactory man. stuff, man. I. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <sighs> it's, man. It's it's just great yeah um like i said it, it didn't you guys yeah. weren't able to tell 10 out of 10 on my part right i fucking 
yeah. love this shit, man. Nine out of ten for me. Farmark really came in clutch. Yeah. How do you even talk about JJK after that? Depressingly. Oh, GG mm. wrote yeah. some shit, I guess. I don't know. You know what? It wasn't um, Musashi, bro. Like, Sukuna? Okay. You're, okay, bro. Can nah, I just I say, mean, bro, um, just to end it off on a lighthearted note, unless you want to do mm. something different. Yeah, for sure. Um, chat, I can call myself Musashi. I can do that. Matahashi. Matahashi, right? I can mm -hmm. fucking do that. If I see one of you doing that, that's, I'm putting you in timeout. Yeah, man. Yeah, good luck, chat. Good luck, chat. That's a privilege only uh, uh, him and I get. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Because, yes, A, yes, bro, yes, like... <laughs> lethality, I still... I, I, don't know, I don't know if I'll ever fully forgive you for being, like... Also, you, you, I don't know. I, I haven't been reading chat just to focus on, like, what I've been trying to say. <laughs> but, um... Uh, again, not to get too, too personal, but... Um, the, I have, like... The way Matashi felt about Musashi um, as, like, friends and, like, uh, leaving each other like that, they are thoughts I've had with previous friendships before, right? And there, there's thoughts you, you have, right? Um, now, it did cross my mind briefly, right? With a certain friendship. Don't want to get too personal here. But, again, that's for me to think, right? <laughs> Not you guys. So don't fucking mm. come at me like that. Don't say, bro, I was thinking the same fucking thing when I was reading it about you this totally makes sense it's like i was reading your life story no you don't mm, banned no banned is crazy so oh yeah. no nah, prince manic said somebody somebody make an imu edit hey bro Fuck i think i think you might mikey mikey get in the booth mikey get in the booth mikey get in the booth i seen what you did god for lips lender let's let's see what you can cook up but yeah let me use the bathroom real quick and then uh we can we can jump into jjk talk we can jump mm. we can jump into jjk yeah. talk um creams i regret saying that to you seriously it's fine it's fine it, it's just like uh it, it was just like really funny like funny is crazy like it wasn't initially funny it was just like a you you know kind of kind of think about yourself you know you don't, you don't gotta worry you you don't gotta you don't gotta do all that with with me you know you your lives are all rich tapestries of, of lore and experiences you don't need a you don't need to think of creams when when, when you see a, a character like that all right just say damn are those my personal insecurities you know just just work on yourselves guys you know that's 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 the key here self-improvement michael welcome back uh michael all right, just some nerd. I'm, I'm timing you out for a bit. I, I just said, uh, here, I'm, I'm giving you one minute as like a warning. All right, let's see. So true, Creams, I couldn't have said it better myself. My God, I'm a new age because that's crazy. Live Slander? Have we unlocked Live Slan Slander? The Parasocial Ones podcast, I have descended. Descended? Don't you mean ascended? Um, you no, know, Mikey would never do slander. Yeah, that's what I love about him. He's too, he's too, he's too like mature for that. You know what I always say, um, or rather, what Mikey always says about me. He says, "Creams." <laughs> let me let me just do the fucking. <laughs> let me do it. <laughs> he says, "Creams, I'd never met." <laughs> I just fuck. Why can't they get through this without laughing? Damn it, Creams. I just. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Okay. I have to. I'm, I'm gonna get through this. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna fucking get through this. Okay. Here we go. Creams. I'd never make. I'd never make agenda. <laughs> I'd never make agenda edits of you. Dude. I respect you too much. <laughs> yeah. okay, no. What's wrong with you, brother? I have seen. I, I have seen the live edit. Yeah. Yes, 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 peak, 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 peak. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, um, Sun Asteria, thank you for being for becoming a member of Honor Ones After Dark. We'll see you Thursday. Thank you, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. 
Okay, I, I think I think that's all right, bro. I'm talking right. about JJK or whatever. Yes. So, JJK, I can tell me, bro. Uh, nah, the JJK, the JJK chapter was, it was a JJK chapter. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be mad at that. You know? Um. Yeah. Uh, Gay Gay did write some manga. He did. He did. Um. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Let's okay. get into it. Let's talk job. All right, bro. Do you want to talk serious, or do you want to, or you want to get some agenda memes, or whatever? All right. Well, it don't know the the jokes will come when they come. I'm I'm serious. Right. I'm in I'm in I'm in serious mode. Okay, so I didn't really get a chance. Like I wasn't here last week, so I didn't get a chance to talk about it uh, with you or uh, otherwise. But uh, Miguel's introduction, like his entrance into the fray, how did that go over? Um, in terms of people caring, um, I guess well, you in general, like you see, you know, I know it's cool. Um, I was like, I'm not gonna lie, I was like Miguel. Miguel. Yeah, right. I was definitely like, you know, I was, I was skeptical, and you know, I think it's, I think it works. I think it works. It's fine. It works. I think this chapter but, uh, makes it work, but like, yeah, it's definitely, own, yeah, I was definitely like, oh, oh, mm. Miguel, like, you, like, it, it's, it, I, 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 it, it, yeah, it's, it just, it just felt very out of left field. Yeah, I, I was like, is Gay stalling for something? Like, this, this seems like, yeah, bro, me. Um, you can his next real opponent yeah um, dude i was oh, god um what's i think i i saw a tweet that was like just independently talking about uh oh shit it's uh your thumbnail artist what's his name fuck 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 um uh similana yeah uh he was tweeting about like his next um his next thumbnail and he was like mm -hmm. um some somebody is like somebody is next uh for sukuna and uh, I read that as like some like this is the next person who's gonna take over after Miguel, <laughs> uh, and uh, I was like, damn, bro, am I next? Shit, like, hey, bro, no, step right up. Yeah, like, no offense to Miguel, but like, is there, is this like a deli line situation? Like, are we just all deli taking? Line. Deli line is crazy. Um, I will say, I mean, Miguel, Miguel did his thing. Like he didn't. I don't no, think he, he, no, he Yeah, no, so. he he definitely did his thing. It was he he did some crazy shit. Like that we'll get into in a sec, right? That has some funny power scaling implications. But just like, just like on like knee jerk reaction, I was like, damn. Yeah, on knee jerk reaction, yeah. someone that showed up in JJK zero and is like, we know was like kind of also babysitting you to in like a another bit. It was, it was country. Yeah, like he. Yeah. I like yeah. It, it definitely felt like. What's, what's 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 going on here, man? Like, because my, my next my next thing was gonna be like, oh man, what why why wouldn't um, uh, people from Ghetto's old squad come back at this rate? <laughs> well, this is it. Bro. Yeah, yeah. This is all they got. Everybody else dead. Yeah, yeah. That's um, true. Oh yeah, Mimiko yeah. Nanako. Yeah. So. And then the other the other two might have got hit by Max Meteor Shibuya. They, but yeah, they like, they. They're, yeah. Yeah, they're 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 done. This is it. Um, I, I... I will say Miguel's characterization in this chapter was pretty cool. Like he seems like mm -hmm. a chill dude. Mm -hmm. Um, when Larue's like, "We'll mourn them and together in heaven," and he's like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. they're in hell." Let's yeah, go. yeah. And they're he's like, "Bro, hell. that's Which my is... go. That's my best friend right there. I would have like loved to see him. You know, go to the to, to win the war or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he's in hell. <laughs> like, let's let's just yeah. be on. Because like, dude, honestly, can we just say completely out of pocket way to talk about one of your closest friends that you like die for? Like, I mean, like, listen, bro. If if it, if it makes you feel any better, like, come on, bro. You you're a clan member. You know, like, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say the same thing. I'm gonna say the same thing, bro. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro, like, you know, I miss him every you, day. I, I can't go on without him, but he's definitely, you know, knee, knee, knee pads, bro. Knee pads. I would I would be like, listen, bro. <laughs> this is a this is this is a nah. Dedicating dedicating something to you is also kind of crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I will. I'll, I'll point down, but like, yeah. Cream, <laughs> point cream, down cream, is me, fucking bro. diabolical. Cream, cream, you know, cream, I know, I know, I'm a, I'm, I know Creams is looking up at us right now, chat. I know, I know he's, I know he's observing us from the deepest pits of hell. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, bro. This one's for you. I pour the fucking cheapest alcohol. I can <laughs> nah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, um, God. but yeah, dude, it, it was just, it, I don't know, it was just funny as hell. Like, cause it like, the, funny. I agree. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would have died, protect, like get, getting him to, 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 to win the war. You know, I, I, I would have given anything to have get, to have Ghetto at, at the throne, but he's in hell. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? 
What are you gonna do? God. I mean, he, he 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 is where he is, which makes Toji being in heaven so infinitely much funnier, funnier. By the yeah. way, wait, quick question: We agree that Toji probably is like as crazy as it sounds, a better person than Ghetto, right? By the time they die, yeah. Like in okay. the grand scheme of things, probably like like I think numerically, right? Like if you were to pull yeah, up right? their scores, That's like what I'm thinking. yeah, like like honestly, like, if, if Toji... I was to give you both of their like reputations on paper without the names, like you definitely like shudder i guess yeah, like, yeah yeah like toji seems crazy because like oh rico blah 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 like i get it right but like we're talking about how many people died off of what he did specifically yeah like he, we're talking was, in the oh, hundreds and, and, and especially if we look at intentions like ghetto was trying to genocide people bro like he wasn't like toji he's a mercenary with no morals that's bad i'm not saying that's a good thing right ghetto said hold on wait a minute you fucking monkeys gotta go it's like actually speaking right, well, of bro like why do you why do you say it why do you say it like that bro <laughs> what, what? if miguel's calling out some some racism was it was guess just whipping out monkeys left and right and like miguel nah, was not, not not around not around miguel bro right i bet he wasn't i bet he wasn't bro. okay because i'm he like wasn't, he wasn't he 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 wasn't he wasn't or nah he wasn't bro I don't think he was I think yeah right that cause... was some shit that was some shit he only used around his other goons I'm gonna be real. it, it would have to be because like Miguel didn't even know he said that shit for real bro Miguel, he, he he would have to not Miguel, yeah that's why Miguel fucks with him bro because he didn't know he was saying that shit in the background yeah because um, like I'm I'm gonna be honest with you man like he he meant it like in a racial like, like you know what I mean like like it wasn't. Like, Miguel could understand how Ghetto meant it, right? He probably does, but there's still, like, a layer of it where, where he has to be, like, kind of side-eyeing him. Just, just like, a little, mm -hmm. like, hey, man, what do you what do you mean by that? Yeah. Um, also, Adam, I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Yeah, Toji murdered Rico. You're arguing with the cannon. We've seen Toji with a halo over his head twice, brother. You're arguing with Gege. I didn't do it. I didn't write it me um you know me personally yeah. as a kenyan i can't work under a guy calling people monkeys that's what i'm saying right like there, there is like yeah, an aspect to it what you're saying too. Hmm? <laughs> nothing go ahead continue, continue. Yeah. yeah you know what bro the, i am i am curious like if you're if you're in miguel's position right you understand all the like context and nuance of jujutsu sorcery and and blah 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 you hear, you hear Ghetto like calling, uh, like saying you're you know, gonna use the, you're gonna use a new word, bro. I'm no, 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 he's he's just like filthy monkey can't even use jujitsu. No, your ears I'm, pricking I'm up, saying, like no, what I'm what I'm saying. Oh, that's is your he's oh. to learn to use a new word. Okay, or I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> like call them like insects or something, bro. Monkey around me is crazy, <laughs> bro. Nah, nah, nah. I got too much melanin for that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Call them insects, bugs, like nothing. Pissant, yeah, like worms, piss ants, right? Like there's you got options, bro. I get it. Some dude with no cursed energy said like he's a monkey with that 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 can't use jujutsu. I get it. That that la that had a lasting impact. Change up your vernacular or I'm gonna <laughs> kick your ass. I don't I don't like we got like there's there's a simple solution. There's a simple solution, bro. I'm not saying Listen, I'm with you on the killing on sword. Who cares, right? Whatever. Apparently, I'm with you on that, right? Mm. But we gon' we gon' change we gon' change up the vernacular. Yeah. We gon' change up the vernacular. We not doing that. Because I'm I'm uh -huh. like, damn, bro, you like this suggests a very intimate relation. Like you had to have known, right? So either either um he got like a fucking monkey pass or whatever you want to call it, no. or or Ghetto is doing that shit on on the sly. He definitely was doing that shit on the side, like kind of looking around. Like, mm. notice how when he called Maki that, Miguel wasn't there. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. He's like, you know what I think it might be too. Like, I think Ghetto might just be hedging his bets. Like, I mean, 99% of sorcerers are Japanese, so like, Loki, I'm not even really, you know. Yeah, I'm right. Really, come on, come on. You know, Miguel obviously will change up the vernacular when we get to, you know, come on. Yeah, come on. yeah. yeah no, I, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going the, I'm definitely going the. He didn't want to say that shit around um around yeah. miguel route personally yeah okay but, so yeah. yeah just wanted to like because because i i thought of that when i read the chapter i was like damn bro you 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 ride for him this hard and because like the way Gato talks is like you you just come on you 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 know like like you... yeah yeah um speaking of racists right i mean there's the elephant in the room right gojo's line 
Yeah, yeah. What what do you, what do you think, brother? I'm I'm genuinely curious. Like, I'll, I'm going to sprinkle in. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend okay. I'm not right. But serious, generally discussion. What what, what say you, man? Uh, I say, well, it's born of ignorance. Like, just mm -hmm. that's what it is. Um, yeah. In no small part, like not even because Gojo is Gojo, but because Gojo is Japanese. A Japanese. Aristocrat. Yeah. Yeah, like, like yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know how to like, how to like phrase it without also sounding racist. Like he's just, it's a mostly isolationist, pretty racial, like intentionally racially hegemonic country. Like they they suspend kids from like dyeing their hair. Hegemonic within a clan. Yeah. That usually based on, if we use the Zenu clan as a litmus test, that inbreed. Yeah, like, and also like yeah, you look like that and are the strong like like there's so many. I think Gojo apologizing was, like, interesting. Like, how do I say this? It was more surprising to me that he apologized than it was for him to to, to be ignorant of it. Because on paper, he would, like... I, I, this is going to sound dumb, but, like, he would have no experience, um, like, acquiescing to something like that. Right? Like, like he would just never... Like, when, when would he have done something wrong like that before? Right? Like, what is he basing it? What is... How you say? What gives him any indication that what he's doing is wrong, based on like his upbringing and like status, right? Aside from just being like a like a good person, right? Um, it would just be. It would just be. It would just be like. It would just be this, right? Like mm -hmm. it would just be that Gojo is not um, ill intentioned. Yeah, so that's the, he, that's what it is. Yeah. So when Miguel is like, "Hey, you did a bad thing," he's like, "Oh shit, my fault." Yeah. Right. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like that's that's like that right like like gojo apologizes too like it, it was a very innocuous i think exchange aside from from miguel just checking him and gojo doing that but i did find it interesting that like people were, were like he's fucking he's, he's racist like this blah blah blah. and it's like okay dude one he's not incorrect like tengen like like most sorcerers are japanese right like that's not that's not the part that was racist right the right. part that was racist is like w was saying was the you guys, guys the yes and your bodies body yeah and it's your like, thick bones yeah yeah it's like dude yeah listen listen and i see listen 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna say this you know <laughs> certified black person here you know what i mean uh if you need, if you need my identification <laughs> i'll send it right over to you right but like on a serious note, right? Like I see people saying like, "Oh, it's." I see both like, "Oh my God, Gojo!" And I think everybody that's saying Gojo's a real racist, they're joking, right? Mm -hmm. I don't believe that anybody's not joking. Now, Gojo, I mean, let's 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 do our little let's do our little critical thinkings here, right? Like you said, uh, Japanese aristocrat. Japan mm -hmm. already being a very very insulated uh, country. Yeah. Right. Like, like I fly uh, over there. Huh, Thirty yeah. slurs. Like, 10 okay. Minutes. You know That's what's crazy, real. bro? Like, technically, like not according to like Japanese law, like not even law, but like uh, I guess cultural law, like Gojo is is a fucking minority because he doesn't have like the black hair and black eyes. That yeah. like he's like he's the head of the strongest clan yeah, he's yeah, the strongest yeah. no no no, no. I, I don't mean that like yeah, no. he has that struggle I just yeah. mean like that's the bar that we're working with here like yeah. Gojo Gojo's an outsider bro. yeah like, oh my god you look so weird it's like okay listen 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 right it's like it's like I, I've also seen people say like oh that, that's not racist that's blah 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 it's like dude it is right like let's let's we don't you don't have to like you don't have to fucking baby him right mm -hmm. it, it, I mean he he said a, he, he he said a racist thing because like you know, I know, I know this is going to sound crazy, and don't get me wrong, Creams, you're not one of these people, right? But, like, some people can say or believe racist things God. and, in general, be good people. Like, Creams, you're not. You're, like, a, a, a very violent racist. But, like, people say ignorant things of, like, people of other races all the time. Like, it, it just happens, right? In the same way you can, you can have misogyny that you haven't unpacked, Creams. In the same way you can have homophobia God. you haven't unpacked creams oh my god same way you can have transphobia you haven't unpacked creams what is happening like racism is something that like it's not just it's not just oh, i hate those god you know what i mean like mm -hmm. it's not just that it's not just saying i skin better than yours right it's mm -hmm. all kinds of things and it's like like when you're when you're you're being prejudiced based on race. Like, oh my god miguel your 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 bone structure it's mm -hmm. so like Gojo, you don't know what his fucking bones look like. And what's funny about that, I was actually having a conversation with uh, about this with Tessera, right? Mm -hmm. What's funny about that is like, 
dude, LaRue looks bigger than him. Toto yeah. looks bigger than him, bro. You're clear. Let's let's be honest. Let's do the eye test, right? You Gojo saying, dude. "Oh my god, bro!" Compared to the Japanese sorcerer. Yeah, and, and bro, different. as if Gojo isn't like six foot two and Jack, like like bro, you you're the same height, damn. Like you know what I mean? Like what the fuck mm. are you talking about, dog? And and yeah, you're right. Uh, uh, like Toto's there. Uh, you got fuckers like Nanami out there. Like Brolic is like Brolic is like you know big motherfuckers, dude. Mm -hmm. Like you know you know that. And what's funny too, right? So you you maybe he was just doing a comparison, right? Maybe it's just true. But like when you look at the way he compares other sorcerers that are excelling at certain things, he doesn't say Megami, you have so much potential relative to 99% of the Japanese people. He just says you have a fuck ton of potential. Yuji, you're really good at close fights. Not you're good at close fights compared to 99% of Japanese people, right? You're just good at the thing. Mm -hmm. And it's like the reason he's drawing that comparison is to like make Miguel the out group. And it's like, it's it, just it's such an so, old, yeah. tired stereotype that is rooted in racism and blah, 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 blah. Right? It just is. Mm -hmm. Is what it is. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying Gojo goes to clan meet uh, Riley's, probably does, but like, I'm not saying he does, right? But like, Let's also put two and two together. He was Ghetto's best friend or more if you're like that. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, 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 but yeah. but also like literally everything about his backstory and upbringing, it, it doesn't do him yeah, any dude, favors. He, he has no, he has no, he has no, especially earlier on, right? Mm -hmm. No interest in protecting weak people. Like, bro, 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 like gets mad at non-sorcerers, right? And he's like, should I kill them all? It won't mean nothing, right? Like, Gojo, like Ghetto's kind of like initially you know, crazy to say, moral compass for Gojo a lot of the times, right? And it's like, I don't know, man. I think I think it's very fine for Gojo to have that flaw. My actual only criticism, personally, like, with that whole scene is not that, like, oh, my God, it, it, it made my glorious King Gojo a, a bad person. It was just, like, I felt like it was... How should I put this? It was, like, kind of half-assed. Like, do it do it or don't sort of thing in the sense that like i guess it's a it's a fine interaction right it just feels like very um very whatever like i don't i don't think there is there is much of a like new much of a purpose okay. it's, it's just like you weren't you weren't how should i put this because that's not even that like I, i'm not expecting commentary on racism from gay gay right and in, in all honesty want that. but <laughs> <laughs> but right he tackles all kinds of societal problems and blah 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 whatever whatever right there's many people brought up on twitter and all other places right so i don't really have an issue with him discussing the topic i think it's perfectly fine i think plenty of series should address it because it's a very real aspect of life mm -hmm. what my not even and once again issue is kind of dragging it because it's just like uh if i had to pick at one thing it would just be that like it's just very vapid i guess like it's a very vacuous moment it's like, yeah, okay, cool. Miguel checked them. It was like a one-line thing. It didn't really mean much in the grander scheme of things in Gojo's characterization. I don't think it speaks more about, like, his overarching prejudices as a sorcerer, right? I don't think it informs us very much about Gojo in any meaningful way. Miguel's response wasn't super-duper informing. He called him. He checked him, right? But that's it. I just feel like you either could have... You either could have committed a little bit stronger or just left it out if you didn't want to do it. That's kind of how I feel. But I don't really give a fuck about that, all, mm. all things considered. Um, um, it's not really the end I mean, of the world. I mean, I think the important thing is uh, Gojo apologizing. Because I think if he didn't, that would have been like... <laughs> no, fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Your bone structure is different. Yeah. I suck. You guys are all like this. Yeah, bro. Yeah, because, you know... The, the real problem is his physique. When you add curse energy to these guys' skeletal structure, <laughs> yeah. oh my god. God, look at them. Yeah, dude. <laughs> look at these specimens. Yeah. It's like, all right, bro. What are we doing here? Do you here, play man? basketball? What are we doing here? Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. Nobody prom <laughs> Nobody said that in the chapter, bro. That was just something you decided. That's crazy. That's crazy, That's crazy bro. Fuck, That's dude. crazy. That's crazy, bro. I was adding. Oh, I was yes anding you. Okay, you know what? No. no. I, okay, new self imposed rule. No, no, yes, ending you for 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 shit like this. I mean that shit. I would I would have had that rule already, bro. I will say, Gage's kind of funny for saying all that and then having Miguel's technique be based off of like rhythm and <laughs> dancing. He is kind of funny for that. Like, it's one of those things where I don't know. It's always interesting. Like, yeah, part of the culture. Cool, cool, cool. Um, that's fine. 
it just becomes funny when because Miguel's the only black character, and yes, I said the only black character. You know what? God. Real quick, real quick God. tangent, right? Some Hakari no, no, slanders. No, no. Okay, fine. No, no, no. It's, not, it's not even a Hakari slander. Look at the last time Hakari's depicted. Oh my God. No, no, no. I'm not, it's not slander. It's not slander. It's not. I'm, it's not about his strength. It's not about none of that shit, right? I'll post the panel. I'll post the panel for you, bro. I want you to show chat I've... the side by side comparison. It's it's nothing. It's 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 in manga stuff. I'm not even using colored. Oh, Gage's colorblind. Okay, fine. I'm not even using colored shit, right? I'm just using the manga. Compare this black man, quote unquote, to Miguel, and tell me that they're meant to be the same skin color. Tell me that they're meant to even be in the same in a similar tone. Hey. Hey. Listen, hey. bro. I'm not. Hey. Just, just tell me they're supposed to be the same skin. Eh. Okay. Eh. Yes. Okay. It's not Hakari slander. It's not Hakari slander. I haven't said one bad thing about Hakari, unless you think not having melanin like worsens his character or something. I don't even know what to say to that. Anyway, um, you know, little interaction. That answer was probably your best answer. Yes. Thank you. I'm trying to learn here. Um. Mm -hmm. Anyway, pu putting that aside, right? That that pretty. Okay. We, I guess we did the disclaimer of, you know, what it was they were talking about. I am, I want to talk about it in the context of the story. Miguel being strength and all yeah, that cool. um, yeah, let's do it. That's a, okay. So two things. One, the statement, like we said, has holes in it when you have people like Toto there who are just fucking, mm -hmm. they, they have muscles, like on muscles mm -hmm. type shit. Uh, yeah. But two, even if that was the case, right? It's still Sukuna. Mm. Like he's like they're making this pitch to him as if like, yeah, bro, you, you you're athletic, so like, you know, Sukuna's not gonna know what to do about that. And like Maki has a heavenly restriction. You know what I mean? Like like there's like a. I mean like okay, I'll put it like this, right? Let's do some let's do some quick scaling, all right? So, Gojo was just curse energy reinforcement over disaster curses physically, mm. right? And but he also like amplifies shit with blue. So like there is a bit sure, of sure, but like, not in Shibuya, right? Go Jogo mentioned specifically that Gojo's only using cursed energy manipulation and he's like surpassing them. Mm. Right? So Miguel in short burst or whatever over that, just cursed energy to cursed energy, no technique. Then Miguel's curse technique amps him and debuffs like other curse techniques, it seems, mm. right? So it's like, hey man. There there's a buff there. Like that's, that's that's I think that's like if you're saying you're adding physically at least, right, a disaster curse spirit. You're adding, like, in terms of just speed, strength, whatever, a Dagon, a Jogo, a Hanami, a Mahito. Like, I'm, I'm going to say that's a non-zero help. Wait, yeah, I'm going to say that's a non-zero help in this kind of fight, right? Like, don't get me wrong. No, it, Gojo, it's, it, it's better, yeah, no. I, like, better than fucking... Nothing, yeah, no. Yeah. Just to be clear, I'm not saying, like, it, he makes no difference. It's more like, I think the, uh, the importance, like, maybe some people are placing on, on the claim, like... I mean, Miguel has also agreed to fight Sukuna under very specific conditions with another person and no domain being active. Like, like there are, like, Miguel isn't, how you say, pulling up on Sukuna single-handedly and taking care of it like he's Kusakabe. You know what I mean? Like, no, absolutely not. Yeah, and, and I don't think him um, being, like, physically stronger, having this technique makes, like, is, is that distinctive, right? Like, if you, the best way to visualize what I'm talking about, right, is if, like, you and no opera to do like a Miguel versus every disaster curse spirit, you know, video. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could have a lot of he's fun with it. He's right. Getting cooked. Yeah. So like Because like here's the thing, right? At least until we see an anti domain technique, Miguel is just a guy who would overpower the disaster curse spirit mm -hmm. physically and then just get domain. Like, yeah. <laughs> like that that's the that's the shit I'm talking about, right? Like like this I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this for mm -hmm. context, right? Kusakabe did what he did last chapter and he looked at Jogo as well as Sukuna, as elephants to his ants, right? Oh my god, bro, these motherfuckers are gonna mm -hmm. fucking kill us! It's like, hey man, listen, as, once again, you have to keep in mind how much weaker this Sukuna is, for mm -hmm. one, right? It's, all of the things they're doing are still impressive, but this Sukuna is, like, incomparable to 
Like I would, I wouldn't, I would, I would, I would hesitate to put a finger on it. Like in terms yeah. of like how many fingers he's worth, because stabbed heart weakens him to an unconfirmed amount, right? Two hands unusable, now three, right, or three temporarily, right? He really doesn't have. He can't use the world dismantle, or yeah, the world dismantle. Right, mm -hmm. which means his one-shot weapons. He's really just got cleave. Regular dismantle. Like, keep in mind, chat. Regular dismantle is getting eaten by Choso. Choso mm -hmm. is fine after a dismantle straight up. Right. Like you say, oh, he got cut. Right. It did not go through him at all. He just blocked that shit straight up. It's like, dude, Choso in base is tanking your attacks. Tanking is crazy. Choso in base is handling your attacks, and he's like not in any mortal danger. Yeah, you're weak as fuck. Yeah, yeah, you're weak as fuck, bro. In terms of relative to your full power. Yeah. Like, no, like, th this is a very specific circumstance that Miguel uh, can really shine in um, with Sukuna not having his domain uh, and, like, just scrapping like that, right? My, um... I say this uh, to lead into my main criticism? Uh, speculation thing I've always believed that I just want to double down on because I think this is supporting mm -hmm. evidence. Uh, I've told you before... I am of the belief that JJK Zero Gojo uh, is not the same go uh, Gojo in JJK uh, proper. Like, I don't think he was the strongest in air quotes. I, there were no domains. Like, like a lot of this shit just was not invented when, when Zero was written. And I think to a, to a small degree, about like a good chunk of the uh, story changes that happened, it's not like a different canon or anything, but there is like a very, very big difference, at least to me, in depiction, right? This felt like trying to explain how Miguel was able to withstand all those blue enhanced punches that we've come to find out in the Sukuna fight were just that, right? Like, that's what Gojo was doing. Uh, and was able to not only withstand them, but to go distract uh, uh, Gojo and keep him busy for that long, right? Like, mm -hmm. it felt like when Gage was first writing it, they were actually just able to do all that. In it, he was able to do all that with Gojo, right? In the context of Gojo being the strongest, like the fucking honored one, fighting Sukuna, blah blah blah, all this shit. Then it was like, okay, this is how Miguel had to have survived it, right? It it felt like a he didn't have this to start with. He wasn't fighting with his technique. He wasn't doing all the shit in JJK Zero. Gage thought of this after like it, kind of putting them both on a scale and realizing there is an there is an explanation gap for um like if you're trying to make these two characters the same the same person um while writing under in like totally different head spaces so i think he was just bridging the gap here with this technique uh and with like the explanation of like miguel's strength that's again personal theory opinion whatever you can believe it if you Good want question. does that does that make it a problem for you like no. i think there are there are multiple no. ways you can explain it, it, it's why not... miguel's fine even without even with a massive strength app like the reason I would say for Miguel is just like Gojo's fighting, and there are other people in the vicinity, right? Yeah, and like, like that's so that's for him not using his domain, but like there, there was no domain to use. Right? Like, like I, I'll put it like this, right? It it very much feels like when people say Ghetto like should be stronger, and it's like maybe sure, right? Because like other other techniques, like Ghetto would likely have had a domain or RCT, yeah. right? If he were in JJK, yeah, now. proper, yeah. But like, he, he's not right, and I. Think but like, it was the, enough. Like, are... what he does was enough to warrant him still being on special grade, right? Like, it wasn't. It wasn't like it, the thing I'm describing isn't like immersion breaking or anything. It's just like, Gege. This is gonna sound crazy, but like Gege got lucky in a way that he there were there were there are reasonable like leaps of logic you can take to keep everything like relatively in the same lane, right? I'm just saying this is one of them. Like, I would consider this one of them, right? Like, it gives him an opportunity to, like, use Miguel and include him and, um, and um, LaRue, right? I just think it's, like, two birds, one stone. You, you get me? Like... Yeah, no, I mean, I, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Um, like, it doesn't take a remove. It's more like a... I just think he did this. Got you. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, now... In, yeah. in retrospect, right, him doing this does make for a cool explanation as to why he's, like, moving and uh, scrapping with Sukuna the way he is. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's a fun byproduct of that. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, I will say, though, dude, I'm looking at this. 
the roost technique kind of ass. Can we be honest? I mean, the Steven one says the same thing. I'll be honest with you. The one tenth thing is more is more impressive than the hands. Just yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And maybe Larue put the hand up before she, before they got nailed with a black flash. Yeah. Um. I I do wonder oh, though, maybe. uh, like if Sukuna figures out the number, if he's just like temporary temporary binding vow max input times twenty type type shit. Oh god. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. How do you feel about the binding vow? Because that finally got explained. Yeah. How, yeah. How, how he cut, how he cut Gojo. How do you feel um, about that? I saw. It, like, I guess it makes sense, right? Like, we, we always kind of speculated that that he had to have done something, uh, mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Um, but it did. I'll be honest with you, I thought of that for maybe one second, because my, my mind went immediately from Gojo to, to the fight with Yuta. Hmm. How the fuck he slash him, bro? Like, they were holding all four of his hand. Like, huh? Well, I think I think what that would mean is just that it wasn't a world dismantle. Like, retroactively, we now know for sure it wasn't. Yeah, so... Was an enhanced attack. Okay. Like he couldn't. He, apparently, he couldn't have, right? Like, yeah, he couldn't. Like, versus Maki, yeah. he's just chanting. Like, because he needs to make the seals and... So say like, and point the direction people. yeah yeah so he pointed the direction and chanted but he couldn't have made the seals which means yeah um, so right now world, which is cool, yeah which is right now it like passively um it confirms that what he hit yuta with was just like a basically enhanced slash which is cool right mm -hmm. um however if there's ever a situation where gege's like yeah yuta just barely survived the world dismantling slash i'm gonna be like no he didn't no, he did. like I mean, you know what I mean. Like you can't do both. No, I mean I don't. I don't think he would plan to do both. Yeah. I don't think he would plan to do both. Me personally, me personally, um, I feel like I was talking to Liv about this, right? Obviously, she disagrees. Gage's number one soldier. You know, congrats <laughs> to you. Give you your medal of honor, right? Um, but how should I put this? sacrificing being able to just basically throw out that world dismantle with very little conditions right in exchange for basically using world dismantle in the same way gojo has to use like purple he's kind of crazy to me i guess i mean hmm now nah, that's still a little nuts to me i'm gonna be real because like chanting aiming your technique and making a sign is like it's dude, that's if you didn't that's have four like, arms, like, yeah. I mean, not even that, but because that's just his true form, right? He he did that with that in mind. But it's like, dude, Gojo shoots off like a purple by doing that. You know what I mean? It just feels a little um I mean, I guess height of sorcery, I guess it's fine. It's just like it feels how should I put this? It almost feels like there wasn't an equal exchange, if that makes sense. It's something that I think has happened with binding us before where I'm like it didn't necessarily feel like the thing given up equates was to equal thing. to the thing gained. Um, right? It's like okay, you 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 I mean, were able to instantly kill Gojo with no consequence, right? Not no consequence. No consequence is wrong. But you were able to kill Gojo, and in exchange, you now do your enhanced sorcery in the way basically everybody else would. So maybe I'm just cynical, or maybe I'm just like whining. It just feels like, damn, bro, that's it. I, I did. hope it's more at okay. least, but it does. I don't know. You, you brought something up that's interesting because I I did see an explanation for that or a justification for it. I I'm fifty mm -hmm. fifty on it, um, but I don't I don't like it's not out of character. Uh, the explanation mm -hmm. was essentially you make the binding vows uh, with your current conditions as is. With uh, mm -hmm. with Sukuna, it was in Megami's body with two arms. Mm -hmm. So the consequence right like 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 you know this two-armed person making such a deal with you know cursed energy the entity or whatever you want to call it uh mm -hmm. probably like, okay imagine a guy with two arms is like hey bro if you if you give you know let me do this just once i, I promise i'll never be able to i'll never do it again unless uh, like uh, unless i have like three more arms and like a second mouth you know what i mean like it's such a stu like okay like it's such a stupid ass request um, because, you know, he's never going to be able to do it again. So it's essentially a complete sacrifice of being able to ever do it. And then, then he heals fully. And then sure, he, I, yeah. can, I, I, can, I can respect that. So it's like he's cheating, that's, yeah. 
That's that's fair. I think I saw Demon God say he cheated the system next. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say this, right? If you can just cheat the system as simply as you said, like Creams, I like your explanation. Demon God, or you know, maybe not to call you out specifically, but just generally, right? That idea that like, oh, he just cheated the system. It's like, okay, dude, it, that's fine. I get that. It just like to how? me makes everybody make it makes everybody else seem dumb for not mm -hmm. doing that. Okay, right? Like Yuji gets uh, cleaved through the chest, right? Cool. Okay. In exchange for, you know, not healing for 10 seconds, I fucking amp my cursed energy a million times. Mm -hmm. It's like, if the binding laws don't have to be equal, right, which is kind of the premise of my point, mm -hmm. then it's it's fine that Sukuna does it really well because he's a really good sorcerer, but sometimes it feels like you have to make these characters extremely, like, uncharacteristically stupid for not doing very similarly obvious things, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. right? Is that, is that, is yeah. that like... like it, it's know. it's why I say I don't like I like the explanation. Um, I just um, like it's not out of character, right? The only reason mm -hmm. I don't like fully lock onto it is just a it's unofficial, right? Like it's just speculation mm -hmm. still. Uh, and B it it almost feels like it, if that's the case, then cursed energy is pretty dumb, right? Like, <laughs> or like a, it's a stupid power. System. Yeah, like, like, like I'm fine with Sukuna cheating, like Sukuna, like sorcerers are are con artists right that's mm. fine right but when you have like when you have like okay reggie's just some dude right he's just some mm. dude that's probably like a grade one sorcerer okay when you have like sorcerer he understands that sorcerers are con artists there are a bunch of these characters that are super smart in terms of sorcery right my problem isn't that sukuna uses binding vows in the way that he does my problem is that i feel like you have to make like okay take it like this right gojo gets to use like when he gets his arm cut off right i would say gojo is probably in a similar tier of sorcery intelligence mm -hmm. as Sukuna. i don't know if that's crazy to say i mean he did invent it, the he, uh the brain heal thing right like, like you sure, could right yeah and, I, and, and exactly very smart right oh okay since i only have one arm right in exchange for being able to shoot this hollow purple out with no signing and no spark right i'll never be able to use hollow purple again without two arms right mm -hmm. By the justification you gave, it would trick Cursed Energy, and he would get off a of free hollow purple and beat Tsukuna, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that I'm saying the fight should have went like that, but my question is, if it's so easy to trick the power system like that, why are the smartest, most talented, most knowledgeable characters in the verse not pulling shit like that off? It just, like I said, I'm not saying it's objectively bad, just the, the vibe check feels a little, like, you're telling me Sukun is the only one who's had his arm cut off and thought to use his technique like that? I'm just a little doubtful. Yeah, I just, I, and I, okay. I'm, I'm I, doubtful because we've seen other characters be so smart. Okay. That's why I'm doubtful. I, I guess Devil's Advocate, right? The way Sukuna used mm -hmm. it was specific to um, him knowing he's going to get three more arms, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what I would consider to be, like, the primary... Uh, uh, difference there. So if you don't have that on lock, right? Like if if you don't, uh, you know, have three more arms coming, you know, next day shipping, then it's it's mm. essentially a, an eternal sacrifice. Like like you're never going to be able to m use that technique ever again. I agree. What I'm saying is there are situations like Gojo. Gojo gets his arm cut off, right? Mm. And I'm saying if before he grows it, because. In the same way Sukuna could get more arms, Gojo knew he could have grown his back after that black flash, right? That wasn't he could he could get it back. Like he grows it back immediately after doing the blue, right? What I'm saying is, okay, sacrifice. I use a I use a hollow purple with no signs and no build up, right? In exchange, the only way I can ever use hollow purple again is through signing and chanting, right? Mm -hmm. Shit he basically already does. And that way, he gets to beat Sukuna very quickly, and then he gets to heal his arm, and it's basically as if he cheated. Does that make sense? No, that, I, like, yeah, I get it. And that's kind of, and, and listen, I'm headcanning a lot of shit. Like, I understand that, mm -hmm. right? I'm not, I'm really talking through how I feel more than making a staunch, like, fuck you, gay gay, right? I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really there yet. I haven't, like, decided he's wrong for this. But it's sort of like, okay, walk me through why like you can say most other people sure Sukuna's on a different level why gojo isn't that smart it's kind of my i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe it's like the maybe the hollow purple just doesn't have that sure hit effect uh uh that like 
sure hit effect. Not literal sure, sure hit effect, but like yeah, in but a like it's going to it's going it's, to land no matter yeah, what. Yeah, right. It, it's maybe maybe that's the difference. Like it could just be a calculated reason. It could be a pride reason. Um, we don't know, right? Because like. If Gojo's thinking, I could already do a purple that's like 120% of itself after a black flash, right? And he's like maximum outputting it uh, and killing Maharaga, which which is like his main goal, right? Like that was that was the that was the other thing I was gonna say. Like at, at that point when he did that, his main goal is to get rid of Maharaga and then like deal with Sukuna. And on paper, right, his cursed energy is replenished. Uh, he just he just got rid of his biggest obstacle. Um, mm -hmm. On paper, Sukuna also just took a lot of damage from that attack. His brain is fucked up. He's missing some limbs. Uh, Gojo has no... Uh, he's not desperate enough to, to need it, right? Like, like again, from Go from his perspective, right? There is no... There's no need. His life isn't at stake. Like, why? Like, why? Sure, sure, sure. So, I, I understand your point, and I think it's... I think it's... I think I agree in the sense that Gojo already had a plan... He had a plan he was willing to follow, and the plan did work mm -hmm. up to that point. So yeah. that's fine. What I'll say to chat, right? People are keep saying he has two arms. You're missing the point in time I'm talking about, right? Immediately after Maharaga cuts his arm off, and then Agito, Maharaga, and Sukuna attack, right? What I'm saying is, in a very similar way that when Sukuna was pressed with one arm, he made a binding vow that basically means without... In this current state, one armed, I can never use this technique again, mm -hmm. right? I'm saying before Gojo grows back his arm, meaning he just doesn't use RCT. He says, "Cool, basically hollow purple for free now, right? Real quick, no signing, blah blah blah." In exchange, I can never use it again, quote unquote, in this state, right? Now, once again, Cream Sprite are very good a uh, reason as to why being that like Gojo's plan was one he was already setting in motion and one he one that up until the point of having Sukuna ready the world to it worked right the plan did work I guess it's just the specific example isn't as important as a theoretical I guess mm -hmm. is kind of where I sit but yeah I mean like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on it a little bit but it just feels I don't know it just like I maybe I just see the maybe I just see the let like, Gage cook a little bit I say mm -hmm. that all the time but maybe I just need to let like, Gage cook a little bit right it just feels like. Also, I, I don't know, man. Like, we'll see. we'll see. You could argue theoretically somebody like Hakari and Yuta, um, both do it. You know, with their respective binding vows. Um, oh shit, is Hakari's thing a binding vow? No, that's a domain. What the fuck am I talking about? I mean, I mean, Hakari. That's another example of like the binding vows yeah uneven nature. yeah no i i fuck i was remembering the thing with his arm sorry not yeah. his technique yeah and that i don't i was once again talking about live with Liv, giga strongest soldier i know that if i have a if i have a problem with jjk I should probably like hey live let's see if you can convince me right <laughs> but i think that's another example of like how is your arm worth your life bro <laughs> like how do you like you sacrifice your arm because like your life? I, no so i, I don't think the exchange the... so i don't think the exchange you make is with your life what i think because like this is how i thought of it or this is how i read it it's like i have all of these things like all these pieces to move right like specifically with hokari he has mm -hmm. the cursed energy to give but he just doesn't have like the time or um i guess the ability to allocate it in this way right so for the sake of like w essentially what, what he's paying with his arm for with cursed energy is to specifically move and reinforce his body with the cursed energy he already has Right, like faster than he could do it himself. So that that's that's what I was thinking. Like he um, is essentially making a very specific deal. Like, hey, I need this result, right? Uh, and I have the pieces to give. Therefore, like I'm not like that. I'm paying the price up front, right? So an arm is worth, you know, like the context of him needing it in that in that uh, moment of Just moment all, of time. So. His total body is 50, one arm has 10. 10, yeah. So, time. That's ex fair. Yeah. I, I just, it just feels weird that he calls it a binding vow when it's just like, like, okay, for example, right? Like, what does he give? Like, Toto, Toto just moved Curse Energy to his stomach when Magito hit a Black Flash. I have mm -hmm. no issue with that. Like, it's just, you just you just concentrated your Curse Energy. The gamble wasn't the binding vow. The gamble or, was, or maybe he needed more. Of my body, I'm going to yeah. fucking die. Yeah, right? or, or maybe he just needed more, right? Where it could be like, hey, give me one arm's worth of cursed energy, like, in addition, and move it, right? 
Like, it, it could just be, like, you're not necessarily arguing for your survival. You're pleading for the tools so you can ensure it, right? If that makes... Like, it's, it's, it's like, a very specific kind of difference, right? You're not really saying, save me. You're saying, like, help me save myself. At least that's, that's how I read it. Yeah, I mean... Like I said, it's... It, I'm not, like, steadfast on hating it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm not saying sitting here, binding wells are bullshit. And that's not what I'm doing. But... Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I think you I think you make good points for sure, for sure. I can, I can. I guess it's just I guess it's just like maybe I have that like Nen contract brain mm -hmm. where it's like you, if I take two, I give two. No, right? I I, I, I think like binding vows are very often like no, I took ten and I gave like one no. sometimes. You know what I mean? I mean JJK is like you know famously unfair. Um, and I think the closest like Higuruma mindset is probably the best way to do it. Like him and Sukuna share um and gojo honestly but like there is like cheating is encouraged right like that's how you do things there um because like cursed energy is inherently an unfair system so i think if you go into it with the mindset of like loopholes and uh, cheating and shit it's like it's essentially going from like uh who's like a famous good lawyer but, like good like like morally oh yeah um is it, okay like jjk is better call saul like like, like it, it, he's saul goodman like, like like that's what cursed energy is right like like you're you're weasley you're um you're looking for loopholes you're doing all the shit like you're not fighting for fucking for civil rights you know what i mean like that that's that's kind of yeah. like that's what nen is it's like civil rights is a crazy yeah you know what i mean to, yeah know? but yeah, yeah yeah i mean okay i i agree i agree it just feels like sometimes like sukin is counting cards mm -hmm. I mean, and no one else is counting cards. Like, bro, start counting fucking cards, man. But mm -hmm. I get you. I mean, they're cheating in other ways. Yeah, so they're cheating. They're, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I understand. I understand. They also, um, I, th I think also Sukuna has like more shit to give, or I, I guess like a, there's a quality, right? Like, I think a Sukuna arm is worth more than a Hakari arm to Cursed Energy. Yeah. So it, it might just think, be. Do you think Cursed Energy is like this like sentient, like, like omnipresent thing? In I that, in that sense, like you 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 like say, me like, personally. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay um i mean like it's it's a very simple reason why and that's like you have to make a deal with somebody who's going to listen and comprehend what it is you're offering right like hmm. it has to have like it has to want something it has to like feed on something it has to like essentially there has to be another party there right otherwise it's make like a deal yeah otherwise it's a prayer hmm. that's i mean that's my personal yeah. thing I, I, I don't know do you yeah no i mean i i mean i don't i've never not necessarily thought about it in that way but i don't have like an argument against the in order to make a deal there has to be another party argument you know what i mean like i don't i don't have a i don't have a, a snappy comeback it's like i don't mean, sounds like sound logic to me i don't know like shit i mean binding vow if you're it's not made i mean it's made with yourself i guess mm -hmm. like in your in that sense but like i don't know yeah um I, yeah. like yeah but like i don't know maybe not like wholly sentient right but there is like something there um mm -hmm. just to keep to make sure everybody's following the rules yeah. yeah let's see also the fact that like i don't i i think the one thing i i told you the, one of the biggest things i want from jjk before it ends is to see the consequence of a broken binding vow Iwa. yes sir yeah you're looking, you're looking at no but that's a binding vow with binding that's yourself yeah you're talking about binding with other people yeah yeah specifically so, that listen, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say you're shit out of luck but like who's making yeah I, I know the people that they break like yeah. kenjaku and Sukun. if kenjaku comes back you know what it's like bro I could see it low-key it's like i would have loved to see what, what 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 happens if you broke a river sticks promise in percy jackson like just once just to see Nothing what the consequences the are I mean, yeah. I mean, Ooh, for them, it could, human, yeah, I mean, it could just be like, oh, by the way, like, you know, Zeus, you, you get like shredded into atoms for like 10 minutes straight. It's like nothing to a god, but if yeah, you're, yeah, I just, I just mean, I just mean in the sense that like they broke it when they had children. Yeah, right? no, no I, but, but we like, don't know what the consequence was. It, it just right. like, you know, we know Zeus quote unquote got off easy, but that could mean yeah. like, you yeah, know, no yeah, Zeus plays, but I, like, I, yeah. I was, just, I was just hanging in Tartarus for 45 years. It's like, yeah. Oh, he got off real easy. Got you. Yeah. And also, like, yeah. I don't know. A lot of shit. Mm. Like, I don't know. Imagine you're Zeus. It's like, a lot of shit doesn't even scale to you down there. Yeah. So it's like, eh, got, yeah. getting off easy is relative, is what I'm trying to say. I get you. I get you. Yeah. 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 
but like um no, bro, for like, a human don't yeah do that like too, you, you you know Thanks. like per percy breaks a fucking river sticks promise no, and no, don't do that bro you're fucking cooked listen bro imagine he's like listen bro we've been working on tartarus 2 i'm sure you'll love it mm -hmm. bro like, even better than the that. sequel we made some renovations last time you, you know you were here nah 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 absolutely the fuck not bro bro i, I you know what i just like on a whim like knee-jerk reaction um it would be so fucking funny to do this but if percy did mm -hmm. break a river sticks promise and i got to decide his punishment you know that moment where mm -hmm. annabeth was um like ready to no, no, go no, to no, the no. sirens you, bastard. you know oh. I, I'll, i'm gonna make that a reality dog i'm i'm, Dude, I'm what's I, wrong with yeah you? i mean fucking... like on some frieza like hanging from a tree thing i'd have him do that while he watches annabeth and luke live out uh, their life together no, forever no 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 but like wrong again on a whim right like if i if Watch i just like luke and annabeth live out their life together yeah oh i'm gonna fucking beat your ass <laughs> bro no if you got if you if you got the chance to, to like i, I would i you would know. just i would just do what the one of the the tartarus punishments where like annabeth can't see or hear percy like she thinks he oh. abandoned um that's pretty here, i just do something like that bro. Oh, that's all right live out what the fuck is <laughs> well, it's a it's a river you, sticks dude? it's a, it's a river sticks thing dude i would just i'd have to like it's a pretty serious no, thing to break nasty work bro nasty work nasty work nasty work um oh yeah what a oh man dude you're or maybe have her or maybe have him watch her join the the artemis hunters uh, like what, whichever one would hurt more dude you're fucking you're you're <laughs> You're a bad person. <laughs> oh my god, bro. bro. Again with bad. this. Are you a fucking are you a fury, dude? Like are you oh are you one of these? Like what like what did what? Dude, I died you, to what you I, on a whim. You casually thought that up in the moment, bro. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. That means you're evil. I don't know what Oh to my god. You, oh my god. I just okay. casually thought of like one of the worst ways to torture a character I like in, you know, a split second. Fuck you. How would you do it for Nico? I'm curious. Oh, uh obviously uh make him choose between his sister and will <laughs> like or reyna if i wanted to like really play it up right uh or i <laughs> you think he's not choosing bianca i feel like he, i feel like he's making well maybe yeah not an easy choice. yeah maybe not an easy i don't know choice. i uh, i, I definitely but if it was if it was too easy i'd complicate it you know have them aim for each other um have visions of a sister rejecting oh him oh my god oh my god what if you have it so like whichever one he picks it's like it's not them so like yeah. he ends up he struggles over he picks bianca and it's like reyna or some shit so now reyna knows he didn't he, yeah it. yeah oh, bro you God. get it hey, hold on hold on hold on yeah hold on wait a minute let i told you to my, let, let me get into my evil double yeah. bag bro let me get into my e hold on let's go down the list bro yeah. let's go down the list okay small pause on jjk bro let's let's fucking do this sure, yeah, yeah, okay yeah, yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on how are we doing how are we, how are we doing it for like uh how are we doing for Annabeth, bro oh put her Annabeth, put her in a situation where she, like it's oh almost God, too much for her calypso island yes calypso yes island. okay oh my God. okay <laughs> no that's nasty work bro that's nasty no no that's too that's too easy yeah Okay, Calypso Island okay. is too easy, right? No, I, it's gotta be. It's gotta be worse. It's gotta have her like be out of her depth, feeling helpless, mm -hmm. and uh, all her wisdom is like meaningless, right? I, unironically, dude, have, having her like, having her watch Luke die, or or, or like like in like old Annabeth, but having e maybe spiders. Yeah, yeah, right. Some shit like no Egyptian spiders too in the duat. Like really okay, challenge okay, okay. her perception of reality at the same time, mm -hmm. uh, okay, make okay, make okay. it outside her comfort zone. She can't really use magic like that, and she's def uh, definitely okay. afraid of spiders. But okay, like, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, I got it. She on, on, so on, she on. saves Percy or Luke, whoever you want to put in there, at, like whatever point of Annabeth you want you want to do this in. Then mm -hmm. she they're like on their way to the rescue, and then Percy starts like convulsing, and a bunch of spiders oh. like emanate from his mouth. Uh, Mm, that's yeah kinda, that's kind of horrific work bro horrific work w, yeah. w, w evil w evil w yeah. evil oh um, and the whole time Hera's gonna be laughing at her she'll just hear Hera's ooh, voice the hair part yeah. might make her fucking snap yeah have, An uh, ha have athena like just chastise her and like tell her you should have done this you should have mm -hmm. done that oh you might get the mm, hold on hold on wait mm -hmm. a minute wait a minute wait a minute have ha have athena's voice call her a disappointment um um there's a, there's a few of these very oh, evil very evil you know you know who's very you know who's, who's a super easy but would be very funny uh thalia's mm -hmm. i just have her dropping from like a great height and uh, adjust her brain so she couldn't get used to the sensation so it'd be Dude, terrifying the entire go, time i think you go even even just have her be remade as a tree but like completely sentient of everything going around her oh i'm eventually Dude, gonna have her uh hit it and then like <laughs> Hit, hit like crazy. go into the ground and then like she's not gonna be able to get up the roots are gonna take her 
uh, again, oh, Jesus. and they're gonna form her into a tree, rearrange her bones into branches, like going to going through her eyes, or like or, like nose, like it's really gonna be painful. Uh, all right, all right, hold on. Oh, hold over on. over a JJ. period of decades, like real tree time, not quick. Jesus Christ, bro! What JJKFI, bro? How how we how we? You know what? This this one might be tough, bro. Mm -hmm. This one might be tough. How are you giving Tsukuna a living hell, bro? I feel like that one's a little tough. Oh, just putting I him in like a peaceful garden or something. Peaceful garden. Huh? I yeah. think you have to make like Yuji just continuously be his vessel. Like dead ass. Yeah. I feel like that. Honestly, like, yeah. He's just immortal, bro. Yeah. He's just immortal and Yuji's happy. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, honestly, yeah. Not only is Yuji happy, but like he's sitting on Sukuna's throne. Maybe Sukuna's like in a dungeon of some kind or, or cell. Maybe. I don't know, man. Just no, bro, just have, just have like prison might be the like, Yuji like embrace him within his own like innate domain, bro. Like give, you know give what? Me a hug, so, you know. Yeah, you know what? I forgive you every day. Oh nah, bro, I forgive you is crazy. And then like when Sukuna tries to use like dismantle, oh, leave, it's, like, oh, hugs dude, and kisses, like yes, it literally like freeze, freeze as hell, right? But it would just be everybody giving, telling him like how much he needs love. Oh God, bro no that shit would be nasty work bro like that shit would be nasty work like bro if i could have like yuji and them uh uh and sukuna just helpless like like thorfinn dialogue on sukuna would be so fucking grating yeah you have no enemies you have no enemies yeah hold on bro hold on that's kind of crazy that's kind of crazy hmm hmm he's your rozu's vessel no him and your rozu get married within Yuji as the vessel, mm -hmm. and that's the innate domain, bro. You Actually, gotta have Yuji be a part of it. Hmm. Hold on. You know Wait what? If I'm still allowed to like adjust brains, I'm, mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna I'm like, still... I'm giving, did I'm making him feel love. Over... Just... Oh my god, did you just try to transfer over a do... like dozens of episodes? You're insane, bro. Okay, hmm? fair enough, fair enough. Hmm. hmm. Hugs and kisses as dismantle and cleave replacement, bro. No, nah, that's hold... fucking crazy, dude. I would make him. I think I'd make him uh, uh, feel love and affection mm. uh, uh, against his will. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, it might be funny to make him grow feelings for Yorozu if I was, like, bored for a couple centuries, have him struggle with that. Mm. Um, mm. Definitely, fuck, bro. How do you think him having, like, just making him, like, a non-sorcerer, not a heavenly restriction... Oh, a regular just, guy. I'm a yeah. regular guy, dude. Ooh, that might fucking kill him. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Hold on, just a regular dude. Make him join the workforce, bro. Yeah. Oh fuck, dude. That would be nasty work. That would be ooh, that would be diabolical. Joining the workforce No, that's hell. Um Oh, look. The Kagana, thank you for being a member for eight months. Hey, Ronan, Megami breaks the binding round. What's his punishment? Ah, I think he just spends an eternity, I don't know, with his friends and family or something. Mm -hmm. Well, no family, but with his friends or something. You know what know. would really show him is if, like, his loved ones were resurrected. That really... I think I think that I think that would really show him what for. Yeah. Like, maybe, like, his shadow... It's, it's a tough lesson, like, but, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, like, damn, Megami, sometimes shit goes your way damn 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 yeah also I mean, like landa respectfully can i just be respectful landa mm, this is nico annabeth has to rise to nico's level not the other way around percy you, you 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 got percy you got percy in number one that's good that's good that's correct nico number two all right let's annabeth is cool she's she's great she's fantastic but she's not nico Oh, hold on. Paper notes kind of spitting, bro. I would give Sukuna a heavenly restriction that made his body weak like Mechamaru and low curse energy, but his mind works at flash speed nonstop. Oh, that's hell. Mm, no, because oh, nah. he, he could still find a way to adapt to it. The whole point is Sukuna is like, he's really good at adapting to his uh, situation. So it needs to be something that he just can't adapt to, or at least something he can't enforce an adaptation on. So I think that's could why. Being normal? Yeah, so I think that's why being normal is like probably the best, right? Because. The thing is, right, I, I don't want him to just be normal and then, like, you know, try to train up his fucking skills and become, like, a like a serial killer. Mm. It, it, maybe if I destroy the part of his brain that, like, feels, you know, uh, violent. I don't but know. I think, I think it's important that you keep those impulses and you continuously deny, deny them. Deny them, yeah. 
Hey. Like, you, you want him to want that, but right. then you just rip it away. You know what I mean? Hmm. That's kind of what I think the point is, for sure. Maybe maybe um, in, like, an eternal uh, hell of sorts where he just keeps getting beaten by Yuji, and at the end of the fight, Yuji... Could, that could be nasty work, yeah, but, like... Yuji's like, I, I forgive you. Like, even more than that, it should be, like... I don't know. Is there anybody, like... I don't know. I don't know if Sukuna... You think, like, he finds people more boring and disinteresting than... Like, would he find, like, Momo, like, even less interesting than Yuji, you think? I don't think he would register her. Well, what I'm saying is if he's weaker than her, mm. right? And she's just, like, kicking his ass. Maybe. Like, does he get mad at, like, a fucking tool manip... Like, a broom beating his ass? Like, that's gotta be crazy, no? Yeah, that probably... I don't know, man. I, don't... I feel like... Sukuna's feel hard, like... yeah. He's tough, bro, because it's like, dude, you're a fucking sadistic bastard. Um, hmm. But yeah, the, the usually the tranquil deer heal aura. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's only able to deal out like RCT. <laughs> only able to heal people of their wounds, bro. Um, let's see. Guy man, leave the five. Ronan ranked the Percy Jackson books and the Heroes of Olympus books from one to ten. Go. Also, ju Jesus Christ. Hey, bro. Uh. I think we, we just did this when, when I finished reading them. Um, I, I can give you my, like, top four while uh, Ron makes his. Uh, yeah, do your thing. Mark of Athena. I, dude, I blasted through that shit in one day. It was so fucking good. That shit hit different, right? Mark of oh, Athena wow. was on, was like, some crazy fucking timing. Uh, Blood mm -hmm. of Olympus. Mm -hmm. um, Blood of Olympus? Uh, no, no, no uh, Last Olympian. Last Olympian, sorry. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, Last okay. Olympian. I was, about to say, I was like, yeah. damn, bro. That's yeah, no, no, no. That one yeah. is. Okay, okay. Okay, Last Olympian. Okay. Uh, number mm -hmm. three is uh, um, uh, Son of Neptune. Okay. Number four is uh, The Original Lightning Thief. No, no, not The okay. Lightning Not The Lightning Thief. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, my God. I'm such a fucking fraud. Fucking hell. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Labyrinth. Battle of Labyrinth. Okay. And then The Original uh, Lightning Thief. Okay. Continue. What are... Because it's all ten. Then House of Hades. So House of Hades under Lightning Thief? Okay. I might, no, I'm gonna have to put her above Lightning Thief. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, the longer I the longer I sit with it, the late like bro, Heroes of Olympus, like two two, three, and four, just fucking Rick was in his bag, dog. Um Yeah. Yeah, then um then the first one, then Titan's Curse, then I think um Sea of Monsters, Lost Hero. I don't know. Like, I guess Blood of Olympus is down there, and then maybe those th those those three. So Blood of Olympus above Sea of Monsters. Yeah. Okay. And then and and um um Lost Hero is like last. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. This is this is this is this is this is this is oh uh, oh lost lost hero is probably my last one too yeah like um, bro yeah, let me think yeah that's I, just leo 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 but you know what it is bro you can Lo only lost carry hero a on your back so long brother i don't know how much re rereadability is a factor for you but like lost hero is the best during that first read like oh it's not very go backable <laughs> yeah like th when you're in that like you just finish the original series and then you read this one and then you read some Neptune phase. That shit, that's mm -hmm. when it hits, right? Specifically yeah. the ending. Because it, hit, it, it, it yeah. hits because of the fucking Son of Neptune. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be real, bro. There's a reason it fucking hits. But then you um, just have the Son of Neptune, right? Like, that's mm -hmm. like that's the effect. Um, But mm -hmm. on its own, it's like, damn, bro. You meet, you're getting worked up by non Zeus and, and uh, uh, Elsa from Frozen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When you put it like that, non Zeus is nuts. Um, bro, literally came in riding him as a horse in the last book. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta scope the scenery out. Okay, so mine is Last Olympian, Mark of Athena, House of Hades, Lightning Thief, and then this is where things get critical. Okay, so your top four, uh, Last Olympian, Olympian Mark of Athena, Athena, House of Hades, Hades Lightning Thief. You know Lightning what, Thief. bro? W W list so far. Uh, I think you and I are basically yeah. synced up. We just we just bumped uh, 
Lightning Thief a little bit differently. Yeah. Now, Battle of the... I think I gotta go Sun of Neptune over Battle of the Labyrinth. I gotta go, you I gotta, yeah. go Sun of Neptune so over Sun of Battle of the Labyrinth. Sun of Neptune was fucking different, man. And, dude, it's crazy because it's just like, dude, I... Listen, respect... I don't mean this respectfully, actually. Jason. You're not Percy. You were... You're, you're not! You're not you're Percy! You're not! And that's okay, kinda. But you don't eh. have to try. Eh. Like, yeah, you could. We just, weren't asking. Like, like, like nobody asked you to do this. Set to the side. Set to the side. I'm gonna say something a little bit potentially controversial. Titan's Curse over Battle of the Labyrinth for me. Titan's Curse over Battle Titan's of the curse. Labyrinth. Titan's Curse had some. I get it. It had some snap. It had some edge to it, bro. There was something. There was something tangible to that, bro. There was some angst, and I like that. Let's see. Now the last three. Sea of Monsters. I mean, Slip no way. Now, Blood of Olympus is still better. Um, yeah, like dude, that's the same thing. I ran into then, like it's and just then, and then Lost Hero. Yeah. So here, here's the here's the spread for anybody that wants to get like the the comparison. Um, Creams is Mark of Athena number one, Last mm -hmm. Olympian at two, Sun of Neptune at three, Battle of Labyrinth at four, House Hades at five, Lightning Thief at six, Titan's Curse at seven, Blood of Olympus at eight, Sea of Monsters at nine, and Lost Hero at ten. I had Last Olympian at one. Mark of Athena at two, House of Hades at three, Lightning Thief at four, Son of Neptune at five, Titan's Curse at six, Battle of the Labyrinth at seven, then Blood of Olympus, Sea of Monsters, and Lost Hero. And you and I really do have our first uh, couple, just like in different orders. That's, our our yeah. last ones are like the exact same. Yeah. Um, um, but I think those are just like, they're just the least good. Um, like, yeah. It's almost like they had like something had to go last for those, and they they were just like easy to put there. Uh, not so much that they were bad. I'll tell you what though. I'll tell you what though. Uh, mm. I don't know about you, but my deciding factor for bumping Blood of Olympus uh, is Reina. Because like Reina. I think I think the Reina Nico dynamic was fucking bonkers. Yeah. Also, Le also Leo. Yeah. Also Leo. Yeah. Le Le Leo, and Leo and Reina. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Tensverse has angst, yearning, it's winter, Nico, Bianca, Artemis, her weird ass. Like, bro, oh, yeah. Percy being like, fuck y'all, fuck the quest, I'm joining, I'm getting, I'm getting Annabeth back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. It's I'm cool. a, I'm 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 a,
this motherfucker Percy gets flipped onto his back in New Rome, I knew, yeah. Real romance is back, buddy. I don't, I don't, Romeo and Juliet, may I introduce you to real peak romance, Percy and Annabeth, say hello. <laughs> don't, I did, I don't make the rules, man. I really don't. I just live here. I just, dude, I, dude, Annabeth's whole fucking thing, it, just her getting through that tunnel. Oh fuck! It was so, it was so and cool. Dude, and for it all to culminate, my goat pursueth Jackson, holding on to a cliff, holding and... on to Annabeth, Fiat, and Arachne tied to her ankle. Her ankle strong as fuck, by mm -hmm. the way. And he's giving out commands to Nico. We'll meet you on the other side of the house of Hades. Through Tartar. Do you know mm -hmm. what you're saying? Do you know what you're? That's gold timing. Your favorite character wouldn't know nothing about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bro, for him to fucking poison and 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 just torture misery herself. Oh, misery, fuck. Can misery, take. Rick, Rick, that's a fire. Hazard. Richard, you can't do that. You can't do that. Uh, dude. No, that's not okay. The only part, that's a fire dude, hazard. literally, the only reason House of Hades isn't like in my top, uh, my, my top one instead of Mark of Athena is, is it crazy to say because like of Jason and Pfeiffer? That's fair. That's fair. Because like, because like, me, dude, that that House first like is... that first like fifth quarter of the book where it's focusing like not on uh, Percy and Annabeth. Okay, oh, it was my... tough. It was tough. It was, it was tough. tough. Yeah. Because it also felt like he was playing in my face mm -hmm. because you know what we you know see. you know what I you came here for. You know what we want to see, bro. And you're talking to me about Jason and Piper. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now listen, bro. When we got, oh my god, dude, y'all don't get it, bro. Y'all don't get it. That shit was. House of Hades was a fucking movie, bro. Mm -hmm. And it's like, <laughs> do y'all? This motherfucker choked out the goddess of misery with poison, dude. And stopped, not because he had to, because Annabeth said, hold on. You're, you're freaking me out. You're moving a little weird. Moving a little scary. Mm -hmm. He said, oh shit, my, my fault. My bad. That's all, dude. Nah, no, nah, dude, no, nah, dude, no, nah, dude, no, nah, dude, no, nah, no. Nah, Won't nah, happen nah, again. Nah, nah, and nah, it's nah, like, nah, hey, nah. can can you let it happen? Like, until this no, is over. Please, yeah. Please, bro, please, like, like a little bit. Come it, just, on. just you know, postpone the 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 binding vow a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, just, I, like, listen, Annabeth, I get it. Scary shit. You wouldn't want him doing that on 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 other demigods on whatever. I understand. But now is not the time. Can, have have we considered that this one, is super hell? Badass. And two, it's super hell. Like currently, like you're not out Bob of the woods. You're hello. you're in the middle of the woods. Bob says hello. Oh, Bob oh says hello. Oh, you you want to watch me oh cry, bro? God. You you want to hear me oh cry? God. You want to hear me I fucking? Fell on my knees, bro. <sighs> I literally fell to my knees. I can't do this. Bob says, Bob says hello. Listen, listen. I'm gonna say this right now. Your favorite story don't got a line as impactful as that. If it ain't Percy Jackson, I don't know what to tell you. Bob says hello. Are y'all laced? Are y'all not lit? Y'all not listening, bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all reading but not comprehending. I'm, I don't know what to say. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Y'all not ready to die nah, about Bob. Nah, I, nah, I... bro. Oh my god, dude. I'm actually, I'm actually upset. I'm actually, <laughs> I've actually gotten myself in the mental. St Why'd I do that, bro? Why'd I say that? Bob the fucking goat, man. Yo, Liv, Landa, uh, Land, uh, Lethality. You guys, your homework is to read Percy Jackson. All right. Landa, BR, and I have read it. All right, you guys gotta kind of. Yo, is it crazy to say that they're embarrassing us a little bit by not by not having read it yet? Listen, bro. All I'm gonna say is just, just do yourself a favor, man. You know what I mean? But listen, Liv's about to get on vagabond, so I won't uh, won't overwhelm her with new reading experiences. But all I'm gonna say is this, Liv. <laughs> and that's enough. That's all. <laughs> that's all that needs to be said. That's all um, that needs to be said. Because what's understood. Come on, come on. Say it with me now, chat. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oval X, thank bro. you for the five. Titan's curse made me want to smoke on that Artemis pack. Not going to lie, the scene with her and Bianca was mad manipulative. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I just think that, like... I don't know. Artemis is... It was manipulative, but, like, I do think that it's sort of, like, you pull up on a kid that just experienced all that, hey, you want to be a hunter right here, right now? Like, yeah. join or don't. It's, like, not... 
not he twisted her arm, but it's like. But like she she I caught get, her at a bad time, like at a low point. I get like, what you mean. Yeah. You, you definitely and I and I feel it was like one of those like it was one of those like it. I mean, it, I get it, right? She wanted to find sisterhood, like, and that's cool, right? I don't like. I'm not I'm not her little brother, right? I can't judge her for that shit. She was also a kid trying to raise another kid, right? Like I have sympathy for that, but it's also like it just kind of. It sucks that Artemis's sympathy, and I get why, right? I get the lore reasons and all that, but it just sucks that Artemis Artemis's sympathy starts and stopped at Bianca, and like Nika was kind of just like an afterthought um, for a lot of people. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh man, dude. Dude. Um, Landon brings up a good point, bro. Frank, when he just started. I couldn't oh, tell if I was a, if I was a beast or a human. God, bro. No, dude, that shit was. He's like, I was like, how many did you kill? All, All of them. All of them. Oh, oh no. dude, when he was glowing red and he was like, I'm the new Praetor. Oh my, dude, dude. When Jason no, gave him, bro. when Jason fucking, oh fuck, when he when he crowned Frank Praetor, why was that one of his coolest moments? Fucking hell. <laughs> bro, bro gave up his title and that was that was one of his sickest moments. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, listen. What's crazy is that beer got me on the EPO only to have me pause and read Percy Jackson. This is the consequence of reading and recommending a lot of good shit. I fear. Listen, bro. They're all great. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. They're all great. You're not wrong in picking one. I mean, if you're not picking Percy, you're wrong. But like, you know, aside from that, bro. I, um, I, I the 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 fucking Percy reading arc that I was on uh, with the podcast uh the dm special, the dms are yeah that was special but in the dms i i picked up the books they're fucking fire changed my life dude i was so happy i i just um one of our one of our um viewers like dm me to tell me that like he, he just finished reading all 10 and i mm -hmm. i was like i dapped him up yeah, virtually sure. bro like Wait, you real, real quick i need to make i need i need to execute a deal live if you're telling me in exchange for one or both of those those things you'll read percy jackson like in your expected process i promise you i won't go to sleep until i read blame you get that in writing you get that in writing i read blade you read percy i promise you you will have a completed blame read through for me before before i go to sleep if it's that if it's that serious we need to go there we need to go there and come come on come on come, come on let's sign the papers yeah sign the papers sign the contract like Live, I believe Sign. in. I, I I think I think this is a deal worth making. You know, as your lawyer, I, I'd recommend you 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 accept. Listen, all I'm saying is, my head hurt like a motherfucker. But if it's for Percy Jackson, if it's for Percy Jackson, I'll make it happen. Lord of the Rings, the four hour movie that I need to watch still. Africa, sure. Africa, it was you. Yes, yes. Africa, shout out yeah, Africa. Africa. Yeah. Was DMing me, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, keep. Yes, sir. Yes, yep. sir. I forget. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Um, mm -mm -mm. let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Man, oh man, dude, my yeah. fucking, my my head is hurting. I think I've been screaming too much, mm -hmm. and but the adrenaline's going too high, bro. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie. Um, um solid JJK chapter. I, I think that's what we were talking about before yeah, i mean yeah i get jjk bro yeah <laughs> jjk between a vagabond and, and Percy, fucking yeah. Percy talk listen i'm i'm sorry just, i'm sorry we did you dirty like that that's because i'm coming back to this and looking at miguel and i'm like really bro we were just talking about percy okay yeah okay let's 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 lock in yeah i mean i was right I... what I, yeah you know what I, let's let's at least let's at least touch on the fact because I think this was like a very cool feat. Maki came back after eating mm. a black flash with no damage. Yeah, I was proud of I her. Mean, no, both yeah. arms, you know, like both sure. arms was what's crazy. No, shit, shit wasn't broken. Took you one chilling? of Sukuna's arms too. Like really, yeah. got that shit back in blood. You love to see it, and that's a soul cut too. So, yeah, hopefully that that's buys him a little tough. time. Yeah, um, yeah, that that last black flash gonna be not JJK over Percy. Listen, you don't mean that. No, not what what you speak. You don't mean that. <laughs> I promise you, you said that again. I don't want to ban someone over an opinion, but I promise you, I'll have to box you, bro. The don't thing, the thing again. is, bro. Like, I, I just feel sorry for you if this is true. Like, it's just incorrect. I don't, I don't want to have to ban someone over an. I, I want to be above that. I want to be above that, but 
if you make me sink to that level, I'll start digging. You know what I mean? Like, let's not. You know what I will say, though? Um, the ending did. I don't know about you, bro, but I was like, why even why even bother with the suspense, gay gay? Like you I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the next chapter and it's gonna be but for the king of curses, it was getting his domain back. I hope dude. Miguel's gonna be so pissed. I'd be too bro. Fuck, dude. I was pissed. I was like, why even do that? Like why even do like the only reason to justify doing this um or writing like this to me was like if it's not the domain. If it's so if I'm like, no, that was a fucking red herring. Cause I'm telling you right now, man, yeah. it's gonna be the fucking domain. Like, like I'm, I'm just calling it, bro. Like, like, it's, it's gonna be malevolently trained in the next, uh, in the nah, next bro, couple nah, of pages. Nah, nah, nah. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna get RCT. He's gonna get RCT. His brain isn't gonna get healed off that. No, 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 no. Um, Sugar Shogun, thank you for the eight. The amount of people that thought Black Flash killed her was so concerning to me. I think it's just because like a suk and a Black Flash, yeah. they feel like you know. It's I get it. I understand. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that's, I think important to know and this isn't a criticism of gay gate i really don't care it's just an observation right black flash enhanced attacks are only raised to the power of 2.5 when it when gay gay deems it so right because let's be real there's no reason maharaga's blocking gojo's punch casually to the power of 2.5 there's no reason sukuna doesn't have a hole blown in his chest because once again we're saying Gojo's regular attacks hurt Tsukuna, right? Mm -hmm. His punch gets exponentially stronger, and his body's intact. Once again, it's not a criticism. I don't care, right? It's just to note that, like, hey, it's stronger, right? It's like a, it's it, it's above like Tsukuna's full power, right? But like, I think people are getting like, like there's no way Maki was gonna die, right? I even underestimated Maki, but I was like, yeah, she might, like, lose her arm or, like, break that shit or something, right? Die is crazy. Like, I think, personally, right, I, I have enough trust in Giga to think he's not going to kill a character in the sense that, like, Yuta's not dead, right? I don't think so. I think he's gonna at least come back and have some pivotal moment, right? And for the same reason Yuta wasn't dead, being like, yeah, that... That would be such an anticlimactic death for a character of that level. It just wasn't possible. I thought the same thing with Maki, um, and with Maki, I was right. Let's hope I'm right with. Uh, let 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 us hope I'm correct with Yuda. That would be that would be very cool. That'd be very cool. Yeah. Um. Um. I guess. R I P. If it is the domain, like I, I don't even. <laughs> fuck it. I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. Oh. Uh, Fuck, dude. Coming off the Percy Jackson high was kind of nuts. Um, yeah. I do want to say, though, yeah. Landa, I am ready to fucking scrap about Nico and um, Nico and uh, Leo and uh, Calypso. I just wanted her to be happy. And I'm, I, I, I don't know. Bro, you know Landa canonically hates Calypso? Uh, Nico does? Uh, I said Landa canonically hates um, Calypso. Oh. So, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't know why. Well... <sighs> Wait, why? Well, okay. I mean, she, okay, I can't like, why, uh, she like, cursed Percy. Yeah, like, like, kinda, like obviously, yeah, but also Landa is a hater, right? So, like, that's. Landa is a hater, yeah. for sure. But in Percy opinions, I'm willing to hear. Like, in every other opinion, I'm going to be like, bleach hater, bleach hater alert, opinion rejected, right? Mm -hmm. But with Percy, I'm willing, to, I'm, willing to, I'm willing to lend an ear, right? I can understand the Calypso hate if it's exclusively from you curse Percy, you curse Annabeth. Fuck you for that. Because if it's if it's coming down to a Percy versus Calypso, Percy versus An or, or Calypso versus Anibus, it's Anibus and Percy every time, right? Mm. Yeah, but I mean, but like, she, like when when Landa, Landa, when you when you text me like, uh, I wish I, w I wish that bitch stayed on the island. Like like, what am I supposed to say about oh, that, bro? She's saying you. She's saying she doesn't believe that, bro. <laughs> why are you getting? Why, why are you, you lying? Me, why, why you got me out here fucking attacking a, a point that don't even exist, bro? Anyway, um, just another thank you for the two. Uh, Pijo reread or Vagabond? What's the move? Vagabond, if it's a reread. That's my opinion. You know, try something. Yeah, va va hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're only rereading Percy Jackson, Vagabond. If you're mm. reading it new, honestly, this is going to tell you guys how much I fuck with Vagabond. Flip a coin. Damn. That's crazy. I know that's crazy. No, I'm not just gonna say read Vagabond. That's nuts. Flip a coin. 
Let fate decide. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I will say I, I think this pretty much confirms that like Vagabond has now taken Vinland Saga spot as the best thing we've read on book club. Oh, by far. Short and reign. And I'm, 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 unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna get surpassed. I don't I mean, think it's gonna get surpassed for me. For me. For me. I'm not saying for you. Yeah. I mean, hey. Um, man, I mean, hey, man. I think Vinland Saga still holds that spot for me. Um, mm -hmm. but Vagabond did put up a, a fucking crazy fight. Um, like real generational battle happened, uh, in my, in my brain to, to choose between the two. I, God, bro, I don't even know where we go from here. Book club wise. Like obviously the Naruto one, but that's like 200 subs away, which by the way, if you guys want to expedite that, you know, alts, family members, other people, shares, retweets, likes, that's we can only do so much right like like we can upload right like this this is our end of the bargain here um if you guys want to see the, the naruto book club session uh we're 200 subs away so yeah log in yeah. i mean but that naruto re gonna hit like i uh, don't hit like something mm -hmm. they gonna hit like something i'm locked in for it. i'm locked in for it um but yeah 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 um, um short term though um next book club poll should be up in the coming days yeah yep 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 looking forward to that yeah. looking forward to that should be fun should be so, fun uh i am curious like since we did already read a good chunk of like the po more popular recommendations um if there are any mm -hmm. other new series because like i know i don't know about you i, I kind of want to keep free run on on the next one just because like i want to get down i'll probably yeah. I'll, i'm not gonna lie though i'm probably gonna watch the first season if i like if yeah free run come out before like before i read the manga yeah i, I heard the anime was like better I heard the anime was better too, so yeah. that's how I'll be. That's how I'll be getting into it personally, personally. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm down for free run. Um, I'm really down for anything. Like, I, oh, how she wants to take another crack at it. It's time for the Berserk Book Club. Listen, brother. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> Creams, uh, step into my office for a second here, bro. Uh, how, how do you say fuck no, respectively, or respect, respectfully? I, I, I have to politely decline. <clears throat> fuck no no I'm joking um listen I'm not I was gonna lie and say I'm not anti berserk that's crazy um berserk is like I don't know man it, berserk is like it's you know, loaded it's 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 kind of a loaded pick <laughs> C comes with a lot of baggage Aries <laughs> get out Ow she to win the poll and my life is yours. Yes, sir. I'm curious, what's you, what's your Berserk uh, reason again? Uh, I just don't give a fuck about reading Berserk. No, honestly. Like, I think there's, like, I, I, I don't necessarily, f I mean, I find the a lot of the material, like, pretty distasteful and, like, unsatisfying to read. But, like, I mm -hmm. read, I've, I've read shit, like, I've read shit that is, like, very bad or, like, like, the subject matter is very heavy and it's, like, much more vacant in terms of like actual quality than preserve likely will mm -hmm. um i just like in my in whatever right i'm bored or some shit i just don't really like i'm just thinking about i just think about berserk right and there's no desire to read it if that makes sense it's just like i, mean, I don't genuinely hate it i don't really i'm not i'm not like i joke about it right i joke about it because like i know mass mass a big berserk fan i know some people in here gonna you know get gonna get their gonna get gonna get gonna get up in arms right and that's cool that's funny but like if you were to ask why don't you want to read berserk it's just like i don't know like there's just no spark there's no even like vague interest to read it right now i mean for me it's it's not only that but like there is a inherent i, oh I don't my God. like Liv, you're so fucking annoying she said read berserk and she'll read percy that is God. why would you what, what happened to blame man why would you you just you just how long dude. Berserk, dude i do i have chat i think i'm gonna make the sacrifice chat i don't know man for make... like for, for me berserk is is in a weird spot um a because like there's chapters jesus okay continue like the fact that it's incomplete in the way that it is is not appealing to me because it's okay you know a lot about berserk by osmosis i assume right yeah 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 but the fact that like guts will never get his revenge on griffith like we'll never see that properly. Like I don't know. That's such a, that's so hollow for me. It's not something I I want to get attached to and then be, like saddened by. Yeah. The orphan, bro. 
No enemies. Vengeance isn't needed, brother. Griffith is an enemy, bro. Like, <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, okay, listen, okay. Right I, now, I, right I, now, you I, get, you I, get. I, you, hold you, on, hold on. I agree. <laughs> I agree. But I'm just. I was trying to help you apply some, you know, some cross verse literature, yeah, bro. I know, but listen, am I saying me personally? If I have the chance to kill Griffith, shit. If I'm not guts, <laughs> I'm still killing him. If yeah. I am guts. Dude, Fuck, listen, bro. To the ends of the earth. There, to the ends of the earth, bro. Oh my god, bro. With no arms, I'll walk. With no <laughs> legs, I'll crawl. With no body, I'll, I'll fucking roll. With no head, I'll curse you from the afterlife. There is no, no forgiveness, what, bro. It, it, I will fucking kill you. But if I die, my only know, regret that I is that I didn't get to kill you first. Type shit. No, dude. Oh man, bro. I could never. You know how we're like, oh, I wonder what like level of enemy we're, we're able to have, right? Like, would you be able to have the Joker as like an arch enemy or a reverse Flash, bro? I could not. Griffith, dude, fuck you. I'll say, I'll say this right now. Listen, bro. I'm cooking his ass. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. How should I put this? It's if necessary, bro. I'm just nuking the planet, like. I'll get I'll get the launch codes, bro. Like it's not. I promise you, I don't care about my sustained living enough. Because you have nothing left rock. to live for, bro. You have nothing not, left I'm to not, live for. Nah, 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 bro. I'm not letting you. <laughs> I'll blow this whole thing up, bro. Yeah, You're crazy. yeah, bro. You, I, you know, happen? I got so fucking nervous because like any of fucking Griffith's crimes, bro. Like, like I. Yeah. Let's keep this shit monetized. Yeah, bro. Listen, listen. We gotta die for that. We got, like, if necessary, I'd rather just you die. I'd like to, I'd like to try to, you know, rebuild my life. But if I gotta die to take you with me, bro, bro, to... <laughs> call me Mega Me because I'm summoning Maharaga, buddy. You're finished, bro. I saw this You're tweet that had, uh, that had like uh, Griffith, Frieza, Aizen, and like um, I forgot who the last villain was. Uh, let's say Sukuna, all right? It was like you get you get a gun with three bullets. Who are you shooting? I, uh, and some guy responded with Griffith three times. Mm. Yeah, that's real. Honestly, bro. yeah, that's, that's real. Real, that's real. 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 <laughs> Shit, bro! You could throw a Homelander in there, and it would still be that answer. Like, <laughs> it's not fucking happening, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, 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 there's no way. There's no way, dude. I'm actually like thinking about it. Like <laughs> inconceivable, actually. Like, I'm, there's not. It's not possible, dude. It's not. It's not possible. It's not. It's really, really, really not. Because, like I said, it. It's not about. It's not about finding you at, at some point, right? If, if I, if you're, if you're hiding. I'll find you, like... I'll find you, and if I can't find you, I'll blow the whole... Like, bro... bro no, no, nothing's gonna be safe for me. Like, no like, stone left unturned, bro. I, I'm sorry, the the rest of humanity, bro. Y'all got we that. We gotta go. Yeah. We gotta go. Either either help me find this motherfucker, or we all gotta go. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what right now, man. If he's just summoning demons from another dimension, we're all cooked anyway. Shit, help me out. Yeah. yeah. Help 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 me out is the fucking truth, man. What what y'all sitting around for, bruh? Help me kill this motherfucker. Oh, fuck it. I yeah. just No. Dude, I I don't know, like Ber Berserk like just has a lot of shit like like never seen catharsis for Griffith. I don't want to experience that. I don't want to get so emotionally dude, because I'm if I'm if I'm that emotionally invested and it's like, and I'm like, I am guts. Like I've seen everything with him. Like, like I, I love this guy. Right. And then I see the shit Griffith does to him, especially with Cascot. Like, Oh my God, bro. To know that that's never going to get paid off. Shit, dude, that, that might just leave me a broken person. That might actually make me, make me a more broken person than when I, uh, uh, came in. Yeah. Run and don't join the dark side. What's the dark side in this scenario? Killing Griffith or reading Berserk? Uh, okay. Also, live. I okay, it's okay. it's oh, it's say, it's ongoing. It. Air quotes. Like let's. Mira is dead. It's not like uh, the, that's why I specified at the start. Like as intended. Like we'll we'll like, never get I'm to see. Split. Yeah. 
And listen, I'm not even saying all that. Like, even if it does continue, I'm just not interested in like, like, bro, I gotta, I gotta read this shit in like five. I gotta see it. Yeah, <sighs> not for Percy Jackson. I gotta, my morals compromised. 375 chapters is a lot. Can't wait to get the fucking BR live tweets uh, when he's reading Berserk. Like, oh, fuck, why is Griffith so cool? Rah, this is going to be Dude, so annoying. I, I'll tell you this right now. I'll t Holy shit, dude. If I call Griffith cool, and I mean this, bro, kill me. Because, <laughs> like, if, the whole point is you're supposed if, to find him cool when he's, fir Griffith, when he's first introduced. The whole I don't give a fuck. Yeah, though, because like he I goes don't. from friend to foe. Is like the the the. It don't matter, yeah. bro. You already my foe. I, you're going in. and I hate you, bro. I hate your dumb face. I hate your dumb ideology. I don't really. Nah, bro. We all gotta die. Three hundred seventy-five chapters that are probably seventy pages each. You really, you really do a good job to uh, convince me to not read Berserk. Hey, if that's your intention, bro, you kind of, you kind of. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. What up? What up? Ten books for the price of one. Dude, you don't have to read Berserk though. You just get to you just get to like let me read it, bro. <laughs> That's not fair. You're you wouldn't read Berserk for that. We know that. Listen, <sighs> can I? Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm Thank aware. you. I'm just, just saying, you you got it, bro. The, the honored ones telepathy. You you got it. I'm, uh, I know, but it's like. <sighs> I'll think about it, bro. I'll consider. I'll fucking. I'm a little over it, Jesus. It is kind of freaky that you got it, though. I did not give you a lot of clues. Mm. Mm. Offer off the table. Okay, let's go back to blame. I'm. I'm. My. My mind is open for blame. Let's talk real manga. Aren't it sounded like me with Maruki? What the fuck's Maruki? Maruki manga. What the hell is this? Oh, is this a Persona character? Oh, I'm laced. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say Maruki character? from Persona Five. Like, oh, Persona Five. Wait, are you? Is that I, not? I, I don't know. There are know, com common like, names. I, I don't know if it's like a manga or whatever. Yeah, I mean it is. I mean it is Maruki. When, when the first person pop up with a Persona character, I'll put mm. it like that, right? Um, but I I've never met them. Like I played like a couple hours of Persona Five. There's no way I met this guy. And if I did, no, I don't you remember. You didn't. Uh, you haven't. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Also, don't. If you are gonna play Persona again, don't specifically never look him up. Okay. Yeah. Got you. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we didn't blame now. Not necessarily, but you know, we'll see. We'll 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 we'll, we'll see how the negotiations break down for sure, for sure. Um, yeah. D don't worry. I, I believe in. Uh, I believe in the in the cause here. Yeah. Hold person. on, Mikey. Since you wanna. Since you want to be real loud, right? Literally trying to make you guys read peak and you're all sighing. All right, so after Vagabond, you getting on Percy Jackson and Mikey? We we get we getting the Mikey live read through for Percy. What's so he about getting on peak? Oh, is he talking about Naruto? No, he's talking about getting on peak Berserk. Oh. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, my, 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 Mikey already cashed his. Twin, unfortunately, Twin has a uh, ha, has has deviated from the plan, program, but listen. Yeah. Listen, listen. We can, we can, we can get him back on track. We can get him back on track. We can get him back on track. Lethality. What, what Western comic are you talking about? What Western comic are you talking about? Let's see. Uh, after, after I hear the answer to that, I think it's mm -hmm. time we can, we can close things out. We can mm -hmm. close things out. Oh yeah. Jesus. Bro, I, um, I find that I'm mostly reading new stuff based off of the book club picks. Um, because mm. like the other thing taking up my time is has been Elden Ring. Mm, nice so nice 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 i'm i'm curious like to get back into the swing of things um with, yeah, with picks be, like that it will be interesting it will be interesting um dude speaking hmm. of i think we're probably gonna finish on thursday right we'll see i don't know how many bosses we have left but we'll see we'll see um yeah. if if we can if we blitz through them i mean i know we got one boss like like i said where i spawn like mm -hmm. we can we can basically just run and start off the stream with a boss so mm -hmm. we're good yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so i think like after we get done like we'll see where we're at, at the end of next stream mm -hmm. but hopefully it's like 
I don't know what you even want to do after. I, I'm, I'm done. I, I kind of want to just take a like break. Not, not like a break from the podcast, but like a break from Elden Ring or just Maybe. video games. Yeah, just yeah, just I like mean, I'm, riff I'm down. for a week. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, because like, yeah, I want to see what I want to see what you know the composer of the Honored Ones After Dark theme song has been up to. Type shit. Mm. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if huh. things have improved for him. Yeah, the damn sofa. I'm off that damn sofa. Also, Mikey, don't pretend as if I didn't take two rom com manga from your recommendations, bro. Don't be for just because the shit I recommended is new and cool. Don't be forgetting, bro. Don't be forgetting. That's that's nasty work, brother. Don't that's forget your work. place is I, crazy. I didn't say that. I said don't forget that like <laughs> I take your recommendation too. Like I would expect this from Liv, right? She doesn't know the manga exchanging bond that we have right and i don't expect her to but danger's in my heart bro we we we, sh we shared that manga bro we come on don't 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 leave me out to dry like that bro that's 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 crazy that's hurtful that's it's hurtful bro hey do you ever wake up one day and think fuck bro what if i don't produce enough shareholder value today what what the fuck did you just say to me, dude? I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I don't think I know what that means. Can I be honest? Okay, so it's uh, if you don't know the joke already, it it just doesn't land. Basically, it's like, you, you know how uh, I'll give you the baseline joke, I'll just to fast track this. The meaning people contemplate the meaning of life. Uh, like, what is it? Is it is it love? Is it happiness? When in reality, the answer is so simple. It's increasing shareholder value for the company you work for. Mm. That's real. That's real. Yeah. That's real. That makes sense. Yeah. So I, like. W, 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 w. Yeah. So, like, dude, I was just like worried that I'm not I'm not producing enough shareholder value today. Mm -hmm. Of course, of yeah. course, bro. Um, but you know, obviously that's ridiculous. Get on that, man. I, yeah. I don't know what to tell you. I bro. mean, bro, like that. I'm I'm simply I'm buying shit like every every day, bro, just to make sure. And and I'm working like I told my boss to cut my pay, just to make it like. Yeah. I don't know what's happening, bro. I don't know what else to do. Got to, I just gotta make sure Jeffrey Bezos doesn't go hungry. Dude, don't ever say, don't ever say Jeffrey Bezos in my presence again, please, bro. That, I don't know why that just, why that threw me off so bad, bro. Don't ever do that again, thank you. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, okay. Ah, Jesus, uh, people are saying I owe them this and I owe them that, bro. What are you, the mafia? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Also, if you guys wanna. You know what? You know where the place lobby. is. To, yeah, yeah, lobby, yeah. lobby. Like guys, there are four slots for book club. All right, this is, you know, get him in there. Figure it out. I, we believe no, no, in no, you. No, no, Some of you also have access to our DMs. Like y'all can kind of cheat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I know Liv's gonna be fucking bonking over here for, for shitting on Berserk. No, oh, that's gonna be fun. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good stream. Very long stream, bro. Four mm. hours. Jesus Christ. Yeah, bro. Um. Also, it's yeah. okay. Like you know, um. You, you got that you know i i, I think yeah. you know it's like you always love to say uh i can i can handle anything oh oh <laughs> uh, yeah sure yeah. that's what no, i say i guess yeah no matter how how mad somebody is about me not reading berserk i got it handled uh what <laughs> huh? uh god that's good that's good stuff br owe a lot of people money i mean reens I hate Marvel and DC. Yo, also, if we're down to, like, at least I'm down to include American comics, though you're going to be hard-pressed yeah. to find runs that are good enough and, I guess, famous enough to, A, get the votes, and, oh, B, that, that I yeah, haven't already read. <laughs> yeah, you're going to, like, you have to sway not just us. Then, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Also, are, are, did you read Superior Spider-Man yet? Uh, No. Ah, okay. That was um, that was my. Uh, th that's the one you owe me. Uh, if if we're just counting your tab. No, bro. We're not counting my fucking tab. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your tab, bro. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Bro said we're counting your tab. Fuck. I mean, you. if we're just fuck going you. around the room, no, bro. No, no, we're not going around the goddamn room, bro. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Bro said, bro said, hold on. Let me add. What, let me let me add one for good measure. Fuck no. <laughs> What are we doing here? But yeah, bro? not to no, like, not no. to put my finger on the scale chat, but um, <clears throat> Spider-Man run is also can also be a contender. 
Yeah, bro, I read All Star Superman. That's what you also recommended me, bro. I picked one. I picked yeah, one. Yeah, you liked one. it. I, I thought you'd be down I for did, I did. Yeah. And I'm just saying, like, I'm not saying I'm not down, but I'm saying I don't owe, I, I paid my dues. You know what I mean? Like, you said this or that. I chose that. Yeah, it's not a dude, say, dog. I, I, what do you, you literally said I owe you. You said you put it on my tab. Like, don't, hey. don't play in my face, bro. Don't play in my face. Don't play in my face. Don't play in my face. You Come on. said I owe hey. you, brother. Hey, bro. Clear the, clear, the, clear the tab off. In fact, because you did that, you're now. <laughs> liable for half of the reads that i owe people, bro appreciate you <laughs> we've gone into debt brother <laughs> we've gone into debt you're welcome you're welcome you're oh i thought i thought someone was asking how far i'm getting away this way i was about to say please oh god okay yeah let's close this out before someone else remembers wait wait a minute you promised me and my grandma you would read this no i did not um all right thank you guys for coming out here tonight really appreciate you Really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Appreciate it was you. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Um, very productive yeah. comeback we, stream. Um, yeah, you know, amazing. made up for it two hours or two hours longer than our normal streams. I mean, that's we evened up the time, yeah. up right there. Um, um but yeah, all, all the members, thank you guys as always. Live, thank you for the thumbnail. Thank you for our, you know, very gracious mods for moderating the chat as well mm -hmm. as you guys do. Everybody that showed up, everybody that yeah. liked. Thank Everybody you. Everybody that just yeah. super chatted. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you uh, to all the manga, uh, manga listening. Gege, I know you're here, bro. I feel your presence. You, you. Yeah. You're welcome for the ideas, for the yeah. praise. Like it's okay. It's okay to acknowledge it for yeah. sure. And I thank mean, you for showing us that, like, the reason that Creams likes Gojo for sure. Oh thank you. I really, anyway. really appreciate that. Uh, thank you to Inoue. Satisfactory work. Oh, Proud God. of you. Yeah. Thank you to Inoue. Uh -huh. Um. Anyway, uh, we will see you guys, members, uh, on Thursday for yep, yep, yep. Elden Ring. Yeah. See ya.